right here. One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> I did. I said, click on the thumbnail. Okay. Then, you're, then, then I said, there's all my. Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank? <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or? Yeah. Just, <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? Oh, yes. Is the robot the option of. Let me try. <laughs> it's a robot. Bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. I don't know how so I can't. Close. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. <sighs> God, they couldn't afford to have me make commercials. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford this. All right, the robotic the budget bid for you and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but... <laughs> <laughs> Buy a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we're going to do. We're having a hard, hard hug from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had our hugs <laughs> Okay. Just a little one. I'm not talking about the ten one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, my queen is. Hi, you guys. This is the ginger cook here, and uh, this is our May paintathon. Ooh, new title. And auction. How cool is that? They I love it. a thon and auction, and uh, we're going to be uh, doing a, a lot of little 6 by 8 paintings, which um, you can go to gingercookauction.com if you want a chance to bid on owning one of these. As I paint them, we'll replace the photographs with the, uh, and John takes pictures of them. We'll try to, you know, we'll get the actual original paintings up. The auction will last until when, John? A Wednesday between 6 and 8, I believe, PM Wednesday Central. between 6 and 8, so that would be... Each, each item ends at a different time. Yeah, each item ends at a different time, so you're not scrambling if you want a couple of them. And uh, which is sort of fun. So we've done this before. You're going to just... I'm going to paint till I drop, really. We'll see how long <laughs> I can go. Uh, we've got some surprises that are going to happen during the show. We'll still do some teaching, even though I'm painting. I'll try to give you painting tips and explain how to do things. We want to thank our moderators who volunteered to hang in there with us. And uh, Did they really volunteer? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. I, I didn't get a memo from them saying and, they did. Uh, we're going to be using the Salvador paints and a Stay Wet palette. I'm going to talk a little bit about the materials I uh, I haven't ever used the Stay Wet palette, so I think that's a great thing to do a paint-a-thon with. Try them with something you've never used. I mean, I haven't used it. This is the newest one, and uh, my daughter Cinnamon Cooney sent it to me, the art sherpa. It said, try this, Mom. You're going to love it. So we'll try, we're will try. we going to try it together. We'll see if we think about it. I thought, what better to have your paint stay wet during a paint-a-thon? I think it would be perfect. My mic's and, a little and, hot. And so if you want to, John, can you put us down onto the table here? Uh, um, yeah, I know how to do that. Wait, wait. Yeah, I, John's I got, gonna do, I that. do that. And uh, 
we're gonna um, what I'm gonna be painting on a little bit different. They're six by eight, but these are called Protone All Media Painting Panels from um, Creative Mark at Jerry's. And they're six now, by eight. And what they are is a masonite board. It seems to be a masonite board with canvas over them. Yeah, they're really it's a nice. A lot stronger than the cardboard yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, but these are really quality, and so we're gonna paint on those every. Um, uh, painting that's one will come up with the certificate of authenticity uh, signed by me with the official seal that will come when you when you if if you win a uh, win one of these paintings, and you get that in the mail with, along with um, the original painting. Which is and, always a it's always a good item. And I'm going to start off. This is number one. We haven't ordered. This is number one. And the paint, picture I'm starting off with is um, this ocean scene. Isn't that pretty? I so we're, we're going to start off with that, and I'm going to just um, just briefly sketch this in. Uh, just going to come on up here like this. We got a nice big rock here, a little bit of a rock. Ooh, there's some rocks. We got a little bit of a peninsula. This really looks like um, Baja, doesn't it? Or uh, Cozumel or something? Kind of looks like something you might see in Cozumel. And um, here's our sand beach like this there you go that's that's what we got so far i'm going to start right in with this um and we'll paint several at a time as one dries i'll go on to the next one and so forth all right so i know that i want some dark rocks so i'm going to take a little bit of this dark brown color over here like that and just uh paint this in. I think I could use a larger brush. Let's get a larger brush. Bring out the big guys. I don't know why we even have that there. I don't want that one. All right, I've adjusted my mic. My mic doesn't sound higher to me in my ears than Ginger's does right now. My mic is closer than it was before. This is a little purple in here too. A little bit of purplish red color. I'm going to do that and come back over here like that. There's our little rocks. Okay. And then I want a sand color, which I think I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Uh, let's rinse the brush and take uh, maybe a little bit of this purple and yellow oxide color. And let's put that in there. Isn't that a nice sand color? Now, I rinsed the brush. I got too much water on it, so I don't want to do that. Uh, there we go. A little bit more yellow. There we go. Just going to paint. Oh, these panels paint over beautifully, by the way. Might I say... And um, there's our kind of our sand color for our rocks. And let's come back up here. Usually the sand's a little bit darker at the, have you ever noticed that at the water's edge? There's always a, where the waves come in and when they make the sand wet, they, um, they tend, there tends to be darker. That's something to kind of remember when you're doing an ocean picture. Um, oh, here's a couple of questions for you. Sure. One, what color is the background? I love it. Looks like ultramarine blue. I think it's just ultramarine blue. A little, a little bit, bit of white, white down here. Yeah. Yeah. And can you rest the brush on the stay wet palette to stop it from drying out as well? Um, I don't know if I would. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just put it in water. <laughs> yeah, but probably needs to go in really, water. And really taste, take it. Uh, yeah, probably, probably needs to go in water. All right. So now we've got that much painted on that one. All right, so that's that's all we're doing on that, right? Now, moving on to the next painting, we're going to be doing this uh, sun sun um, sunset yes. with the with the again more rocks. Okay, the lighthouse. That it's a lighthouse, see. and uh, I'm zoomed in. And uh, it's absolutely it's a lighthouse, and um, I'm just gonna put this in the back here this is what I want to make sure I've got the proportions right so I'm gonna use my small little cut out there so let's slide that down a little bit so you can see the whole thing for a second sure I'm gonna be doing this right there you now go. Um, I think what we want to do here is let's see this is number should be number two does it say two where did you put two that says one see in the left corner flip over the one you just did it's in the upper left corner of the white section. Well, then what did I do with the what one I just did? I don't know. I'd have to know what you just did. Oh. <laughs> so that says what? That's, that's 11. That's 11. So what happened? Oh, because well, I knew this wasn't right. So all right, moving on. This is the color I want. All right, here's two. These just got yeah. out of order on us. 
This is John's fault. I would uh, say the stuffy staff. So, all right. So there's the. There we go. All right. I knew there was. That's going. Wait. Why did I pick that? So I'm going to go ahead and um, come on up here and say this is where my rocks did are going to go. Did you notice all those pencils sharpened, ready to go right there at your I, fingertips? I just love that, John. I'm Thank you so you. much. Who, who spoiled you? Well, you did. I'm telling you what made it so much easier for us to do this. Um, well, we're going for a record. Normally, we get 11 to 12. We're going to go for 14 this time. So hopefully, we can do it. You guys think, you know. And we we're organized. Ho hopefully. I don't know. I feel <laughs> kind of organized. I don't feel disorganized, right? No. So, um, let's see. Let me just fold this in half real quick. This is my fast grid. And how did I do here? Oh, I thought I was a little high on this, this here. A little bit high on the water. Okay. All right. So. I'm not high on water. I was a little high on the line on water. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah. just to be clear on that, you know, people can misinterpret things easy. What would be cool from Eric, Ginger, to take all the paintings that she completes today, frame them all in the same type of frame, and sell them as a big collage set? Uh, nobody could afford it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do a little bit of but be a cool idea. light here on the water. Where rocks are going. Yeah, blame the stuffy staff. We're going gonna, we're gonna to take a little bit of white and uh, yellow and come up here with our horizon line here like this. And uh, kind of put that in a little bit. Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming today. We'll be here uh, most of the evening. We will be taking breaks periodically. I hope you brought your snackage. Yeah, we'll be taking breaks, and uh, we're, but we'll keep going right here, okay? We'll definitely be taking breaks and having a good time and laughing and joking, and hope you guys are going to have fun with this, too. It's, uh, nothing's more fun than, than sharing something like this with friends. And uh, let's see, that's a little bit bright. Let's put a little bit more white with that. Now, one of the things I decided so I didn't contaminate my Stay Wet palette is I just use a paper plate like this to kind of... Uh, blend my colors a little bit more get get a little more more of this peach color coming up here like this Coming up in here like this. I like that. Let's just do this peach color coming up into the sky Kind of at an angle that's such a pretty sky that I thought we'd have fun uh, doing that right Absolutely. and um, uh uh, let's see, what are we, we're going to do, um, uh, let's see, we want that, we've got this, ooh, it's a little bit of brighter orange here, let's put, let's get a little bit, let's get some brighter colors in here, because you know me in color, it's, some of these will be a little bit brighter. That looks like her 5 eighths uh, angle brush right now. Yeah, angle brush, okay. So now I'm going to put, just save that brush, um, get another one like it uh, it's going to be my dark color and I want some dark purple and ultramarine blue and I'll put my rocks in with dark purple and ultramarine blue kind of a it's kind of almost a wine color and again I have to say John that these panels paint very nicely I do give them a quick sand in a, they come pre, pre gessoed. So I give them a quick sanding and then apply an underpainting. You always want to have something under there to start, something to bind Let's to. Do a little bit of brown up here, kind of differentiate some of these from the ones behind it. Now, if you go to our auction site, you've never been there before, you do have to sign up and I have to clear you. I am monitoring that activity, so it should be fairly quick. Okay, so here's our rocks coming up here, and uh, a little burnt sienna. We'll put those on these rocks right here. I like that burgundy color, though. That's pretty. Let's just do something like that. Oh, this is fun. Guys, this is going to be great. I can tell already. What a fun, I like these little panels. All right, so we got the... I thought it would be something a little different for you. All right, so we got... There's, 
Be very so consistent. now, um, let's take that brush and wipe it off. Let's see, I have some good rags up here. There's some nice paper towels all up here, and I'm going to just make sure I've done this. What size is your Stay Wet palette? I believe it's probably 9 by 12 as well. It's not, we have a bigger one too. These are the ones that Cinnamon suggested that we use. Yeah, what she sent it to us a gift. Yep. So we, we're going to take the take her word for it. That's a terrific idea. We're going to take her word for it. Well, I think it's going to be great in traveling again, once we can travel again, which is coming up closely. Yeah. At least it's heading that direction. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got that. Now this has to dry, okay? So I'm going to put that up there. This is going to dry. Let's come back down to this one because this has had a chance to dry. And here's our picture. So we, we've got some rocks. Now it's time to do a um, little bit of sky here. So we'll take a little bit of white and this lighter blue color. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? I think I want color. something a little, I want a little bit more of this blue here. The reason I did the Salvador paints was because I knew that one, they'd, they'd stay wet longer for me. And also, um, they got tons of colors. They got tons of colors. I don't have to spend a lot of time mixing. I could just play with the colors that we got, right? So here's our sky you know, find down here. You towels at Walmart. Did you look in the automotive section? That's usually where they are. And if they're, Amazon's got them. And uh, some other auto places sell them as well. It seems that the auto people like them. Well, they're nice. Uh, you do, though I will say, though, you shouldn't just leave, you know, once you use them, you should wash your hands. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. You know, you should really make it, my, you often don't see me doing that, but after the show, I try to. This over on the edge here is a little zinc white. I'm going to just shove, shove in a little few little clouds here. First, you always start when you're doing clouds. Start with the zinc or transparent whites first, and then you go into your titanium. But the, the that's your the transparent color. Now, if you take a little titanium, that's your next layer of clouds. <coughs> See what I mean? So then you get these um, multi-layered clouds. And it's just a good trick to know to do. Now, I want you notice that this water is this blue green color. So um, this was this light blue and this light blue. Where'd my plate go? That's this blue and this blue and this green <laughs> and white make this this beautiful turquoise blue color. Isn't that gorgeous? That absolutely love that color. So here's our. Like this is Southern how we Ocean start blue. to get tropical. Now this is something that you want to think about when you're. When you're doing any kind of painting of an ocean, all right, uh, the color of the ocean is um, depends on where the ocean is. Atlantic oceans, like for instance, uh, if you guys remember my painting with Caribbean sailors, I had quite a bit of turquoise in that. But one of our Canadian artists, uh, she she. Um, she did a, a, a very ultramarine blue ocean, and so you couldn't call it Caribbean sailors. It would have to be Atlantic sail, you know, or you know, Nova Scotia sailors, or it would have to be somewhere where the ocean was that color. So keep that in mind when you're um, uh, when you're painting uh, when you're painting water. Um, well, it's just a little bit more of that. Make sure you're right. Make sure right that you've ocean. got the right blue for the right ocean, because that's that's important. Okay, here's our green color. Jenny wants to know, are these, these more expensive than the canvas sheets? Yes, these cost a little bit less than a stretch canvas. But they are more expensive than a canvas sheet, absolutely. But if you're going to do a palette knife or thick paints and things like that, and ease of framing, then these just slap in there. They're done. I mean, there's a lot of advantages to these. Oh, absolutely. Um, but 
They're hard to find on Jerry's. You have to go by that name, Protone, to find them. They're not under the panels, which I don't know why. Their website has a lot to be desired. Yeah, I find one of the hardest things in the world is to buy anything from those people. Every time yes. you put something well, in the cart, then you go to get something else, and the st disappears. stuff disappears. At that point, you're almost saying, how bad do I want it? Honestly, I'm not trying to be mean, but that it is just so frustrating to buy anything from those guys. Uh, just because they have a stupid website, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a very hard website to use. And so, you know, they, and, and, you know you can't, they never want opinions. You can't tell these people anything, you know. Uh, they don't want opinions, and they just somebody's just jerking their chain. I, I'll tell you what, because I, you know, nobody would have a website. Nobody would have that bad a website on purpose, in my opinion. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so we got a little bit of the the thing there. Now let's. This is dry, so we're going to rinse the brush. You know, if you rinse it, you've got to get all the water out. All right, I need rags. Where did the rags go? Did we put any rags out? Oh, my queen, I'm going to have to probably get you up. You didn't. I got some here. You got some? Yeah, okay. Okay, next time I get You get it, so much me. more water out of a terry cloth rag than you do out of this. All right, so let's get some. Here, let's get some paint, wipe it off. A little bit of yellow. I'm just going to kind of. Put that over our rock. So um, the other thing, when you're doing rocks, start with um, the darker colors first, and then then you build up. In, a, in acrylic painting, you go from um, from dark. light to dark. Dark to light. Dark to light, rather. Watercolor, you go from. Light, light to, to light to dark, but in water and you save out the light. And in and acrylics and oils, you do just the opposite. And someone's going to say, "Why is that?" Well, that's just the way the paints work. Now there was a very famous artist. His name was Lord Leighton, and um, he was one of the few oil painters that painted from in his time from. Uh, you know light he painted oils from light to dark but that's generally that's as a rule you don't you just don't do that okay so you've got this um this brush is too big to do that so we're going to get a smaller brush probably a three eight yep three eight so we got it how they know that well you know what you just you got to get the brushes that need you know you've got to get the size brushes for the size canvas um Okay, put a little yellow with that. And we're gonna get some rocks up here. And uh, let's just draw in a few little cracks on these rocks here like this. So we know what we're doing here. Whoops, there went the sharpened pencil. Probably too sharp. I want this to be something like this. Okay, so anyhow, that's what you want to do, and um, let's just mix a few little colors here. Now mix the colors, put it on. Okay, too much paint. And you could dry brush kind of all over and let some of the dark from the rock show through, which is why you're doing it this way. Um, let's see, let me fold this so I can do this like that. Right, I get to see the reference. I don't care if you guys see it. Sorry. Well, yeah, they don't need to see it. I have, to, I have to see it. All right, so we've got something lighter up here. It's coming this way, and then this one is lighter here. Donna says, I've never used a stay wet palette. Does the paint get running? You find any getting runny? It's not getting runny. So if you, gotta, you follow the instructions, it won't get runny. If you do it wrong, it gets runny. So, um, so far, nothing is running. 
I would say I don't have anything. There's no feeling of anything getting runny. Uh, none at all. Yeah. Now, um, but then I use a damp brush, you guys. Not a wet brush. I don't use a wet brush. I use a, uh, a I use a, a damp brush, and that damp makes a big best. that makes a big difference. Yes. And um, Tracy says my attempts at dry brushing are miserable. I need so much more practice at that. Well, the trick is you put the paint on your brush and wipe it off, and people don't want to do that because they have this stupid idea, and it's really... <laughs> well, you're yeah, wasting paint. I'm they're wasting paint. Your head. First, and they're, I can't do that. I'm wasting paint. So they paint over this painting a hundred times and <laughs> can, can't figure out why it didn't work for them uh, because, they, because they won't do what I tell them to do, which is wipe the paint off, right? Oh, I don't want to do that. It'll waste paint. It would, you know what? It, it wastes paint to having to repaint stuff. A thousand times the wrong way. A thousand times <laughs> the wrong way, right? You just have to get in your head. It's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. You've got to put the paint. Um, I don't consider it, um, when you dust a flour pan before you cook the, the cake, you put the flour in the pan and then tap it all around, and then what happens to that flour? Do you throw it away? I don't want to do that. I'll waste flour. Oh, no, flour. I put it into the batter. Are you kidding? I don't waste it. What? I put it into the rest of the batter. Are you kidding? No. Most of us just throw that out, waste John. <laughs> well, you're ruining so my... you can understand why I can't dry brush. <laughs> you're, you're ruining my my um you're, you're my, my, my great analogy here because I mean <laughs> most of us <laughs> just dump it down the sink. No, because I have the batter just the way I want it. And I don't. Oh no, no 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 no. You you don't do that. No, absolutely not. He doesn't do that, you guys. What can I say about that? <laughs> You know that blue thing you're pr pressing on? What? Is that getting close to the edge? Uh, let me just move it. Because I just don't want to see that go tumbling. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move this over so that I have more room. Oh, that's even so much better. All right. I've got, I've got more room here. I'm going to move this over. Okay, so this is fun. I'm just I could I can see how it's easy to get bogged down in one painting because I'm really having a lot of fun painting this, right? Putting all the colors. But um That's okay. Um, Ginger, do you put the chalk on the painting to make a break in the rocks? Um, I didn't do it. I just wanted to see where my break was. I, I put the chalk. chalk I put the chalk on there to see what the break was, because there's a dark, there's a dark break right here, in between these rocks, and I'm going to put them back again. See, I needed a, I actually needed a, a little bit of a break here on this rock. See, so I put that. That's what the what that's all about and then I need to lighten up some of this other stuff back here just starting with my zinc the zinc white and uh, well, a little bit lighter there but that probably has to dry before I can get that much lighter um, hey, I'd like to thank Eric for the donation. It came through Super Chat. I'm all set for break time. Ice cream sandwiches in the freezer. Blackberry pie getting oh. ready to go in the oven. Oh my gosh, Eric! That we'll be right over. We're coming over. Let us know when that's out. We didn't come up with anything that good. No. We just have a few potato chips and gosh, yeah, we have just. We have. We don't. We don't have professional we snackage have stuff. Zip. Okay, so some of our greenery back there. Now let's go into one of our lighter, um, lighter green colors. 
Okay, so you tipped. So what's under here that's tipping? This. I didn't put it there. No, but it's, it doesn't matter who put it, it's tipping. How do you get green? And, what are you doing up there? Oh, that's a tree. I thought it was a boo-boo. Really? Well, the way you, you moved it all of a sudden, and then it was just a streak. I should know better. There's never a You should knew, know better, Kimosabi. All right. Um, let's just put some little trees up here like this. Makes you want to go on vacation, doesn't this one? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And, uh... Could you move your white... Thanks. Boy, I didn't have to tell you more than white. You're good. Well, yeah, just two minds, darling, two minds. So we're gonna the the green is still wet. So what I'm basically what I'm doing here by adding the yellow to the wet green is I'm mixing the color on the canvas as opposed to something else. You know, as opposed to something else, and. Um, So that I want sort of a dark green. The name of the canvas panels are Pro. Do you have one handy? They come like this, and they're called Protones. Protones. Creative Mark Protones, Seafoam. They come with different flavors. So you want to do a search for protons. Payday candy bars and cheesettes. Well, that, that's good snackage. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of this green in here. Well, this is a very, you want a very, um, fine line for this brush and you want to keep it flat. Okay, so Now let's take a little of this blue color. Let's 
skinning up that palm tree. Okay. Now that's this has had a chance to dry now. So now we'll play with the rocks again. Don't see, I think you were too big. I feel like Goldilocks with the brush sizes. But a little painting, there's not a lot of room here to, to do this with. There we go. Be careful that when you do an out, when you're doing a, you know, your picture that you um, take heed for the, what you're, um, you don't want to, you don't want to have something look outlined. And that can happen if you're, um, if you, if you leave, if, if, if the light's coming from, kind of coming from this way. So if you left a dark edge here, that would look outlined. You don't want to do that. Okay, so I got a few cracks in the rocks there. And this rock needs a little bit more. Color on it. Okay, so that has to um, just sit there like that for a little bit. It's going to dry. I like all these colors up in here. That's pretty. And if you want to suggest rocks are wet, put a bit of blue on them. Which can be pretty, even if it isn't in your reference photo. At some point, you've got to be the artist. Okay, so just a few little warm and cool tones on that didn't hurt. This rock is sort of a blue-purple color. It's a little bit more red in it. Okay. And you notice I wipe my brush off in between, right? Okay, so now moving on with this one, I don't want to put the wave on until the splash and everything and the rest of this until that's dry. So we're going to switch uh, pictures and go to this one now because um, this, this is where we need the blue in the sky okay it's coming through here yes and yes so that's had a chance to dry a little bit darker Put a little bit of that red with that So that's a pretty kind of purpley blue, isn't it? I like that. So I want to, using the edge of this brush, touching it kind of 
scrubbing this in here, right? There's our... Okay, and then wipe the brush off really well and get some zinc white. Come up here like that, wipe the brush off. Nothing is ever just one color. Zinc white, put it on the brush and then kind of smudge it around on your Okay, so I've got the got that going here. Now I right, let's work on the rocks while we're waiting before we put in the lighthouse and let the sky dry. Yes, yes and yes. Good idea. All right, now time for rocks. And um, let's see, I think we decided we like these sort of pink tones. bit of yellow in them, a bit of orange in them. It's not bad. Let's take a little bit more of the burgundy color. That burgundy color is pretty good here. A little bit of zinc white. Mix that up. Now, let's see, that, which picture is that? That's this one. Okay. Okay, we're going to layer on some different colors. <clears throat> Maria would like to know, is the purpose of drying your brush is not to have to rinse the brush so often? No, I, um, no. the purpose of drying is I don't want the brush wet and I'm keep keeping the colors from the rest of the stuff I'm doing. So that you want that, you don't want a real wet brush, you just want a damp brush. Now this would be probably a painting, I wouldn't have, uh, the canvas, uh, when you're doing rocks, I'm not sure I'd sand my canvas, just in general, because it, that the what what happens is is you get um, you get a really nice um, uh, the, the, your brush will want, automatically want to skip over some texture if if it's not dried that well. So, um, I mean, if it's not sanded that well. Sometimes I will take and deliberately put texture up in my, um, uh, I'll, I'll just put a bunch of texture with a palette knife and, and say modeling paste and let that dry and then paint my rocks. And then you get some great skipping action that you can only achieve that way. You know, which is something a lot of people don't, don't know to do. Let's see, put a little bit of burgundy color with that. There you go. So now I've got this flat plane of rock here. It's coming this way. And I don't have to put every rock in there just because it's in the photo. But I have to suggest some flat planes of rock here like this. Let's just keep going from light to dark, from dark to light rather, just keep adding the, 
a lot How of colors. How do you clean the towels that Ginger uses? Does the paint come out? Does it in a washing machine? And no, it doesn't. And we usually don't clean we, them unless we're selling them. Uh, no, we, yeah, we don't clean we them. We just use them until they're just so stiff you can't use them anymore. Yeah, then we, then, they, well, then we let them go as imagination claws, magic imagination claws for people who want to have them. We buy them. I buy them at Costco. They're in the automotive section. And um, so we got some good... Um, I'd say we have some good uh, uh, good good rocks here. It's looking good. You got good colors. Nice and bright and cheery. Yeah, I think this was this would be a really pretty. This would be one of those paintings that would be big. really kind of neat, big, and. Um, And then you've got a little so you start to get the depth here. Do you mix any medium in acrylics for it to stay longer? Um, sometimes I like the uh, golden open uh, matte medium, but for larger paintings. Just depends and on not for painting. anything this size. Yeah. I mean, I went for 50 years without ever using one, so I really don't need them. But I'm, I'm not against um, new technology. How's that? <sighs> you know, I remember when microwave ovens first came out, I was the first one to get one. I'm a believer in buying new stuff. You know, if somebody's got something better, I say, let's buy it, right? Let's give it a try. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's just something we can... And um, I, enjoy, I enjoy painting stuff like this with the rocks and all the colors. This is pretty... And we find the Salvador paint, paints not to skin over or have a real problem either. Yeah, that, uh, something like this. Boy, they, for me, they stay wet so much longer than anybody else's. And you put them on a stay wet palette, and now you've really got a stay wet thing. See, we've got um, let's take a little bit of these colors and a little bit of white. 
mix them over here. Okay, so I've got the getting there, not quite as light as I want to, but that's all right. It's just eventually we'll we'll uh, find that that it's, we're okay with that. Now yeah, we've got this. Now let's put the um, let's put the lighthouse. Um, Gwen says, Gin Ginger, you paint the best rocks. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. So this is another little, this lighthouse is a little trickier because it's um, kind of hidden behind this one. And then there's something like up here. We got the little steeple on this guy. Okay, so let's. Um, I think even though in the picture this lighthouse is sort of brown and white, I think I'm or pink and white. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, let's make this really white here, and uh, put a few something on it like this. All right, so we have to just sort of imagine that there's, you know, we've got this lighthouse, and then we've got the dark for the roof on this. Um, the rest of this and uh, so now let's get some dark green for the trees and they get smaller as they they kind of climb down the cliff here This be an interesting place, this little lighthouse guy. I'd like to see that in real life. Well, a little bit of red with that green. Yeah, let's get this tall pine tree up here, way up here in the sky. Reaching for the stars. I think Ginger was born on a rainbow. All the colors are so natural to her. Oh. That's an interesting observation. Absolutely. Um, and come back with our, the top of our lighthouse here. See, that's why you don't want to dip your brush in water because these little brushes, when you dip it in water to change colors, 
they they absorb water like a sponge. Where's this lighthouse located? I don't remember. Do you remember? Mm -mm. I don't know. Do not remember that we one. We went through and kind of bought a bunch of photos that we could use so we could so we have the rights to them. We, Barbara says it's uh, Bass Lighthouse in Maine. I thought it was Maine. I wasn't sure. That's cool. Let's see this color here. And yeah, we'd like to thank Debbie for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's our little lighthouse. Let's get our greens going here. Let's get some greens coming down this cliff like this. And give that a little bit more depth and um, okay now so ultramarine blue it's your windows There's that. Now, we're getting there, you guys. It's coming together nicely. Now we just have to do the next... Um, let me see, see, we still have to bring out the... Um, let's see, one thing I have to do. Uh, well, I can't do that right this second, so I have to do this instead. All right, so let's get, um, you're not the brush I want, you are. Okay, so now we want to just come back and um, highlight some more stuff that I need lighter, because acrylics dry darker. So what happens is, is that when you're, when you're painting stuff like this, you're going to find that you, you think you had it light enough and you just didn't. And so therefore we've got to lighten up some more of the rocks again. And uh, Do that and a little bit more of this. And how about that, that purple color, that blue purple color? Let's do that. Let's bring that up lighter. Do a little bit of a an edge on this one. 
Gwen would like to know, did you use Australian sienna on the Matisse, by Matisse on the rocks? It's so beautiful. I didn't. I just used the Salvador paints. I haven't done any of that. Um, I just haven't done any of that at all. Um, but I want more of this orange color in these rocks here. To really bring that sunset out. Just I right, if you look at all the color these this is the neatest reference, I swear. Um this is Tons the neatest reference because of the colors of these rocks are just awesome. I think. Okay, so we've got that, and then I want more of the lighthouse showing right here. Like that. And let's see, let's get a little bit more of the ocean now, the our horizon line on our ocean. I love that the water is so um, kind of this pale yellow peach color. So that pushes it way back. Hmm. Don't think I just dropped a brush, did I? Did you? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I don't know. It's a, I, I we got one missing in action. I let go of it. Should I get out, get out and look for it? Well, you can look for it later. I think it's gone. Um, dropped it on the floor and I don't see it so moving on to the next brush all right so there's that's um, I think that one's really let's see there's our pine trees and uh, I want a little bit more uh, pink in this one right here. Just to just tap off the the uh, there we go. Do these light clouds coming this way by our lighthouse? Let's make this the lighter pink. It's 
better. And uh, just needed this to be bigger. Just dried out on me, got a little dark. This brush is too big. It's feeling like Goldilocks with my little brushes. All right. And then you need to be able to come out here like this with the, you don't see that much of this building. Okay, it's hiding back behind that tree. And uh, that, this got a little darker here. I think I'm falling behind, John, on our paintings. Oh, you're doing wonderful. I feel like I'm falling behind. Well, you started off with a couple, a couple of challenging ones. I did. I started off with two big ones, right? Yeah. We have some other ones that would be quicker. You're, you're fine. You're golden, sweetie. Don't you worry. I worry. I will keep people here until you're done with everything. Okay. So normally you see, when you see lighthouses, normally you see, you know, waves crashing, crashing on the rocks, right? But here we see this calm sea, which is kind of neat, right? Hey, we'd like to thank Elizabeth for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Well, thank you, guys. That's so nice. We really appreciate it. And just if you're joining us late, just to remind everybody, I'm not going to dry that. I'm just going to put it away for now. I'm not convinced it's totally done yet, but we're going to go back over here. It's almost 99% done. We're going to go back over here and do this one. Do the fine tuning. And, uh, you know, we'll fine tune that one a little bit. Because well, I really like the sky and the rocks and the lighthouse. I think we just, sometimes you have to, you can't keep painting what on what, right? So let's do, um, oh, let's see, what were we going to do here? As I recall, we were going to do, um, this paper plate works and keeps the palette neater, got to tell you. Do what now? So this paper plate allows me to keep the palette neater. Hmm. Yeah, especially when you're doing this many of them. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some, uh, uh, now we're going to go ahead and put the water coming into the land here, which is. What influences the type of paint you uses? use? The pigment load, the texture, the cost? Well, generally, 99% of the time, I use Golden Heavy Body or Holbein for all our large paintings. And that's mainly because of pigment. And big pigment quality, right? Yep. Um, I used to use Liquitex, and over the years have found other paints that um, I like better. How's that? Is that a nice way to put it? It's a good way to put it. And um, that for I, and I'm really big on consistent quality too. And then when I first uh, when I was working at Jerry's as an art teacher, just an independent art teacher, they didn't hire me. I mean, they just let me teach there, right? Um, they would give me a good deal on um, Matisse. On Matisse, and um, and I liked it. Um, I liked it. The problem was for me was um, um, that um, it uh, uh, became harder to get when Jerry's quit carrying it, and uh, you know some other people carry it. I understand that. Um, and uh, certain colors that they make I quite like uh, for sure I mean there's just definitely certain colors they make like their Australian um, I really love those colors and um, uh
Kathy says, uh, Ginger, I absolutely love your hair. Let's talk soon. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I'm glad you got. Kathy and I uh, are, are um, fellow artists. We went to France together 20 years ago. She's my neighbor, and we haven't. We, of course, we've had a plague here, so nobody's seen anybody. <laughs> Just even even someone lives a few blocks away, one has not seen. Is that something? Um, just, just, yes. it's just the way it is. Just the way it is, right? And then, and you're, and it gets to be a sad thing when you're calling your friends to see if they're still with you. You know, <laughs> just are they still here? Are they still here? And you know, I mean, it's, you know. Anyway, yes, we will, Kathy. Absolutely. Kathy is a watercolor, very wonderful watercolorist. Just beautiful watercolors. And uh, you now let's get a little zinc white because we want some of this to be a little bit thinner. She than says, others. "I miss her coffee time." I do too. Me too. Oh wait, I don't drink coffee. And and and, and Kathy's husband and I used to read the same books all the time, and I'd buy these books. And uh, before they went to the library, uh, you know, I'd share them. So I think we, we all got a lot of bang for a buck out of the book, out of the books. But now I'm such an audio fan. I listen to audio books all the time. And um, so I don't see that so so much of that, right? And uh, let me just take a little bit of this color, the sand color, up in here a little bit. Debbie's asking John and Ginger, how are you doing today? We're doing peachy. Just painting up a storm today. We're painting it up, right, you guys? What do you think? Painting up a storm. Now remember, so, everything that she's painting tonight is going to be up on the auction site, gingercookauction.com. Available for purchase. They will come signed, sealed, and delivered with a certificate of authenticity. All right, I think we we're uh, pretty much finished with this one. Just do a couple more touches and a few little bits of light on the a couple of rocks. And, uh, oh, yeah, you got some water coming down out of this, too, didn't you? Kathy says the husband loves the audio books also. Yeah. Just, you can't, you know, can't say enough nice things about that, right? How's the paint doing over there on the palette? Beautifully. It's perfect. Like it's never even been out. Yeah, it's like it's never been out, right? Great color. Yeah, aren't the colors just super? And you really feel like you've got somewhere uh, tropical, yes and yes. Yeah, seems it to me. And, uh, a little tropical paradise. All right, so I feel like we've got pretty much everything I want to do to this one except for a few... I'd like to thank Rose for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Ginger and John, I really appreciate you. I've had a chronic illness for a year and not able to paint, and I get so excited every week to see you paint. Oh, God bless you both. Thank, thank you. you, Rose. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so we got a few trees back there. Got a few light rocks. Got another light rock up here. Got a few little gold things coming down here. A 
All right, I think we're pretty close to being done with that. Let me just tap that back a little bit. Well, I'm liking that one. All right, so there you go. That one's done. I will sign that in a minute. We will move on to, oh, we, let's finish this one too, right? Oh, that's uh, looking nice too. Yeah, I just wanted to just make sure that we had everything I wanted to put in that, right? And um, this had some more light on the rocks up here. Uh, what this brand of palette is that? What do they call it Masters? I don't remember. It's an M, I think. We'll check it. The lid's further away from me than I can reach. Ginger, any suggestions for getting over a temporary art block? I haven't been able to finish a painting in three months. I miss it and watch the new VLLs, but I can't seem to be able to start anything. Well, you know, um, I feel that way about exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it, look at the treadmill and go, ugh. But <laughs> yeah, look at that, baby. It's looking comfy over there. You, you know what I mean? I, 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 I get it. I, I get it. But sometimes, you know what I mean? One other thing that thing is that paint something for somebody else is a gift. You know? You know those little postcards gift. that we did? Those yeah. little, great little sketches don't take you long to do. You ought to look up those lessons, and that will just set you free because those are just little, little sketches, 15-minute sketches, and they're great. Just a... Get, just to get the juices flowing again. Yeah, they do too. I mean, it just don't tackle some of these big things that we've been doing. Yeah, just do something really <laughs> little, or just try some. Just just try some stuff, right? All right. I think, um, except for a little bit of the gold and green paint, I want to do here on this on the um, pine tree up here. Just so I have a little more contrast. All right, so I feel like we, we've got our lighthouse, and we and one more thing. That's the Masterson, Masterson Stay Wet palettes. Yeah, I'm gonna. Even though this is exactly what the lighthouse looks like, I'm gonna change it. Of course you are. Because it just bothers me that it's. I'm gonna. You want more contrast? Well, it's not that. It's I don't like the shape of it. For instance. Gonna bring that tree in so that we don't have to talk about that edge because I don't agree with the edge the way they've done it. And where's my did we put all my little um uh, pens out here? Where's my Tricia pasta has a pens? Good comment. Exercise, wouldn't it be hard to jog and hold your brush steady at the same time? Bag the exercise stuff. I think it's a good point. I want a little bit of that darker there. I was going to do a red light, a red thing on the top, but I realized that I don't really want a red thing on the top. I want a, um, a little bit of black up here. Just kind of fill that in so it doesn't look outlined. There we go. Like that better. Okay, and see, so let's just put a little bit of dark up in here and make that crack more. Mm. All right, you guys. I like that one too. We're gonna sign this and. Uh, I don't really shake this one up. Now these are all painted on little um, uh, Pro Stroke uh, Tone canvas panels from Jerry's. Mainly and using Salvador paints. 
using Salvador paints. And um, just a good thing. And I'm going to sign this one too. The red slash will go later after the paint's got a chance dry. to dry. So we've got a couple. Well, let me uh, let me hop out and grab those off to you. Uh, yeah, if you want to grab those, and John will, John will grab those and um, take photos and put them back out there. You guys can see them. There's our... I always get a little snapshot of them so I can scan them. Yeah, just, just so you, you guys can see. Look, look what that... Oh, good. Okay. You do that now. And I... Okay, you can do a snapshot. I just want you to see it. Well, I know that, but i got to back out so they can see it. Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. Hold on there, boss. There we go. Now let me slide over a scoshi. Why aren't you sliding? Did you slide there over? Goes. No, not you. The guy above you. There we go. All right, so you can kind of see. And that as I nice. look at that, when I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that the TV screen. Got to do one little thing, even though I signed it. The red slash isn't there. So watch this. We got to. <laughs> so it's not officially done yet. Not officially done yet. I want to bring. This palm frond in front like this. Give it a little more depth. Yeah, like that. There you go. Just just needed that, you guys. And then we got, yeah, we got a little bit more dimension in it. And um, as long as we were doing that, you're going, oh my gosh, you're still doing stuff. But yeah, but I, yeah, look at this. If we. Yeah, but it's really done. It's really done. But I'm just putting a little, you know, this is one of the things you want a little zinc white. Um, on your horizon line, it's always a good thing. There you go. Just put a little of that, and then you're good to go. That gives you some real depth and distance. And all right, so John's going to take that one. I'm going to find uh, where did I do with the other one? Right here. I just turn it this way so you can see it. Give a rough idea. Just give you a rough idea. Oh, that's good and gold. See what that would might look like. So, all right, so moving on to our next uh, few. Uh, those were probably two of our more, more challenging uh, more challenging ones. We'll get a new paper plate and start again. So here's this one. Uh, we've done something like this before for the Academy, I think, or YouTube, but we're going to do one. People liked it, so I thought I'd just do it again. And... Um, uh, just take a minute and um, just go ahead and um, let's see if we can uh, get a little tape and tape that on there and just get the main things on there so make it pretty fun and easy. Okay, here we go. Just going to do this. Tape it down and make sure I have the. Is it showing up? Not enough. Let's see, that one doesn't work. Let's try to, this transfer paper works and then it quits. You know what I mean? It just so so long and then I don't know what happens to it. Well, it doesn't last forever. It doesn't last forever. So let's try another piece of yellow. This is the Sorrel transfer paper. Let's try another piece of yellow and see what we get. Just uh, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, here it is, the Sorrel transfer paper. Put that right there. Open this up. Got to make sure you have the correct side down, but it's generally the more colored side. Let's see, is that working? Yeah, that's working. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just trace this on really quick. Pretty sure we did this one before, John. I think I picked it because I liked it. Well, 
We did one similar. I think the first slide was on the other side, though. I'm thinking. I think it's all right, though. People like it. It's been a popular one. But I think it is different. You use a red pen so you know where you've been. You use you want to use a pen so you can tell where you've been. But that's that's enough of a see how beautifully that just transferred on there when you have the newer student new stuff. Alright, so um find my picture on my iPad, which is here. Okay. So great fun here. Let's see if I miss any of the conversation. Had, had the by all here. We're saying I'm keeping it in the same tones. That's the idea is to try to stay in the same color tones uh, as I go. Because uh, we'll, as we change colors, we'll want to do stuff differently. So I want to take a little bit of white. See a new paper plate. Again, I want to tell everybody if you didn't know that these these auction paintings all come with certificates of authenticity. Hold on, Sam, let me back up a little bit. There you go. Thanks. All come with certificates of authenticity, which is important to know. If you came in late, I'm using Salvador paints all the colors. Six and by eight paint. Six by eight painting on canvas panel. They're a masonite panel with masonite, canvas. On. A masonite panel. Sorry, a masonite panel canvas with canvas glued on it and. Um, uh, I'm painting my butterfly white, and the reason for that is that um, you want to show up. Uh, yeah, it's a yellow butterfly, and it wants to have white first, or you won't um, get that nice yellow effect. So let's try. This is. Um, We'll start painting in some of our flowers here. Um, the yellow is painting nicely over the orange, which is good, which we wanted. Okay, so start shadowing this, shading this. Put a little bit of red with this. So sometimes you have to have, you won't see the contrast until you um, you add the other colors around it, the green colors around it. Let's do a little bit of light yellows here. Got some beautiful back flowers. And uh, Just right now, all I'm doing is just blocking this in. And if you're having painting block, I would say do a little small painting. Just try something small. I can see those postcards. Just have fun with it. It's, did you know it's good for your brain? It's um, it's better than doing crossword puzzles or anything because they are basically puzzles. And the older you get, probably the more beneficial it is to paint. So we've gotten two done out of the thousand that we're going to do tonight. I know. And how long have I been at it? Uh, hour, where are we at? What time is it? Five, hour and a half. You're running on target, really. 
I'm a little behind on that one, but I mean, this, this is going to be a quick one. I know number two is going to be a quick one. So you, you're, gonna, you're fine. Goodness gracious. And as I as the paint grabs, don't notice that that you know it just it just it, as it starts to dry and grab, it's we get a little bit more successful with every petal. That is one thing that's about acrylic. The more layers you get, the better it works. So you're starting to you can starting to see some of the the flowers now that you didn't. That you didn't see before the petals because that as we start playing with the lights and darks bringing up colors you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some tape and I'm gonna tape that stupid uh, thing down right here and here Move these brushes out of the way because I'm not using those anyway. Let's move this over here for now. I'm going to tape this down, this plate down. There you go. Now, the reason I want to do that is I can do this now. See? Kept, I don't want to hold it, I just want it taped down there. So it's not roaming around on you. Yeah, exactly so. Now, a lot of times you might think, well, I do the background first, and I might have, but then I would have had to paint the flowers white. So if I, by doing it this way, um, I have the advantage of um, uh, being able to um, uh, really get the lights and darks on the flowers. And um, get some nice, kind of what I would call jewel tones in before we stop. Get a little bit of this light orange color, okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is get into my greens. I'm going to take this color, get the yellow, some of this red. I want this. wants to know, you glue the canvas to the masonite, what type of glue? We didn't, these come pre-made. Yeah, they're, 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 they come pre-made. We didn't glue nothing. Here, Protone. Protones from Creative canvas. Mark, which is a okay. Jerry's company. We didn't Jerry's glue Artibana. anything. The canvas is glued to the cart, the masonite. How do you register on the auction site? You create an account, you go up under where it says login, and it gives you a choice to either log in if you have an account or to create an account. And Claudia, you do not have an account. If you have an account on one of our weather, other websites, it does not transfer over. You have to create an account on each website. I did get your email and you do not exist as of yet. And we do create your account, do realize they have to be approved once you create the account. But once you've got the account, you've got it, right? Yep. You don't have to go back like you next time we do an option. Yeah, unless I tear up the site again. 
You don't have to go back and redo no. it. No, if you have it for the rest of the rest of the time, we're not changing this website. It's pretty much done. We just updated it when we have our auctions. Now, sometimes I'll just take a couple colors and mix right there on the canvas, like I did with that green and yellow, that gold color. Red will darken green. Um, if you've got a pre green, you need a little bit more olive or something that will do that. So you've got I want the background all the same. I'm going to vary the colors in it. And you can do that most easily when you're uh, when it's uh, when you're mixing wet on wet like this. And I have to say this uh, the Stay palette has uh, really done a nice job with um, allowing me to, to you know to keep painting like this, right? Can you please explain a Stay Wet palette? Is a palette that has a big sponge underneath that piece of palette paper that's on top of it. It's a damp sponge and you soak the paper, the palette paper, before you start using it. If you follow the directions, it'll work very, very well. And then it has a very an airtight seal as a lid, so if you wanted to keep working with it weeks later, it stays wet basically forever. Now, one of the things you want to consider doing when you're painting uh, pictures is keep the corners a little darker. Using a little bit of burnt ember in this umber in this green, darker green colors. Let's we'll take a little bit of orange with that. You're giving it like a vignette. And a little bit of yellow. Hey, we'd like to thank Sally for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Miss Sally. Oh, thank you very much, Sally. That's wonderful. We appreciate it very much. I believe the palette we're using tonight is a 9 by 12. I should have measured it once out. Next time I get out, if I remember, I'll measure it. Yeah, I would show you the lid, but... Um, it was, the lid's not going to tell you what size it is. No, but I'm just going to let people see it. It's the... Here's the Masterson's, and it's the there's the lid for it. Pliable lid. It works nice. The six by eight Pantone panels are on sale on Jerry's, a three pack for three thirty seven, so about a a dollar ten each. Come back and you can Let's see, let's get a little gold in here. Okay, so I've got a very nice um, background here, right? Great background. And um, Then I'll wipe the, so see, put the paint out there, then I'll wipe the excess off and then work the edges in with this. So I can flatten that out a little bit. 
fuzz them out. Shove the paint like you're shoveling snow. Figure out where you want Did it to you go. Did you ever shovel snow? Absolutely. That a girl. We lived in Aspen, Colorado. So I, I was born in Aspen, it. and well, Colby did a little of it. I did. I probably didn't do most of the shoveling, but I've certainly shoveled it. <laughs> you, you've seen it done, though. Yeah. So you understand the principle. Absolutely. I've yeah, done a little bit of it, right? I'm just, <laughs> it's just this big old snot over there going, you ever done that? That sounds like my mother. Have you ever fluffed a pillow in your life? I'll never forget that comment. Have you ever fluffed a pillow in your life? What's uh, so hard about fluffing a pillow? The I don't know, but I mean, she just it made such a difference there. I just never forgot that comment. You know, just so funny to me. Just sorry. Just so funny. Yes, Linda Sue, this is the cinnamon's present. We finally used it. I forced it on her tonight. Yeah. Hey, Linda, how are you doing? She didn't even know it. She plopped down and then looked, and I go, yeah, you're using Stay Wet Palace tonight. Let's try it. Yeah, well, I, and I think we should always try something new on something, you know, on a thing like this. Sure, Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> why not? On a live broadcast, let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's do John, let's... will these be offered on mugs? I don't think i don't know i don't know i guess maybe do you think we should we, we have we have to do some new t-shirts and mugs well speaking of that i mean everything that's up there is going to be coming down we're going to have a um oh, a fire sale a fire sale because they're going to that that whole everything that's up there is going to be gone and we're going to re redo that because the website's changed so we need to get everything redone and we just haven't had time Still only 24 hours in a day, no matter how much I ask for more. I never get them. Oh, that's some nice colors right there. That this, but this green, a little bit of this yellow. That's nice, right? Look at that. That's got some nice. That's a great green, isn't it? It's a great green. I mean, how could you not love this green? It's one of your favorite I'm greens. having fun with that. Oh, gosh. I'm having so much fun with playing with all the colors. See, this is what's taking us so long. Anybody else would be kind of through by now, but I'm just. You're just enjoying the moment. Yeah, I guess so, huh? It's all right. It's all right. So just. Okay, so now we've got. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we said we wanted this corner darker. All right. You know, we didn't put any blue in here, and or blue, turquoise and um, and blue or you know, an orange or complements. So even though there is no blue in the reference photo, doesn't matter. We don't care, right? We're gonna put some of this in there anyway, just because we can add a little bit of this color. It's very subtle, but we're gonna add a little bit of that. Okay. Ooh, like that. So then I got all excited about that color, right? Oh, let's see, that needs to be lighter or darker, one or the other. Let's do it darker. Let's do a darker blue right there. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we do that. Ooh, that's pretty. Shove a little of that blue there. That's like fun. That. And you can really have uh, some fun with stuff like this. You know what I mean? Just, just put the music on and let it go. We we don't play any music because every once in a while um, uh, YouTube goes nuts and decides that um, somehow all the music uh, wasn't, even though they sold it to you, they, they don't want you to, you know, they, they complain and whine and Got to put this somewhere. I'm going to put it up here. All right. So now this is sort of fun. Yes and yes. So that can dry. So, well, the butterfly's dry. Let's do something with the butterfly. Now, one of my favorite um, butterfly things for butterflies are these. Uh, this was a gift from one of our friends, the, 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 I think she's an Academy member, 
are, they're bigger acrylic paint markers, and they're a little different than Posca in that they dry immediately. Well, I'm pretty darn close to immediate. Once it's down, you're yeah, committed. Yeah, you're an owner. Yeah, you're committed. And they've got... And it's real acrylic, just an acrylic pen. Yeah, it's real acrylic. Does Ginger change the palette paper out with each painting? No. I haven't. Uh, well, I've never used this before, but I have not changed anything out today. And I've done like, what, this is my third picture? Yes and yes. I would imagine we would probably get a, most of it. She keeps, she, since she's not mixing on that as much as she normally would during a regular painting, we'll probably get through the whole whole evening with it. Yeah, I'm going to soften these up a little bit. Soften those lines up. So just, you don't see that much of them. Susan's making pizza with a crust made from a can of drained chicken, one egg, a half cup of palm, palm, palm cheese? Not sure what that is. Flatten out on parchment paper. Italian seasoning and bake it for three seventy five for an hour and a half. Well, where are you, Susan? Hour. Where the heck are you? Well, I don't know. I, I, I need to have. Could you uh, email that to me the proper way with proper spelling and all? That sounds something like I, I that would be right up my alley. I can certainly try that. Now you see when us things dry. Do you see where I've got the. Okay, see how the yellow stands out more as, as the as the paint dries you can do so much more with it right you guys see how that works let's see don't send it to you Try to get these first two photos up there. Mm -hmm. Boy, I had the nerve to say wait until they upload until the image is uploaded before sending it. The nerve of it. So I'm as I keep one. adding lighter colors, remember as we go. Yeah, let's get some of this light shell up here. Almost a peach up here. Ooh, Lady Liz is in the house. Hey, Liz. We had a lovely time, and it was cold here in North Georgia. Of course it was. It's winter still. <laughs> John tried the fathead pizza crust. Never heard of that either. Um. 
Yes, the Junior Academy, the beginner acrylic artist site, has been moved over to the new site now. Acrylic painting with Ginger Cook. So if you're a member over there, get with me and we'll get you moved over officially. Most people have already, but new lessons are not being posted on the old site. So if you're looking for something, you're going to have to go to the new site. Acrylic painting with ginger cook. But that's com. just, but not that's not for the 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 VLL. No, VLL that's just we're shooting for the end of summer. September twenty second is our target. I'm hoping it's not a moving target. So um, we still got a bunch to do on that one. Gobs and gobs and gobs. A little bit of brown in that dark green color. Okay, there's this one, and then there's This is painting number three, for those that are just joining us now. And I should be able to get the website updated here shortly with the new pizzas that were just finished. So I'm starting to get our colors in here a little better. Cut a few little holes in our flower. So we're starting to get this. Everybody's got to put the darks on first. We just had a question come in in regards to the auction via email, which is fine because I'm monitoring that activity. We have what's called a proxy bidder, or as Ginger likes to refer to as a robotic bidder. If you miss that opening or warm ups, you might want to go back to the beginning of the show when it's all done and watch that. What that is, is say we have an item that starts off at $25 and you're willing to spend 
let's say $35 on it. You would put a bid in for $35, but the system will only show $25. And then if another person comes along and they outbid your $25, and they do, I think they're incrementing by $0.28, cents, so they put in, let's say they put in $26, you, your automatic bidder will take it up to the level, the next one would be like 26 28 So you would outbid that person that just placed the bid. That's how the bidding robot works for you. And so you won't see your high price there unless it gets all the way up there or you get outbid. It makes it a little bit easier, especially when it gets close to the ending time, that you know the maximum you're willing to pay for a painting and you don't want to miss out on it over a quarter, which happens often, that you just let the little bidder do it. I hope that answers your question. John, I can't get into the new. Debbie, I have to know more than what the new is. Which new? Shoot me an email and explain exactly what you're trying to do. Kim's car is off to a birthday party. Thanks for joining us. She hopes to be back soon. You just flip that around like you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> How long does it take for us to get to that level? Can we get to that level? I guess that's really the question. People want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I think so. Look at the, you know, you want to know what our artists are doing and they're learning. Go to, go to the Ginger Cook Live, all one word on Pinterest. And when you're looking at the boards, look under 2020 um, uh, uh, student art. And see what people are painting. I think you would be amazed at what 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 get people are getting out of the lessons. Everybody's at a different place. And the thing is, if you go up on our you know free um, uh, Facebook club page, and you'll see some of the artists posting their work, and you may think, well, I can't paint. I'm not going to post. I'm not that good. But post it anyway, because as time goes on, you're going to see your progress. Also, I think it's important to see what's doable. That you know you know you can. Um, that something is doable and you can um and i have to say some people are surprised of what they've been able to do absolutely surprised absolutely surprised uh couldn't agree with that more that absolutely surprised john okay there's um and a little bit of white up here on this butterfly. And um, I think I'm going to go back and put in some of these little dark blotches just with my little spots, just with my brush now. Here we go. All right, I would say that's like 99% done. You're going, really? 99%? Yeah. I would say so, about 99% done. Will we be able to see? Yeah, the, the video will stay up for a while. Yeah, the video's going to stay up and uh, go. Some of the screen up here. I would say that this is about 99% done too. That's what you just said. You've been painting on it, so I think it's 99 and a half. You think so? I, I keep saying so. that, don't I? Yeah, you keep saying it's 99, but you keep painting. 
Well, of course, I darker, so I think I've got it, and then... And then you don't. And then I don't, right, which is... Um, yeah. It's a little marigold color. Nice color. Isn't that a nice color, the marigold? Because you put that over, it's kind of a translucent color, and you can put that over yellow, and it's... Really lovely. Just adds another shade. All right, so I would say that i um, pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna just put that aside. I think that one's finished. And let's move on to painting number, number four. Number four, which is our oh, hummingbird and dude. flowers. Slide him over for a second so we can see him. Look at that guy. Yeah. He's a cutie. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and release this paper plate and get a new one because I don't want any of those colors contaminating my new stuff. There we go. And again, these are, um, I'll just put that right there. So it's a good place to mix, right, if I have this kind of glued down here to the table. All right, so now we've got a smaller one of these like this and here's our let's see we said this was painting number, number four four and what's our background color four all right here's our background color should be red yes it's red oh, i was brilliant on that one it's red all right so now what i want to do is i want to just do a little bit of a I, I know I've got some flowers kind of here, here, and then here's this nice big one here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a background. This is a little differently than I did the other one. Mona would like to know if this is a stuffed bird. This, this one is a real hummingbird. One of them we did was actually a stuffed bird, and I didn't see it. It was a photograph, and it was the white, it was the white bird in the, in the little uh, house. And it turned out it was some sort of straw bird that somebody put a, you know, I, I thought it was a real bird. Okay, so. Yeah, this this particular guy might see some special paints come out. We'll see how it develops. Yeah, we'll see how this develops. The blue is pretty over the red, and um, we want to get this background painted. Just can always put back some of this other stuff. I'm going to have this all kind of light where my bird is. I don't like this purpley stuff here. Let's do some of that. That's pretty. Let's get some colors in the sky. One time I had a commission for um, to paint some hummingbirds, and it was really interesting because the lady had found an old window at an antique store. And uh, what she wanted was a... Um, a sky and like some hummingbirds that were flying there and then she put the painting it was on masonite and she put the painting behind um uh 
glass and then put it in the window because she and her husband had a lot of hummingbird feeders and she wanted to be able to see the hummingbirds out of a place where she didn't have a window. So we just made one up for her. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a neat idea, isn't it, when you think about it? And it came out, I mean, it really came out good. And um, it was a little bit of a tricky. She took it over to a friend of mine that does, the, you know, had a frame shop at the time. And he spent quite a bit of time really... Um, um, let's see, a little bit of white here. Um, getting that so it fit, it looked natural for. Rinse the brush and just did a damp brush and just did. I want, I know that hummingbird wing is going to be there. I want something a little lighter. Tiny bit of yellow on it, a little white. Want this a little bit lighter right here. Okay. I'm thinking about that drawing. And uh, yeah, we're going to all that drawing. I'm trying to think where the. Um, let's see, I'm going to put that up there. Let's see, what color did I want here? This. Violet color. There we go. Just want something kind of neat in here like that. I don't think I'm going to keep these um, red flowers. I'm taking them out because I don't know where I want them. So let's just take them out. Redesign it on the fly. That's all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's absolutely. It. There's a little bit of this red behind these clouds, which is pretty. It gives that sort of purple effect. It's going to be kind of neat. I want a better background here like this for these, which are, you know, fun to do. And uh, all right, so these, we're going to put this aside and go on to the next one, which happens to be one of my favorites. It's this old door. Yes and yes. So we're going to take this and um, our Sorrel transfer paper, which I put where? You had it a second ago. I saw you. Did I? Here, slip down here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I think we'll put it sideways. Uh, that'll be just as easy as any. Let's see. Well, okay. Move all this. And all right, we'll do it like this. I'm going to put it like this. Transfer paper. And uh, this is where you need the tape. You just can go there. It came up. I thought I was going to answer this on the show tonight, too. What? Um, there are some questions that have come up, and um, I want to talk about what is a reference. Somebody recently did a fabulous painting in our academy, and... Um, had mentioned that they th didn't think they'd used a reference because they didn't have a photo. But a reference is anything you're looking at. Um, back before photographs, uh, people used live models. In fact, um, and... Uh, That's upside down, boss. It is. Thanks. I didn't know if you wanted it to be upside down. Just I, well, I guess it wouldn't it. have mattered. I could just turn it over. Eventually, you would have figured it out. I would have figured it out. painting to paint it all upside down? I love yeah. that one. So um, 
you know, so, you know, the question is, is, is when you use a reference photo, it's one thing. Sometimes you can use, maybe you just have a reference photo because you want to put a seagull in and you have no idea what one's, so you didn't do the whole thing, but you used a, a reference for that. Yes and yes. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways to use um, reference photos. And, um, but you can set up your own still life and paint that. It's just maybe you're just looking at something. Uh, so, you know, we rec, you know, and then maybe for an abstract, your reference is just some colors that, you know, you've done a little work on how you want the colors to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so this, you know, you, you've done a little. You know, that's your reference. You have a color reference. I know some plain air artists. Those are people that go outside and paint outside in the on the countryside, and they sometimes it's difficult. That the buggers are there, the birds, the you know the. the all the wildlife's there to interfere with your painting and your concentration, <laughs> and then your paints are drying out. It doesn't it doesn't work at all like it did in the studio, and you're wondering why what happened. <laughs> and so, what you might what some people do is they take they take their paints with them and they do a color reference. They just paint the colors they see and mark what it is. Kind of do like a little sketch and mark what it is. A very and, rough um, blocking type. Yeah, so they're saying, okay, this is the, they might make, the, they make like a little color journal so that, um, because the photograph may not capture the, their memory of the photos that were there, yes? Exactly. So, um, that's another way to, um, uh, do a, a color reference. Is it still a reference? And um, we're not we're not saying imagination is wrong, because but it does help if you know you know have you you, you know just like architects uh, you know uh, have some sort of plan they just don't sort of make up the whole house as they go. I think I'll have a board there and a board there and we'll see what happens. You know. So all right. So let's see. Did we get that on there? We did. How high? We, we got up high enough, Did you right? do the bottom of the door? Yeah, we did the bottom okay. right here. I think so. I got the we whole thing. Now. All right. So, excellent. All these references will be available on our website in a few days. It takes a while to get them up there. You guys want to paint these? This is something different to do, right? What else are we going to do on a Friday afternoon and night? Yeah. All right. We'll take a break after we finish these two for a little bit. Have a snack. Take about a ten-minute break. And get up and move around. Walk around a little bit and get the blood circulating back in the legs. We do have the first two photos. Paintings have been updated onto the website. JimCookAuction.com. You can see the finalized painting. And you can also the see page. the 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 photo. You know the, what I'll be painting. Let's we'll give you a chance to maybe put your dibs on one. If you trust me that I'll do a good job for you, um, that'd be good too, right? Most people have uh, fallen for that. Yeah. I think I'll, I think I'll do a good job. And the so pie they, is in the oven. All right, we got the uh, timer is going. Oh, you know you're just. <laughs> Let me just say something to you, Eric. <laughs> Let me just say something to you, sweetheart. Mm. I guess I could have got a pie, but I didn't. Okay, so I want something light here. This is the um, door. That's this, and then this is the wall. So let's do a little bit of a light gold on the wall. And a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, so we're going to just come up here and say this is our wall. Eat. And let's do the same on the other side. Got to give it a little bit more of a uh, gray color on this side. We're going to gray it up a little bit. And 
and then I'll do a little bit of something light down here on the ground. And, uh, okay, and then we're going to do some blue here. And let's see, let's move this out of the way so I... All right, so I need to, to mix some colors up here in my plate. You want to get an antique French looking blue, you've got to put brown in it. Okay, I'm going to just bring this up here where I can see it to mix it. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of this lighter blue, a little more white. Okay, so that's for my grayer blue. Let's see. Put all that green color in it. Let's get some white. There we go. There's this nice sort of gray-blue color. Yes and yes? Looking good. Looking like the door. Ginger, do you have a visual image in your mind of what the end product will be? Yes. Absolutely. And that is not in concrete either. Yeah, no, it could change, but yeah. um But she has a she has a good idea. For sure. Okay. I'm gonna just So we got to just sort of get this old door in. I don't want to lose my lines. I'll paint like this and I've got to uh, Hey, we'd like to thank Barbara for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Oh, thank you thank very you, much. Barbara. Appreciate it very much, Barbara. That's very kind. Hope you guys had. I kind of missed when we were doing all the quarantine quickies. You know, guys know that. <laughs> that was sort of fun, wasn't it? When we did all every night, we were up here. We're doing quarantine quickies. Oh, look, that was kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, was fun. Sixty days of them. <laughs> yeah, we did it for six. Yeah, we did it for a long time, didn't we? Sixty days. Yeah, well, no one, you know, no one thought this was going to go on for like a century. I mean, my word. No, they were saying 30 days. So we thought we'd do it for 30 days. You know, they were saying, you know, maybe a little bit, but oh, come on, you guys. I mean, nobody thought it could go on. It could just keep lasting this long. I mean, good grief. I mean, it did, it lasted for a long time. Not that, you know, and it's, you know, not necessarily over that. John and I feel very grateful that we have our um, our shots so that we can actually go out and do plays. Not that I've gone anywhere, but I could go. I'm so <coughs> used to staying home. I'm so used to staying home, I haven't done anything. But I could go somewhere if I wanted, right? I just haven't because um, uh, 
uh, I haven't, th well, I guess we did go out to lunch twice, you know, and I'm giving thought to seeing my hairdresser about putting a few blonde streaks in my hair up top, just keep the silver, but put just a couple blonde streaks up there, but I haven't thought enough about it to actually go, you understand, just giving it some thought, so it's yeah, not yeah. the same thing at all. My vote is no. John kind of likes it the way it is. I love the QQs. They got me hooked on ginger. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. What guys trying to do? Tell us to do them again. QQs were off the chart. Great. Well, they, there was a time. I mean, you know, you just, you know, I mean, I'm telling you what, you needed a reason to get out of your pajamas in the morning. You know what I mean? Just. <laughs> Just, I mean, just it was like that. There was that old joke about the guy in the. I love this story. The old uh, joke about the guy in the insane asylum, right? And um, he 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 refused to wear clothes. Absolutely refused to wear clothes. And then so is um. The 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 therapists were coming around going, we don't understand that you're resistant to wear clothes. Why won't you get dressed? He said, well, why should I get dressed? Nobody ever comes. You know, so like, why should I get dressed? And, Makes and they sense said, to well, me. and they said, well, then why do you insist on wearing that top hat that you've got on? Because he had this big fancy top hat, and he looked at them just like, like they were just too stupid to live if they couldn't understand why he would do that. And he goes, well, somebody might come. <laughs> and I think that's how. I mean, I never really truly appreciated that joke until until, until COVID. <laughs> Then I'm like, oh. There is logic to that. There is logic to this, right? Oh. Oh. That's not the, you know, just good grief, right? Um. Uh, take a little bit of blue and, and white. A little bit of purple, a little bit of yellow. You know, yellow or gray, purple. I knew that. They're because opposite. It, because they're, yeah, they're opposite each other on the color wheel. So when you, when you add a little bit of yellow to purple. Um, Ginger's sounding a little muffled. Hold on a second. Let's see what happened to Ginger. Let me put on my muffle earmuffs. Okay, Queenie, talk. Hi, I'm talking. Am I muffled? Not to me. I wonder where the muffle's happening. No, I'm not hearing anything. But then she's not talking, so. Well, I could talk. Would that help? <laughs> oh, only if I want to check the sound. <laughs> if it's well, not too much you're trouble. So, you're so picky, John. You, you'd be so picky. I know. I can't believe it. I can't believe I can't fix the sound without you talking. I mean, what's, what's wrong with that? I don't know. You're so picky. It sounds all right to me. Did it? I'm telling you, the sound is the nemesis of every YouTuber. Everybody fights sound. We've all got the video down, but when it comes to sound, it is a tough one. Because I guess it's not digital. We're both muffled. Well, Lynn, it is you. We're both muffled. Yeah, it's you. Turn up your sound. We could be muffly people. I guess we could go to a silent show. We could, well, remember, I'm not remember the silent movies? Uh, John, how old are you? <laughs> Fess up now, right? <laughs> Listen, Methuselah over there. How old are you? Oh. Just say, well, you know, inquiring minds want to know, right? Have I been hoodwinked? Let's see. I thought I was the cougar in this family. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not me. Oh, let's bring up. Oh, this is messed with the sound. I mean, we'd be here all night. Let's let's. 
Let's play with a couple of our knobbies here. We'll try that. I brought up the mid-tones. The highs are already up. And the lows are all the way down. We'll try that. We'll try that. What the heck. It's only when she leans into the painting. Well, her head goes down and you know, the microphone's faced at her, not under her. Yeah. So you're going to get a little of that. You, you pretty much have to. Yeah. It's a tough business. You got to get the put a little bit of this blue gray color on this rock. Stuff over here. Let's see a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown. There we go, a little bit of white. As you're signing up for the auction site, I am in I am getting you approved as quickly as I see them come in. I don't do you guys get an email after you've been approved? I know you get an email when you're disapproved. Because somebody got disapproved. Thank you, Kathy. The sound is perfect. Don't mess with a good thing. Okay. Sounds better, but I do like your Natasha voice. That's from Gwen. She loves your Natasha. And, she does and what? Winkle. And Squirrel. You know, when you do your, your Natasha image. Oh, Natasha voice, what I talk yeah. like, Boris, Natasha, and go get Squirrel. Go get Squirrel. I mean, that was funny. I mean, I have people that um, I can do, if I, if I do that long enough and listen a little bit to it, particularly if I'm somewhere where other people have a sort of a little bit of an accent like that, um, I can, um, people think I'm from there. Wherever there is that talks like that. Do you think that's interesting in itself? The brush sounds scratchy when she's dry brushing. It's supposed to. Yes, it does do that. Yep, yes and yes. The microphone will pick up the brush strokes. Okay, so let's move you. Get this. Now. Oh, we got to go back. We got to let this sit. This has to just play and do nothing. And let's bring our back our hummingbird and go ahead and put. How do you know a girl hummingbird from a boy hummingbird? Is that a him or a her hummingbird? Do we know? I don't know how you would tell the gender. There were some questions I wanted to talk about too. About uh, that the stuff came up. Oh yeah. So uh, we talked about what was a you know why you want references. You know. Yes. It's important to have references. Yeah, that's very. You important. know, even uh, for instance, uh, p authors. For instance, they maybe they'll they'll be writing a you know book. Maybe they're going to do a total fantasy novel about um, pirates and young love and all that stuff. You know those kind of books. But they, it, they, they usually put it in some sort of time period where they have to have historical novels generally have to have some basis of history in them. Yes and yes? Well, that's based on something that people won't get. You know, and you can't, you know, and they have to understand about hurricanes and, you know, if there's the Caribbean and how long that stuff lasted, you know. So I would say that... Um, uh, one of the more important things um, is, uh, you know, being kind of accurate. You know, being kind of accurate. Um, if you don't know what a cow looks like, go Google one. It's so in the old days when I was starting out as an artist and was learning that I had to have references. You went through hundreds of magazines and you cut out pictures and you started filing cabinets of stuff. Uh, you know, so you had a reference for a cow or stuff and. Uh, p people were just, you know, there was a lot of National Geographic. Um, I'm just going to do that so I kind of know where the placement is. The boy, the males have brighter colors than okay. the females. 
So why didn't that translate? That seems to happen a lot in nature. Why didn't that happen in the um, human race? Well, it depends on the time period. You know, think about Elizabeth in England where they, um, you know, the guys were all dressed in tights and um, in f fancy colored velvet cloaks. And... So what happened to that? You know, why did we quit doing that? I don't know. It was kind of cool, wasn't it? Now we're just nothing. I, I think that's all I want of this. Well, you don't need much. So, um, so what do we know for sure? Well, we know for sure is that what it's we have to do is take a little palette knife, small one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape this off. I'll just put it over on this plate, and I'll put out some more titanium white uh, because I want some clean stuff, and that's got all got colors in it. But the white was still wet, you guys. If anybody's asking, the white was still wet. Just I needed to more. move it, and um, this is probably where it wouldn't hurt to do um, like some clean water. But just saying. So size is how you tell the difference in hummingbirds. Size, the male's bigger or smaller, or what? Well, um, I, again, I'd be guessing that the male would be bigger, but that's a guess. I didn't get that part. No, the female was bigger, I think. Well, wait a minute. We can't think. We have to know, people. Come on, we have Google. Let's get down to the real facts here. This is an educational show, you know. Yeah, so... Um... So we want to do in white first so that um, when I put the, the, the colors over him, they'll, they'll show up. The female is bigger. Hmm. I guess that makes sense, right? All right, so we've got our hummingbird and we've got some white flowers well at least they're starting right way right yep females are generally 15 to 25 percent larger on average than the male counterparts hmm. well that's something i didn't know well, that's interesting. Do you think we would know this stuff? We'd do a lot of paintings of hummingbirds. We like them. Notice that this one is not a complete ice cream cone. It goes zoop, 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 right? Zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah. So if you're thinking don't about... do to do the sound effects. Yeah, you got to paint it. Uh, you've got to give it that, you know... We got another little one right here. Too much paint on the brush. Let's wipe some of that off. Got another smaller one here. And we got a couple up here too that are sort of fun. And I've got another one starting down here that's just, we're not talking about, but it's down in here. There's somebody here hiding. We're out of focus. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of the luminous rose from Holbein. Come up here like this and say, here's the... 
So the softer pink here. This one's sort of out of focus, so we're not talking that much about this one. These flyers, the same with this one. This is here, but it's sort of out of focus. I won't say too much about these. All right, so that white now, that has to just sit there, okay? So that's all we're doing with that right now. That is why. That's got to dry. So let's come back to this one. This is where you get schizophrenic when you're painting all these paintings. You're going, what? What are we doing here, right? So um, we want this to be a straight line here. And uh, I think I want this line pretty straight right here. And, uh, you know, the brushes have been in water, so they have to be wrung out. So that's the um, outside of this. Want to just tap a little stone color in here. Okay, let's see, we've got a palette knife we can do something with. Just gonna scrape out the paint. Well, this knife isn't any good because it's not straight. Yeah, let's try this one, there, there you go. I love this because you can erase it if you don't like it. Now, where did that other brush go? It's like putting in a, a brick wall super quick. Okay, so there's that one. Then we're saying that this put some of this color up here. A little yellow. Well, we have some white here. Let's just play with that for a little bit. A little bit more blue. A little bit of brown. I'll gray this up a little bit. Now.
Trying to age this door a bit. I don't need to tape them all. I just need to have a couple of, of pretty good straight lines. That still works. Um, This is looking good already, just the door. Just, with, just the with the door, right? Yeah. Um, let's see, I want this to be darker. Slightly lighter here. Okay, so I got that. Uh, don't know why that didn't go as straight as I wanted it, but we'll just straighten that up right there. Laurel would like to say, Ginger, your hair is beautiful. I'm really loving the color. Thank you both for all you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. We just, um, again, it's nice to have a reason to get dressed in the mornings. <laughs> just, yeah, we're just laying in bed. So what do you think we should do today? I think we should just, we should just um, do something, right? Just do a little bit of gray here. Um, uh, let's see, there was a nice kind of a planter here. And um, I will put it, I will make a different one. I will suggest a pot here. And one thing I can do, and I don't know if I can do it with this, um, I used to have a tiny, tiny, tiny palette knife. I used to have one. Little tiny one. Where would that be? Here, let me, yeah, here it is, way over here. One thing that's kind of fun to do is you can do is you can take something like this, like paint like this, right? And you can scrape it. Very gently. Very gently against the wall like that. I want something a little darker than that. Just take a little of that color. I'm going to age this old wall up a bit. You 
Now what's happened with this, because the paint is still so wet, this absolutely looks, works a little better when it's dried out a bit, but that's all right. See how I'm aging this wall? Scrape the palette knife, hold it flat. Okay, let's move the, that out of the way. Hold it flat. You want just the edge. Told you we'd show you some different tricks with this. Tap and lift up. Mm -hmm. so that kind of so we kind of age all this. Okay, so then we're going to take the dark green. I think we can make it on this palette. Start on the red. Now, Did you add gel to this? No, this so this will dry very quickly because I didn't. I'm just tapping this in here to make a little texture. Not added any gel. So what will happen is, is that um, I'll come down here now I'm just using my brush. I'll do some very dark leaves, tiny ones. So this has to come down even further. I'm not going to do the
pick your colors. Because the green is still wet, it's going to allow me to put a few little of these light bits. In the background when this dries we'll keep going with some more but I just wanted to do this for now that dry a bit while we're um, darkening the shadow and maybe taking a little of this orange color and putting it on this side of the pot. So we've got a little pot there that we can do something with in a little bit when it dries. But if you keep layering colors on it, you can't do too much because it's every, all it's, you're just mixing. It's all blending out. Okay. All right. So now we've got a little bit of these this orange on the door here. Kind of age it a little bit. And let's see what do we got here. It is nice how wet this paint stain, you guys. Aren't you kind of impressed? With, we would have changed it out by now, wouldn't we have, John? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think you're going to get to a point here when we take a break. You yeah. Know, potty break and stretch your little bones. You've been sitting there for a while. Yeah, I think so. This is... um. Uh, this needs to dry pretty well. Yeah, because you're going to be plopping things on top of that. Yeah, it needs to dry pretty well. This was uh, the hummingbird. Well, we just finished that. And we'll take a break, right? Okay. So, um, I got out. John got out. I suggested that we do some um, iridescent paints for this hummingbird. These are Artezas, and people say, when do you use those? I would say you do use those um, now on something like this, that you want it a little bit more iridescent, maybe. They're a very translucent paint. Yeah, and just maybe something so up here show, like that. Show whatever is behind it will come through. So you've got... Let's see, let's take out a few of these colors. Um, I mean, hummingbirds really are iridescent. They're one of the few uh, creatures that are. Let's just wipe off the excess paint here.
Thought we'd try a few anyway on them, see how we liked it. Yeah. Some greens. Pretty much has to go over white. So whatever else we do with the bird, these are just sort of my introductory colors. Maybe, this came in a maybe, set, maybe right? Need to go over a light color so they can be seen. Yeah. Now I'm just back into the Holbein, or rather the uh, Salvador. Okay, going to erase some of that, soften that line up a little bit. Now let's get some of these greens. There's, I think you could get something that's kind of iridescent that you can add, um, you can add to, um, your paint to make it more iridescent too. I don't think we've ever bought any of that, have we? No. But I think that's something that's possible to do. There's a medium that does it. Huh? I think there's a medium. Yeah, some sort of iridescent one. medium. I have to check my vast resources of play items. So I'm doing a combination of the iridescent and the um, regular colors. This is where zinc white is nice. Let's get a new paper plate here. There's a cool effect. And uh, it's a little wider at the at the at the the edge of the wing, and these get narrower. Kind of erasing some of them so that they're just suggesting narrow. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I want something a little bit brighter here under the wing. Let's see, what other colors did you give me? I think these are the blues. I think sometimes you got to do a couple coats, too. We don't live near an airport, but we're right on the runway line. If the winds are coming the right way, we get them right overhead, directly overhead. That's why you hear them once in a while. The airport's miles away. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? We're just on the approach path. Some good bright colors here. We have Coming a lot of Canadians today who was asked where you all from if you're not from the U.S. We have Tasmania is in the house. Somebody asked us on the last, um, you know, because on our regular Monday night shows, you'll often see us give away an original painting. And um, somebody had asked if uh, we ever gave anything outside of the United States. And uh, maybe John would like to tell you some of the places that we've sent our original art to. Well, well, Tasmania is our latest one, and we've gone to Australia quite often, Canada is quite often, Ireland, um, Egypt, Israel, and Slovakia. I think it was Slovakia. Or some of the It was foreigners. Malta, too, right? What's that? Malta. In Malta, yeah. I know Malta was in the house earlier. So, yeah, we... The odds aren't always in their favor because there's more U.S. Canadian people watch our show. But it's it's the luck of the numbers you know, come up from random.org. But everybody, we're an equal opportunity give away our people Those are kind of fun, right? Our little wings. It's looking good. Just building up the colors. Yeah, building up the colors, right? And this is dries, it should get more kind of, I think, a little more iridescent. So then we come along here like, um, let's see, I think we have to do anything else to the flowers till we put the pink in. So we've got some white up here. And a little bit of the Holbein iridescent color to that. Could be a nice bright painting. There's always a little bit of red too. Not just one color. Nothing's ever just one color. Brush strokes get a little smaller out toward the beak. I think that's the one thing, is that if you were going to write a word on your easel for your studio messages to yourself, think of random, random brush sizes and marks. You know, so you're not making all the same 
um, things, and you're going, I don't understand why it didn't look like that. Chances are you didn't change brushes or you didn't get your marks uh, small enough. Okay, so there's, um, again, it's all about layers, isn't it? Seems to be. Now this will need another layer of white to it, as well as this. So I would say, um, what do I want to see here? It's a little bit of a... Bring this down a little lower. Get a few more colors up here. There we go. Now, um, These little brushes are so nice to use because you can get right in here to the details. Make this a little wider here. White tip on the tail. Just going into white now and adding a bit. This is the second layer of white. Not this white, but the red has to dry before it can really um, feel like we can, you know, make headway with that. There you go. So there's our mirror. Hummingbirds and the flowers are not. Let's take a break for 10 minutes. We'll come back and um, uh, we'll finish up the uh, whatever it was we were painting. What was it we were painting? Where's the... You um, were doing the door. We had a door, didn't we? I saw <laughs> we had a door somewhere. We had a door here, right? So we had a door. Back up, I'm going to put that one. Oh, I just dropped all those paints on the floor. Too bad. Oh, good. Um, something to do during the break. I was wondering yeah, what to do. Yeah, see? So we got these two that we have to finish. And we've got more to come. If you want to know what's next, then they, uh, go look at our auction site, gingercookauction.com. They're not in any particular order, though. They're not in any particular order. Well, they are. They're on the home page. If you go from the bottom, bottom is number one. So it's going yeah, from the bottom yeah, up. I think that's fine, John. They can just guess. Well. All right, so this is what our, uh, we're not quite done with this, haven't signed it, but this is what uh, uh, we'll leave you with the break looking at, uh, our butterfly, kind of looks like an old world painting, doesn't it, with the blue in here and the butterfly and the way it's done. It looks good. So I'm not quite finished yet, but almost, yes and yes. We're well on our way, we'll play our um, a little promo here. It's yeah, only four we'll minutes play a promo, we'll and thanks for hanging out with us. And take a break, uh, take a break and come on back. At the the paintathon is on. Woohoo! Still going. Hi, you guys. So while Ginger is drawing the painting, that would be me, but future me, not now me. <laughs> the now me is going to thank everybody who's been uh, supporting us and our channel for the last. Uh, well, forever. If you've been doing that, we thank you. If it's last year, the year before, the year before, we've been on YouTube for a while. We appreciate you very much. And whether you've been donating a little bit every month to on the YouTube side or you've gone to our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and uh, 
scroll down to the Karen Little Scholarship Fund and contributed there, um, we thank you very much. And uh, a lot of your contributions have gone towards scholarshipping people in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And particularly during this pandemic, we have found that um, cabin fever doesn't begin to describe how a lot of people are feeling and painting is what keeps them going. And this personal art coaching that I do in the academy, sometimes where you're reaching out to another person and I comment on their artwork and that kind of thing and back and forth with through video, private videos I make for people, it's kind of a lifesaver. And sadly, even though $35 a month will, you know, is, is, doesn't sound like that much, but for many people who are finding themselves, uh, their income changed dramatically, it's just not in the budget. So for those of you who have been helping out, we thank you very much. We wanted to do something in uh, kind of to reward that. So for the next, kind of quarterly, and for the next few months, it's, uh, Anyone who donates at least $100 will be put into a special drawing to win one of my original paintings, an 8x10. We'll give you a choice of three after um, uh, the, the drawing session is over. Ginger will show you what those three current paintings are that will be in the upcoming um, uh, cycle of uh, for the scholarship fund. Uh, and. So we want to thank you for that. And then John, why don't you know that if you have someone in mind that you think would benefit from a scholarship, whether it's in the Beginner Curl Academy, whether it's a senior membership, maybe you know someone that's been dying to have a Wave and Water membership and they just couldn't afford it. It's just it, um, somebody that needs to keep going. You have someone in mind, tell us. We have people in mind also that have said they would love to stay, but they can't because of finances. And maybe that you could help somebody like that. But whatever, whatever it is, if you do a hundred dollars, we're gonna we'll match it with a hundred dollars, and that might scholarship two or three people for a few more months, or might case just so many different ways that that can help. Um, our Academy members or future or would be want to be Academy members that want to come and really take advantage of the classes that we offer. So before I leave, I wanted to explain a little bit about Karen. Karen was John's first wife. Um, they were married over 40 years. She died very unexpectedly. Within two weeks of being sick, she was in the hospital and gone. And some of you know what that's like right now because of the pandemic. We've lost a lot of people over the past year that were very unexpectedly. And Karen was the kind of gal that her whole life, she was just generous and kind to others. She she was very creative. She used to like to knit and crochet and, and uh, they would, she would make a scarf or mittens or some booties or something. And she would give them away to total strangers who would, and she did this everywhere. She was just a very, very gregarious and kind and loving person. And when we thought we would have a scholarship fund, we named it after Karen, wanted to honor her memory. And anyway, we want to, again, thank you guys for helping support our channel. If you want to help support a little further, someone that you think would benefit from our academy, uh, you can, if you do it, go to our website, you can uh, just leave the information as a place where you can write what you'd like the funds to go for, whether it's to have a bottle of wine on us, Ginger, or I'd like to scholarship somebody. It doesn't really matter what it is, but we thank you very much. And John and I hope you're enjoying the rest of this tutorial. We try to make it fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in a sec. Hi, you guys. Did you know that probably the first four hours of my day, four to five hours of my day, are spent at the computer doing personal art coaching to our Academy members? People send me their artwork.
that they've been working on, either a lesson on YouTube or it might be an academy lesson or maybe it's a photograph that they have that they're painting a picture for a friend. And they'll send me that and then we, I will do a video and do personal customized art coaching for that individual, send it back, and we have this dialogue that's fantastic. And it's just like me sitting in your studio talking over your shoulder and saying, this is great, change this. And it really is true when I say a video is worth a thousand words. I think it's a picture's worth a thousand words. So a video must be worth a million. I think that was it. So one of the many reasons why joining the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting is of super benefit to you, and I think you should give us a try. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.
And we're back. Okay, so I told you we're and, almost... And we're back. And, yeah. All right, we're back. Woo, that was good. I got a cup of coffee. Hard-boiled egg. Oh, oh hard-boiled... What about deviled eggs? Yeah, it's, yeah, cinnamon makes the best deviled eggs. So I wonder if... you uh, Sue the cinnamon, you saw it there. Tell, tell Sue, you know, get, get her recipe for us. So tell email Sue that send me the recipe for the deviled eggs, please. Thank you. If Linda, Linda Sue's that's still out there. Did you guys miss us? I gave him some things to listen to. Okay. Oh, I get that last picture. I just, I shot the... What happened? Oh, I shot that one just to at least throw it up there. Which one? The one you're doing now. The one that was supposedly done. Which I know nothing's ever done. Well, it'll just be better, that's all. I'll just it'll do be it better. I just wanted it. You know, sometimes it really dry darker, and then you see where, you know, you need a little tweak. Well, you know. Yeah, these are just... These are better than what was there. That's all we're trying to do. At least show the actual photo, the actual painting. Yeah, there you go. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. I think that came out very nicely. And um, uh, okay. So there, there's that one. Excellente. Put that up there like so. Yeah, I'll put the frame out of the way. And uh, uh, let's go back to um, this one for a minute. I just don't like those front uh, boards as well as I might. And I just... What don't you like? I just need these to be a little straighter. It's an old door. Yeah, but this still, it just... This needs to be just a little bit straighter. You're a perfectionist. Uh, You've been a sock folder. I know, but on stuff like this, I care. So I'm going to do it. There I go, like that. And um, maybe I'll put the, I'll paint the whole thing and then put the line down the middle. I think that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to do that. Kind of age the whole thing up here. There we go, just age this door a little bit more. Where that green was it? There we go. Got a little bit of rain coming through now. Yeah, it's raining now. Just wanted these lines straighter. Does that make sense? No, I see that. And it's just an easy thing to do. You know, you take a little bit of the tape and then you've got it. And it's just kind of easy. All right, so now what we want to do with this is that we want to get out a little gel. And we're going to start playing. We did this before. This is a really cool one. If you guys didn't realize we were doing that to the texture, this is a really cool one. And this is just some heavy uh, gloss gel. And... Uh, I want a little tiny, um, little tiny brush to do that with. And let's see, where's our, uh, here. So we're going to put the Boogie and Julia on. Uh, little known facts about Boogie and Julia is that they, um, Boogie and Julia, uh, is poisonous. And, um, one, one half. That's poisonous, and so is um, uh, so is oleander. Oh gosh, just missed throwing that in the paint. And um, my good good friend, see, I want some of this color up here. A bit of this red. I'm gonna get some gel here. You can go about fifty percent gel. And uh, I had a good friend that um, a little bit of white in this. Her husband had cut down some oleander, which is, you see oleander um, in, um, as, as planters in, in California, there's a lot of it grows because it just is practically a desert plant. It does need a lot of care and water. Once you've got it going, 
it's good. It's it's really going. Okay, so let's just kind of I'm gonna put this up in here like this. Just put these on little dots. This will give it this three-dimensional look, which will be really pretty when this is um, finished. And I'm following the patterns of the door. Kind of roll it, just dropping that like like cookies on a cookie sheet. Have you ever done that? Just dropping this on there just with the my brush like that. And the not stars on a flag and some some dots are smaller than others. They kind of touch. And uh, you just see if you can kind of get a sense of how that will look. Kind of mix all that together. A little bit of white in there, lighten that up. Some more of this white, of this luminous rose color. Let's get some of that. Here we go. This is this this is the whole by luminous rose, and you just can't get this, can't make this color. You can do magenta if you didn't have this. Magenta would be pretty. And also, if you look up bougainvilleas, they they come in white, different colors. They come in orange. They come. They don't just come in this pink color. Um. There's a shape to the kind of a pattern that I'm putting in. You want to make sure you've got some going off the top of the canvas here. That is looking mighty pretty. It's nice, isn't it? I mean, the. the the flat, I mean, this is a this is a cool treatment for painting. You can get such a three dimensional look. It's just you got to vary the size of the flowers. They got some of them have to be itty bitty tiny things that you barely see because they're really not flowers. They're kind of pink leaves, is what they are, and you know. And they, they grow in Texas, but they're subject to freeze. I doubt if there's a bougainvillea plant in the whole state that survived last winter's um, fiasco with the heating. Now I'm going to add a little bit of magenta to this, and darken these up on the sides. Okay, and the nice thing about it, when you add, if you mix this to a gel, you know, to a heavy gel like what we did, the nice thing about it is, is that if you bake too much, you can put it in a jar and it'll keep. So if you know you're going to do pink flowers or green leaves and you want to, you know, do something like that, you certainly can because of that. And... Uh, I'm not sure how far down I want to put these, but I think I'll just put this pot away for a minute and and maybe imply that um, here's this here's my pot here like this. Now see this has had a chance to dry, so now I'm gonna make sure that there you go like that. Here's my bucket. Kind of age that door a little bit, 
Now what we want to do is put, um, we want to imply a vine coming up here like that. Now that brown paint, I haven't misted it or anything, that brown paint is still, um, still very loose. Still, still wet. Yeah, stay wet palette. Now, what I need to do, let's see, let's throw that away, that plate away, and um, move this. Here's the Salvador paints I'm using. Let's see, where's my dark brown? There, so let's just do a little more brown here. Yeah, then what we can do is we can suggest that there's some some green leaves coming through here like that. We don't have to we don't want to lose the whole vine. And maybe something growing at the bottom of the pot down here. Put a little burnt umber in that darkest green. A little yellow. Okay. And then Uh, during the break, we talked to Ellie, the, she's in charge of, charge of accounting, and she said we should have a few giveaways today. <gasps> We're going to have some giveaways? Well, awesome. she said, she said, you guys are having such a great time, you ought to have a few giveaways on the new website. Some downloadables, and maybe Lessons? a membership or two. Okay. Well, that's so, uh, fun. We should probably let the uh, moderators know this so we can get, the, get a form built and get them uh, getting some entrees. Let's do that, so you guys. Moderators, if you're out there. Give out the uh, giveaway link, and uh, we'll see to, uh, what we can do. You know, the way Ellie is, she's uh, quite the gal. Well, I think that's kind of cool, right? Well, that's very nice of her. Absolutely. So see, we've got something kind of nice going here. And then when this dries a little bit more, we'll come back and put in um, um, we'll come back in and and um, yeah, that is looking pretty darn sweet there with the doors, right? Looks very three dimensional on my screen. Looks like it's popping off. Does it? Yeah. Is it? Is that cool? It's kind and of weird looking. I wonder why it's doing that. And um Well, it's not like an optical illusion. Well, there you go, you guys. We got some good um, 
got some beauty happening there, my queen. We do. And we can come back and give this another little pop of texture here in a couple of places. Some brighter ones. Here, maybe. And uh, pop a couple of these up again. Okay. All right, Nifty King, you guys. Oh, that's a keeper. So that has to dry. I'm going to put that somewhere safe. Please. You know that's got to dry, and um, let's uh, let's go ahead and finish our um, uh, hummingbird. Let's come in here with our nice greens. I already had green on my brush, and I've got a nice uh, light green here. There's a little bit of blue in this, in some of these leaves. Remember, we'll have the video and the references in the new website in probably a few days. It takes us a while to put this meeting together. So if you're a member of the... You know, if you're an Academy member and a... Um, orange or above. Uh, you've got a good shot at um, you know uh, seeing a reference photo for these fairly soon. I think you might enjoy painting some of these myself. Well, you can see they're fun to paint. Ooh, this is, these Kim's cute. Yeah, it's got some great colors in it, too. You are the queen of colors this evening. Tell you what, there's some colors in this, aren't there? 
If we don't have the iridescent paints or mediums, can we still make this painting work? Yeah, I think Absolutely. so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just just use bright colors and, and glaze more. Yeah. I would say take take a moment and, and glaze. Do more Those glazing and you can get some really good. You can get a lot of effects, a lot of good cool effects with the glazing. Just let it dry between them. And um, now there's not enough contrast between here and here. You're going to fix on that. On the bird. Too. So I'm going to just. You're going to work your magic. I know you. I'm going to just do a little more contrast on his back because you don't see it, right? And, you know, it's all good until you can't see it. <laughs> Why is that? Now the bird, now the hummingbird shows up, yes. And um, the next okay. layer is white on the flower. See, you don't see that, but that's when the first, but the, the white, even as the titanium, is never as bright as the second coat. See? So that's that's the, the secret right there. So it's never as bright as the second coat. So you can write that down. You can take it to the bank if you say. I don't want it everywhere. I just kind of want it whiter where the little bird is. You know, like that. Just See, so that he sh shows up there. Might do a little bit of white over here. So that that flower is in front of this one. He's kind of one in the background. Yeah. And the same thing with the white on the, the tail here. Well, I think that one's finished. I feel like we've got a good hummingbird there. Yeah, I like him. Got some iridescent greens and yellows. Okay. All right, so hummingbird. Let's see, what would he look like if he were just sitting in a little frame? I'm gonna back it out. He look magnificent. It's kind of cute. You can kind of see how that how that kind of finishes out. So quite our, lovely. We'll sign him. So that's uh. I think I'm going to sign him in gold. Nothing but the best for him. It doesn't show up enough. Let's do one. This video will be stayed up for a while. What? The video will stay up for a while. It probably won't be a permanent one because these long ones don't do well for us. It will always be available in the Academy though. Oh, giving him some of his dots, some of his freckles.
Oh, yes, that's what she needed. Okay, you guys, how fun is that? So we've got a, got a little hummingbird. And now what? What is next on the list? Where'd the list go? Oh. It should be the blue and gold bird and the cactus setting sun on your next two. All right, these are the next two, you guys. All right. So this is the background color I have chosen for number six. And um, we're going to take a big, big brush and have some fun with this. Okay, you ready for this? This is zinc white. Maybe golden zinc white. Or the titanium, or the, uh, is it transparent white from golden, from Liquitex? Well, that's the, yeah, the zinc white is, I usually buy, um, Zinc white from Golden, but Liquitex is, uh, you can use that too. Uh, other people make transparent whites. a little lighter down in here into our little forest very gently kind of brushing this out a little bit of white and blue great background right there it's not bad is it fun to see this one come together. Notice that the brush to, to paint this one um, um, branch that the brush strokes are going this way.
Andrew's in the house. Hey, Andrew. He had a dinner party. Ugh. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> uh, not necessarily. Would you rather spend time with us or a dinner party? Come on, let's be real here, shall we? Well, if you miss what's going on, the first few paintings are done and up on the auction site, though we've got photos of what's going to be painted. If I get a chance, I put them up. We got the first three have got the real photos, the real paintings. We're just using Salvador paints for those of you who came in late. With a touch of golden here and there. Yep. Occasionally a, a whole line. A, uh, some of the artiste on the iridescence for the hummingbird. We'd like to thank Tint for the donation today. Love all the paintings. Thanks for this special paint-a-thon night. Absolutely. This is fun. Glad you guys are hanging in there with us. I hope we have a few of you that are still hanging in. We're get, we have some, we're going to be doing a few uh, giveaways from the Academy. Uh, we decided uh, just after the break that that would uh, happen. And John will be uh, drawing for some. Yeah, we'll see, sure. how, let's see how the entrees are doing. Let's just, uh, Hope we have at least uh, some thumbs up. Do we have some thumbs up in this group? Oh, we got 372 thumbs ups. All right, so there we're... So somebody must like something. Somebody likes something, right? Let's see where we're at. Not quite in 100 entrees yet. We get 100, we'll do the first drawing. I eyeballed that in pretty well, didn't I? I think you did an amazing job myself. Me, I'd get the tractor out, the protractor, the triangle, the tape measure. Yeah. Yeah, it always amazes me how you do this stuff. You know what? The amount of energy and time I've got into learning to paint well, I could be a, I would have been the best brain surgeon on the planet. <laughs> Just want you to know that, you guys. I would have been the very best, I promise you. Amount of time. I always said that about, you know, I know the Olympics are coming up and they're wonderful, but I'm just saying that, you know, uh, they take just a few people and then everybody else that practice doesn't get in. And that same amount of time, um, could have, you know, you could have a really an amazing uh, Well, how do you think you would do as a brain surgeon? Well, the problem is I, I, I don't think I would do well because <laughs> um, I really would, I would suck at it. I, I, I know that. And the reason being, John, is just because um, I have too much, uh, you know, I'm kind of an empath when it comes to stuff like that. I just, I just don't think I could, um, I think it takes a I, special I couldn't, breed. I couldn't, I think, I don't think I could pull it off. I was never meant to be a, a brain surgeon as much as I hate to admit that. <laughs> I, I, I can appreciate that, Jim. I, I can see where, I, that, I, where that would leave you. This was not. I was never meant to be. I was always meant to be an artist. But I'm just saying that there's there's a few hours in this venture, right? Indeed. 
Oh, we'd like to thank Andrew for the donation. Uh, Ginger, your stamina is amazing. Can't wait to see all the paintings hang in there. Oh, thank you, Andrew, very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this has to dry before we can put on the bird. Yes and yes? Kind of I see would think I'm, so. See where I'm going with that? Like, we still have this branch Oops, here sir. and the birdie, right? Yes and yes? So wait that's got to dry, so we'll put that over here. Do you have room for all this? Do I need to get up or anything yet? Here we're good. Now we're going to do this one, which is our uh, sunset. This will be fairly quick, you guys, but this is these can be very nice because what happens is when the sun's setting, everything else in the background, in the foreground, is just dark. So the whole thing is all about this, um, this the, sunset. the sun. You know, this is the whole enchilada is the sun here. So let's take... Um, the whole enchilada. Let's start with, good. start with some new paper. I just love when I do these marathons. I just throw stuff everywhere. Yeah, I just love cleaning up after them, too. And uh, let's start with this. It's got, um, let's start with our. Can I just okay. put colors on your brush? Yeah, I've got, I've got green on the brush. I need to, this is why you got to change brushes every once in a while. We need, oh, I know, it was on the rag. So, new rag. New the rag. Green was on the rag. Oh, I didn't get you new rags. I hope you have enough. I got some. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, so green was on the rag. So, can't use that. Let's see if I can get this one going here. All right, so here we go. Well, that just, oh, that's a lovely color. It is pretty. I'm and sorry about just, the uh, controls. We we had a hardware issue, and I had to change controls around. I'm not used to the new controls. And what's what's wrong with them? They're backwards from what they used to be. So I'm grabbing the wrong one. Oh yeah, that was just that funny. We got that. Um, we've got this um, this device that lets, allows us to move the canvas the, camera. the, 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 or the cameras across the across um, the whole surface across the whole surface and um, and one of them you know we had it for three years and one of them just it just broke it just felt like it, it wanted just, to misbehave. Just, you know, just didn't want to do it anymore. And you, you know, right no. shoot. Hmm. That's going to be a fun one to edit. I haven't done that one yet. Lisa says, John and Ginger, my daughter Juanita wants to know that, wants you to know that she is watching and she says hello. Well, hello, Juanita. Hello, Juanita. Thanks absolutely. Thanks for joining us. The, absolutely. Thank you very much for hanging out there with us. We're just getting warmed up. Yeah, we're just um, we're just getting warmed up here, you guys. We're just um, the rains are picking up. The rain, yeah, I can hear the rain. And what better way to spend a rainy afternoon? I guess it's evening. I guess now. it's evening now. <laughs> so I don't want to eat orange up there. I just want pinks up there. And a little more white with that. I want this lighter. I'm just going to paint all that out because I'm going to put blue over it anyway. So I don't want to have to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it then. Now I can't do anything else with the blue until the orange dries. I um, can put a little bit maybe of purple up here. A 
But you gotta let the you gotta, gotta let it dry. Gotta let some of this dry. See you I... have to be patient, or you end up with mud. Mudville. Mudville. And then I'd have to start over. Okay, so I've got a little bit of this purple coming down here. A little bit of the ultramarine blue. Ooh, too much. Now you just wipe that off and come back with the red. Very gently brush this out. All right, so let's just let that sit there. And let's come back to our bird. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, so we got the bird, the tape, and the, and the, got the bird, the tape, and the um, transfer paper. Yes and yes. So we're going to just do this. And line up the other bird. Hope you don't get confused. And line up the bird like so. Let's hope I guessed right, right? Because that's what all this was, was a guess, right? <laughs> oh, I know you did great. Let's see, how close did I get? Close enough. You can stretch his feet or swoosh his, smoosh his feet if you're not quite on the branch. You're close. You do have the paper the right way, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Mm-hmm. Donna, we'd like to thank you for your donation. And you are entered in our little drawing that's coming up at the end of the month for those that made the... Hundred dollar or more donation in the quarter. Yeah, it's a, and we collect this over time too. You do it in one, or you could have done it in over several quarter. over the whole quarter. And you guys are all entered in a special drawing that um, and thank you, Anna Marie, for your donation as well. Hi, Anna Marie. I haven't seen a painting for you in a while. Ooh, Ooh, just throwing you under the bus. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I'm expecting one. <laughs> That's what we need to do is start giving assignments. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> from people that we normally see and hear from a lot, you know, we know. And Lisa, um, I think, um, am I right in that you've got that special dog project portrait for a friend? Do we have more than one Lisa? We have more than one Lisa, so I, I have to. I don't know which Lisa that's doing the dog yeah. project. So, but you, you Lisa, know who you are. <laughs> if you're out there, Lisa. <laughs> I haven't seen the dog project either. Okay, well, look at that. We just did great on that, didn't we? It's almost like you had X-ray vision. Look at that, huh? Yes. Isn't that fun? Yes and yes. A stroke of brilliance, I might say. There's some real. Karen says, I love how Ginger makes painting look so fun. The way the brush moves, the colors coming together, etc. Yeah, I think one of the things is you just got to sit there, doodle with your paints for a while and see what happens. You know, back in the day, there was a time when I taught some painting parties when they first came out for about, well, six, seven years I did it and got Cinnamon involved in that too. And, um, Cinnamon was a much better painting party teacher than I was because she'd get in there and dance and be with the party, and I just wanted to teach art. You know, <laughs> just, I was probably the wrong person. I mean, I could teach it, but I mean, I wasn't there drink, drinking along with the group, right? So you anyway, weren't the, you weren't the you weren't the party animal. I just never have been, right? I think it's uh, you know my good not bringing. But anyway, um, uh, anyway, where was I going with this? With the. Uh, Good point I was making about that something. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> Anne Marie says, that is why I've been so quiet. I've been lazy. 
Well, no, I get it. I mean, I really do get it. I mean, it's, it's, um, see, he's going to be really cute, you guys. This is going to be a cute one. Where's our big picture of this? Oh, let's get out the Greek. Let's see, I'll put you over here because you're kind of a problem. Let's get out the bigger one so we can see it. It's on your iPad, too. Yeah, I know. I got to find it. Where did I put it? Going back the other way. Do, 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 do. There. <laughs> All right. So there's. All right. So we've got. He's got this nifty little branch he's on. And. Um, now, is this a boy or a girl? Do we know? We don't know. But we think the ornithologist um, <laughs> would know. That's what they're called, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, see? Got something right here. Let's see. I want this a little greener. Can hear the rain, can't you? you guys? Can you guys hear the rain? I can hear the rain. I can hear the rain. It's a song about that. Can you hear the rain, remember? I don't think we should break into song, honey. Uh, no, probably not. We scare off the few people that we have with us. All right, so this... I remember the early days. We were so excited when we had a dozen people show up live for a show. Yeah, I know. And we used to have a way you could... Uh, uh, we could see the audience. We had we weren't on YouTube. We were on some other deal, and um, you could see that you you could see who was in the room. Well, they could, in the room on they, could, they could show us their artwork and stuff, right? And we, it was cool. The terrible connection, and the, and the, you know, pretty much not anywhere near as effective as the way our academy is now, and the way we can do this live stuff. But, oh, uh, and then plus the personal art coaching. Yeah. And then just taking it to the next level. Absolutely. I mean, at that point where I can make a video and show people what to do. That's and they really... understand it, and they make the corrections, they send it back, and you go, yes! Still yeah, yes right. and yes. Let me stick a sticker on my iPad. You know, you could do, absolutely do that. I think the rain stopped. Yeah, it's been... It was quite the deluge, as they say. Yeah, they say, do say stuff like that, deluge, right before everything floods. Okay, so let's camps. see, what they do we got for sure? Trails. We got a little bit of a... This is a, definitely a bluebird. Oh, we got our hundred. What should we draw for first, my queen? Um... Let us draw for a $50 gift certificate in our um, downloadable lessons. $50 gift certificate. I guess mm -hmm. you and uh, Miss Ellie were having a conversation during the break. I think so. I think that pretty much you can um, you can buy, you know, that'll get you. It'll get you quite a. It, it, it get you a couple or maybe just one of the big ones or get you something. Or gives you a fifty dollar discount on one of the more complex ones. What's that? Oops. Well, let's get that first drawing underway then. See how many we got. And okay, here we are. Hundred and twelve. All right, first one's going to be a drawing for a gift certificate on our, a cat, what is it? What's the name of our website? Acrylic painting with gingercook.com. Ooh, exactly right. That was a little test, you know. Was it? Uh-huh. Were you just trying to confuse me? Nope, just seeing if you remembered it. Because I know it's different. Well, what is that? Like some sort of a cognitive test? Yes. Yes, it is. Are you getting worried? 
Not at all. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd ask. Well, we have our first winner. And let me make a note of it. $50 gift certificate. Certificate. I just type, type and, fingers, type. And you have uh, you know, six months to use it. And let's get the name. And I'll probably butcher the name, and I apologize in advance. Not you. Mm. English, lang English has not been my favorite language. Well, you don't speak anything else, so would you just be a mute? What, what, would, <laughs> what would your deal be, John? That's my point. Winner of a $50 certificate on unto abbreviations acrylic painting with Ginger Cook is Irene Cloica. Cloica. I think it's Cloica. So Irene, if you're still out there, you get a $50 certificate, and I'll try to remember to email you folks once we're all done. So congratulations, Miss Irene. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's that's my that's just the first one. So don't 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 panic, folks. Ellie is a giving is a giving elephant. We'll do more throughout the evening as time rolls on. Just um, as time rolls on, does time really roll? You have a curious mind, John. Well, the world is going to really disturb you because these little these little issues that you have with <laughs> with stuff well, are they so keep you up late at night. Uh, is that what you, that's the story you're telling us? Why you stay up late? Now, I just figure you like to stay up late and, and program. Well, I do that too. Uh huh. But I'm sitting there thinking, and some of the things that we come up with here with the stuffy staff, and I, I mean, I ask them these things, and they're, they're not real responsive. They go, "Well, you have to ask the queen. The queen knows these answers." And well, the queen's busy sleeping, so by the time morning comes around, we forget. Oh. You know, as time goes rolling on. I've never seen time roll. Oh, you haven't seen Let the Good Times Roll? Let the Good Times Roll. Because obviously time rolls when they're good times. See, everybody's assuming that time rolls in a circle. That's what Dana says, because it, we all have a clock and the clock's in a circle. So you assume it's going to be rolling. <laughs> That's good. You know, it was funny when my kid was little, they, they had invented... Um, Digital. Digital. And she never, you know, you know you get, I don't know if you know, you guys remember what this was like when you had that big a clock at the in each classroom. Oh, absolutely. And you would wait, if you could watch the second hand go around and you it click, couldn't click, click. wait for that <laughs> bell to ring and you just, you knew exactly how long five minutes was, didn't you? Or ten or, I mean, you just, um, wow. Yeah. And time flies, that's another one. Yeah, it's, it's true, right? Time flies. If time I'm... rolls, does it go bowling? And Mary, that's a good question. So I'm not know. the only one that has these questions. No, obviously not. Um... I think I want another green leaf under here like this. I think we want to. He's a good looking birdie. It's like a little bit darker next to the, the branch. Yeah, 
yeah, just uh, sort of fun. I think we had another leaf under a here. Something a little bit more olive, though. And does time roll downhill? Time is like the river. It flows along and that part never returns again. Ooh, that's that's heavy. It is heavy, right? Yeah, that's that's good, Tracy. That's that's a good one. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Just uh you No, know, you get to be two, three o'clock in the morning, these things come to your mind, you're just kind of trying to figure is it out. Is it three o'clock in the morning yet? Are you telling me it's three o'clock in the morning? No. Are you lying no, no, no. to me the time? Yeah, let's see you stay up with my hours, huh? I say you can do it. Um, let's see what else do I want to do here. Put another kind of let's have some fun with these dark branches here. Uh, kind of a jungle of a forest here, right? It definitely is. And he's sitting up there all by his little self. Let's, we, let's make his eye good. Oh, there goes that brush. Just dropped it on the floor. I think oh, I good. Another it. one to clean. Uh, no, I think I can get it. I've got these little... I think so. Where did I put it? Back towards... No, this way. Towards you. It's towards you, right next to your right foot. That's it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. That's how we do it. Now, let's take the pen here. Tracy says, how come men don't need as much sleep as women? I don't know. It's always warmer at night, too. Have you ever noticed that? It's warmer. Just in general, they're warmer. They're at higher body temperature somehow. Don't understand it. You put the paint on the brush, wipe it all off, do this a couple times. <laughs> Which makes no sense to me. But I tell you, it doesn't work unless you do it. So, get used to it. Yeah, it's true. It's just, I know it doesn't make any sense, but, um, um, let's see, where's my black Posca pen? Now, when that dries, we'll put the next layer on that. Um, on those feetsies? Mm-hmm. On those feeties. So, let's see. What have oh, we got? Oh, Luna Sue's back now. Luna Sue, we need the um, Cinnamon's Devil Egg Recipe. 
Have her send it to me, please. Don't send it to Mama. I'll never see it. Oh, you have little faith. <laughs> nah, I just know these things. I'm kind of liking this guy, too. Now, the trick is you barely want to see that white line under his eye. There you go. And then you want a little bit of light blue. I'd say the paint's staying wet the whole time, John. All right, cinnamon runs just right. Paint stays well, wet the whole stuff. time. A little of this kind of light blue over the top of the black. See how those little feeties? We want a little bit of purple. Yeah, nothing is ever just one color. We know it's not with you, that's for sure. That guy's got some nice colors in him. And well, something pretty dark under here. There's tail. And we want something lighter back here. And then let's do something lighter still. Right up there a little bit. And uh, while that's drying, we'll just tone this back a little bit right there. I want some blue in that leaf. We'll just play with this leaf a little bit. Too much paint on the brush. I like all the colors in this picture. There's a lot. You would think so. And um, I've got this one going all the way across. So I'm going to get rid of that. This one right here. I like this branch. I want this one. So I've got this one going all the way across like this. And uh, no, that's okay. It just needs to have some more, a little more consistent branch here. We don't really understand it's a branch.
All right. Here, a little bit more shaded under here because it's this tummy. It's got a little shadow right there. And what am I missing? Mona is still with us at 3 a.m. Mona, you oh got my, my gosh, hours, baby. Oh, gosh, Mona. You're my you're, hero. You're amazing. Okay, so what am I missing here? There we go. Yeah, it's coming together. I think that's um I think that's gonna kinda do it for our little bird here. It's kind of in the jungle here. Let's see how did we do with that. Well, I mean I think we um I think we got it. I mean, it was kind of looking at us a little bit. Ah, that's it. Okay, so how does he look? I'll back this up, John. Let's see what he looks like. Go look like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's back it up. How does he? Probably not. And this is too bright a frame. Let's let's change let's change it to the other one. Let's take that other one here. This would be the one I would use for this guy. Yeah, maybe. What do you think? Mm, I like the gold better. I like the gold better. Really? John likes the gold better. What do you guys think? Yeah, the gold is kind of nice. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. I'll sign that. That's our piece of guys away. Um, remember every. Painting comes that uh, you get comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by me with a special gold seal and um, describes and it. Boss and gold seal. And boss gold seal. Yep. It hurts my hands every time I do it. So uh, yeah, so that they all come with that, and um, uh, and. Kind of becomes heirloom pieces, yes and yes. Can't resist, can you? Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Somebody wanted to know what we've got so far. Of course, you've seen the, the flowers with the butterfly. And Those then um, this this one with the... Um, You're still working on the cactus. With the yeah. Rugen V is, is um, still drying. Yeah. That's the... That's, it's kind of scanned over. Probably enough we can take a picture of it, John, if you want to. Okay. And Have you the, signed that one yet? I haven't signed it yet, but I'll, I'll sign it here. You get that one signed. I'll take those two. I'll scoop them up and get them out of the way. Okay. John's going to uh, grab these three. And take photos of them so they can be up in there. And I'm going to just look at my hands. <laughs> so I'm going to grab some tub of towels. And um, that's these things if anybody wants to know what I'd use. Grabbing these tub of towels. And um, i got to clean some stuff up here. We're still on the same palette. We started at 3.30. We're using one of these um, Stay Wet palettes. It is still wet. And we haven't misted it at all. The paint's still wet. The only thing I missed it was this little bit of black that was in this cup. And uh, it wasn't on the palette. Yeah. So um, there. That's all I've all I've misted. And um, uh, I'm just gonna clean off that feeling a little bit like a Smurf. And uh, you know, this hand it looks a little bit like Becky's painting that she did the other day with all the colors, right? So I could, my hand could fit right in her painting, don't you guys think so? Okay. Just, uh, just, just sign your hand. And then just I could sign my hand, right? And take a picture of it, you know? But look how this is looking. You see our sunset, even with this little bit of blue in here? See how see how that's coming? And we'll, 
we'll keep going with that. That should be that should be fun. I'm looking forward to painting that. If you're you're just joining us for a painting marathon, and, a and it's called a paint a paintathon, and the um, all the paintings are up for auction that we do tonight. And you can go to gingercookauction.com. You need to pre-register for the auction, but John's John can uh, you know you just need to sign up and then the instructions are there if you haven't already signed up for it. What? Uh, it's eight eight right now. No. What? Luna. Luna, your grandchild. Oh, okay. And I want to give a big shout out to my granddaughter Luna, Luna Bella. Hi, Luna. And um, she's uh, Luna Tunes. Luna Tunes. Luna is a terrific artist. And um, and I'll tell you a true story about Luna. When she was in first grade. She won an art contest for the whole school district. No kidding, for all these elementary schools, she won an art contest. And uh, so the you know the art, uh, you know art keeps uh, uh, art going on. Yeah, in fact, all three of my grandchildren are extremely artistic. And um, uh, my oldest granddaughter, Honey, is. Uh, uh, not only makes jewelry and everything, but my gosh, she just is, they, you know, they're all just, uh, they're, they're lucky enough to have parents that support their hobbies and then you know, so keep them supplied with art supplies. And, uh, you know, I tried to do that with Cinnamon and she's done that with her kids and they all are just fabulous in what they paint. And listen, Luna, I'm so proud of what you're doing. And she's also a straight A student. I want to mention that too, as is the other two. So uh, just Everybody likes to brag about their grandkids, though, right? That's <laughs> just what you do. So, all right, so we're going to keep going here. And uh, this, I'm going to be very close to needing some new, new water here, Don. Oh, my queen, let me do that now while I'm up. Oh, wait, I'm not up anymore. Oh, well, it's all right. I'm just, uh, we'll just keep going here. I'm going to have to. Yeah, no. No, it's all right because I have to change. I'm going to change out something here, the palette or something. I'm, looking to I'm trying to look for my oh, wait. white here. Are you going to want another palette paper? Um, I'm not sure. Let's see how far I can get with this. I want to do well, some of this cropped. light light blue here coming up like this. And uh, get some more white on that. I want to do, see, when you, if you let this dry... Then you've got such a good shot at uh, you know putting in your blues. You see, you just don't try to do all these colors at the same time. Just give stuff a chance to dry, and um, and then you're and then you've got a good good opportunity to to really get some pretty colors in your sunset. Like for instance, it's a little bit of purple up here, kind of a magenta purple color, and I can put some of that in here now. Because I can pull, certainly do that with blues. If I have blues on the palette, I can add a little purple. I'm just coming in here like that. And I want to add a, make a darker blue uh, sky. Kind of a, you know, it's usually if you have this kind of sunset that the uh, it's getting darker up at the top of the sky. It's going to be darker. So we're going to just Kind of darken some of this. This is where the more than one coat of paint comes in, you guys, when you're painting something like this. We'll take a little bit of that zinc white with this and uh, put that on here. And uh, uh, just add a few of these little darker clouds, wispy clouds here. Down into here. Let's see. Put some more in the purples. The only reason I probably want a, another palette at some point, and the only reason would be is, is that um, uh, the, um, the palette's getting a little messy. But other than that, it's uh, 
probably wouldn't need anything like that. Oh, I gotta get that soaking. What's that? You have to prep the paper. Yeah. Or it doesn't work. If you don't prep the paper and it'll soak it for a while, right, John? You have yep. to. You gotta soak it at least 15. At least 15 in hot minutes. Water, or it doesn't in hot work. Put a little of this color in here too. If, if also, if, if, if the sky is the subject, which it is in this case, then it doesn't hurt to um, to get a few more colors in. You know, really try to layer some in there. I'm kind of moving my brush very quickly back and forth. I mean, it's really going. And I developed that habit because acrylics dry, dry so fast that um, uh, in order for me to get the techniques, I had to get this brush moving a zillion miles an hour to get this, um, to get that technique to, to do what I needed it to do. And, you know, when you do this, sunsets change every few minutes. So if your sunset um, is looking a little different than mine, that's great. It's just if we all sat out there and painted, every few seconds it's changing. Your, your sky is changing all the time. So um, that, that I would say that you could say that would be to be expected. Yes, John? Yes and yes. Okay, so we're going to just bring some of this up here like that. Brush is moving very quickly. And... Uh, There we go. All right, so I've got, I like my sky. So, um, the next thing to do would be to put in the rest of the picture, but I think I will start another one and let the sky uh, dry a little bit. I'll just wipe that off right there. There we go. All right, so like that. All right, so we leave the sky. This is what we're painting, in case you're wondering, right? I'm going to leave the sky alone and start our next one. Woohoo! So what do we got next? Well, we've got these uh, bumble, this bumblebee. Ooh, I like that. So we've got a. For this one, I've got. We're, again, if you're wondering what we're painting on. We're painting on these Paramount, these are Jerry's Arama Pro Tone, all media tone painting panels, and it's hard board over um, with, a, with a piece of canvas glued on top. And these are very nice. They're about a buck a piece, is what we found them for, right, John? What's that? We found them for about a dollar a piece, right? Yeah. And um, what I want to do with this one is do a nice big background. So, um, uh, let's see, maybe we want to take the, one of our, you want to bring me some more paper plates too, I'm just down to a couple. So I want to take some, I want to get all my white off of here. I 
I'm going to scrape some of this off and start over with the blue. And maybe start over with a little bit of the yellow. Here, let's just start over with this whole thing. Well, we could start a whole new thing, but I don't, you know, some of this paint still is not dried out. So I hate to do that, but I'm just going to move that over here. And, um, um, set the, um, then get out some more paint. Just, whoops. Uh, okay, here's the, did you bring, did you have a picture of the hummingbird or did you bring that back or what? I do it now. Did you get a picture of the hummingbird? Oh no, you didn't give it to me. It's right up here. Did you sign it yet? Yeah, did it sign? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so now I want to put, um, let's see, I want to put some more paints out here. Let's put the yellows out again. Um, what was that light yellow? And then I wanted, um, I think the gold is still good. Kind of yellow oxide. And let's see, all, all the blues need to be uh, put out again. Is that blue. This is everything in the Salvador paint kit. And it's nice because when you're doing this many paintings, um, you know, the colors are right there for you. This is ultramarine. This is cyan. So we got those three. And um, I want that reddish purple, kind of that magenta color. Permanent violet, that's the color I want. Permanent violet up here. That's a nice one to do. And um, let's see, and then I'm going to do a regular cad yellow medium because that's just slightly brighter uh, than the ones in the Salvador paint kits. Just a little bit brighter. And we've got, um, let's see, this is. Uh, 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 what, cad cadmium yellow, deep, is that like a, it's almost like a marigold, yes and yes, so, all right, so we're, we're set to, we just want to make sure we got to put some new white paint out, and, um, and we'll, keep going here. We're not doing too bad. 8.20. We started at 3.30 this afternoon. How many paintings have we done so far? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sitting over here. We got six so far. We're just about halfway done, right? Not even halfway. It's all right. As time goes on, I'm bound to get faster. What do you guys think, right? There's still hope for you. There's still hope for me? Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to start with, um, hang on a second, let me just put all my toys away. All right, so we're doing the bee, so in the, in the lavender. So let's start off with some white and magenta and blue and make this pretty purple. Ooh, but look at that beautiful color, right? And um, I want to just have this really nice magenta color in here for background. It's kind of an abstract flower deal here. Yes and yes. Yeah, I'm going to take some white and that lighter yellow. A little orange. Yeah, there you go. A little bit that right. Now, let's pull 
some of this color in like this. Now I've got just a wet brush. I'm going to work the edges. Sort of fade these colors into nothing. That is my background color for this painting. Then we're going to take a little bit of this blue and magenta color here, make a little darker color here, right? Like that. Just using the angle brush to make the shapes. blue in here. All right, now I'm going to get a little zinc white. Come over here and make something a little bit lighter. And I want to do sort of the impression of some flowers back up in here without actually having them. These colors are not all ready. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? So we're going to... A little bit of that blue color. Alright, now we need a... Uh, light green stem paint on top of that one now in order to do the center flower in the bee most of this will have to dry so we're going to put the bee away for a minute it's got to dry. Rather than use a hair dryer to dry everything, let's Could go on. more of the paint. We'll go on to another painting. Yes and yes. So now we have this one, which is fun. This is our um, our water lily. Our water lilies. We did something like that on YouTube the other day, and I know a lot of people wanted to win it, so we thought we would do another one, something similar. And um, we'll just take a little bit of our uh, transfer paper, 
transfer. I'll just hold that like that. Put this like this. And uh, this will be fun. Dry seater. I have to, you know, just do too much. You just have to do something like that. Now, you want a pen? So you, a board is very easy to, um, let's make sure I'm transferring it on. Yep. Is that going to show? Barely. I wonder if I should do another color. Well, we're, we're stuck here. Let's just do this. Is it working? You know, not enough where I can see it. Actually, it's not. So let's. It's not. Well, you tough on yourself. Let's just get a darker color. You need a dark blue in there. Yeah, there's a dark blue. Let's just get a dark blue out. Here's some dark blue. Let's see if that's going to show up. Oh, yeah, beautifully. That's going to show up for sure, you guys. All right, way to go, yes? Yeah, it'll work better. Why fight it? Exactly so. And after we finish um, the um, sunset, we'll probably take another little 10 minute break. This is nice because you're really looking down on these water lilies. They're not looking sideways at them. They're pretty round because you're looking like straight down at them. Almost. Okay, that gives me enough of a, uh, an outline to do that. So, um, let's just see what we can do. For those of you who are just joining us, this is a paint a -thon. We've been at it since, I say we, I've been at it. All of us here, the moderators, John and I, have uh, 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 all been at this since about... Um, about 3.30. About 3.30 today.
Not a lot of this blue color, but there's some over here. It's a little darker. Just start. It's a lot of pattern here to get through. And um, That green still wet, isn't that amazing? Well, <clears throat> I think it's uh, well, it's been five hours. Still as wet as like it just came out of the tube. Mm -hmm. Speaks for itself, but you do have to prep it. Yeah, you're putting it in boiling water for all that time. Minutes, Fifteen minutes or more. Let's just wipe off that excess. Where was I going with that? Oh, this one. Yeah, I'm just blocking in colors. This is the lightest one, lily pad. It's the next one. A little dark color here. All right, so then I have way too much paint on the brush. You've got to be careful. If you get too much paint on your brush, none of this works. You know that, right? You just if you get a big glob of paint, you, you're just in trouble. You can't you can't get it to work. There's a lot of different greens in this um, painting too, just a ton of different greens. This brush is really too big, let's get a smaller one. And we'll put in all the little green water lily things. We had a little pond when I was here, we didn't have water lilies in it, but there was a little kind of a crummy pond that we had. And I remember my parents bought my sister and I new mattresses. And they came in this marvelous box, this huge box, with twin mattresses. They came in this beautiful big box. And um, so my sister and I decided they were boats. And we um, immediately went down to the pond, where the pond was. Mm -hmm and decided to try our luck at the boating. And how'd that work for you? Well, 
they they took on water really fast. <laughs> I don't understand that. And um, yeah, they did. They took on water really fast, and we ended up um, sinking very slowly to the bottom of the pond. <laughs> Just so silly. Just can't imagine why we thought that would even work, but um, um, and then you wonder where the adult supervision was, or maybe they there was some big fun about seeing us all sink. I don't know. <laughs> just I just still remember just floating to the to the pond, bottom of the pond, though, which was so funny to me. In hindsight, well, at the time it wasn't so funny. I got to tell you. The time it wasn't very funny at all. I would imagine not. But you know, it was fun. We got the boat around for a while before we sank. I still remember. I think I remember more about how fun that was than anything else. I remember that was big fun. Big time fun, as opposed to small time fun, right? Well, yeah. You always want to have big time fun. You do. And that's what you want, big time fun. This is going to be rather interesting when it's done, don't you guys think so? I don't know, maybe you can't tell anything now. Oh, I can. I've gotten used to them now. Have you? Mm-hmm. You threw me on the bluebird, though, how you did it. Did I? Mm-hmm. I mean, it was perfect. I just, from the beginning, I just go, what painting is she doing? I looked at the master again. I go, I still don't know what she's doing. And then you pulled it together. I go, oh, now it makes sense. See, but that, that's one that you visualize in your head exactly what you wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And we as spectators look at it and go, where is she going? It's fun. It's fun to see what you do because we all see the world differently and we all attempt to paint it differently, I would think. Yes, for sure. It was fun to see it come together. PJ would like to know, is Ginger still enjoying her roller coaster glasses? Oh, yeah. The, um, um, what do we call them? The, oh, the 3D thingy. Yeah, In love those. reality. Yeah, love those. Love those glasses, uh, absolutely. It's just, it's really, it's don't always get a chance to. They're, they're just phenomenal. Don't always get a chance to play with them, but I love them. Um, this is probably more about these blue, these green blue leaves than it is about the, um, the, um, the pink flowers. You think? Mm -hmm, because of the, all the colors in these leaves. Just can't help but wonder. Um, Linda Sue would like to know if Ginger is noticing a difference in the paint tonight with the Stay Wet palette. Well, it's, I'll tell you what it is. It just stays softer longer. So some of the stuff I try to do with dry brushing isn't as effective because the paint's too wet. So, I mean, that would be the one thing. But I like the Stay Wet palette. And I think oh, overall I would continue to use it because I really, what annoys me more is having to put out more paint and have it all dry up on me. That's very annoying, yes and yes. It drives me nuts. So, yeah. So I, I always get the leftovers. Yeah, and so I, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm quite frankly, I'm very surprised at how nice 
It is. And um, quite frankly, okay. Was Frank involved in this? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't see. So um, it's like even this, you know. So it, it does. It does. It does definitely. Um, definitely work. I have to say, it does definitely, definitely works. This is a great, um, I gotta tell you guys, this is one of my favorite, um, 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 reference photos I've had for water oils. Because I absolutely love all this deep, this deep green that's happening here. So you work on the lavender bee and the pink lilies. Well, we still and have the, the, the cactus is still so got, got three going. running right now. I just want to make sure I have all everything shot that's been shot that we got. Yeah, the the um, the oh, cactus is through. still the cactus is still. Uh, you know that won't take long to, to. We just have to finish that one, and. Um, you don't boil eggs for fifteen minutes. No, we were talking about the stay wet palette paper. Paper, the paper, the palette paper itself needs to be soaked in boiling water for 15 minutes or more before using it. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't work. All right, so we, I, I am up to date on all those. Look at me. Mr. Productive. All right, so we're just, um, Yeah, let's get a little bit of white and blue. All right, so, um, I mean, we could keep going with this, I guess. I th next, this brush is a little small now. For the next layer, we need... Currently, she's working on 7, 8, and 9 in the numbers. So, Lily is number 9. Let me just get the right, there we go, right? Oh, that's a good question from Catherine. Ginger, would you need the golden open medium you told us about with the Stay Wet palette? Not for small stuff. You still want on a bigger painting? I think so, yeah. This just keeps it from drying out on your palette. It doesn't do much for drying out on your canvas. No, it's still gonna dry out the same on your canvas. So, I mean, that's just... Does Ginger prefer the boards to the Paramount sheets? Yeah, the boards. Now that I've had a chance to play with the boards, you bet. I do like the boards. That's why I got, I got them for me, but I sacrificed. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the boards. I think they're a good... Um, 
I liked them. I, I got one to try, you know, a pack them to try to see if how smooth I can get them. I can get them good and smooth. Let's see, this needs to be a little lighter. You had a question in regards to the, the reference materials will be available on our website, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com, in a few days for our orange members and above. And for our supporters for $4.95, they've accessed all the reference materials on YouTube for 2021. And going forward. The video will be available on our website as well. We're not sure how long we'll leave it up on YouTube as of yet. We have to see how it does. The process to get the board smooth is I sand it a little bit, then apply one to two coats of acrylic paint and pressing the first coat on very hard so it goes into the cracks and crevices of the canvas. Try to get it as smooth as I can with that one. I love this light I'll leaf here. You get some good blending action there. Some nice, there's some nice colors on here, for sure. Wrong blending again. And um, I think I'll have a little sip of cold coffee. <laughs> Ooh, yummy, yummy. Just keep playing with the lights and the darks. And layer, layer, layer. And layer, layer, layer. Gesso, no. It's already gessoed. The board yeah, it's got, it even gesso. comes in colors. I haven't tried putting a gesso, another layer of gesso on it. I don't it. think it, we do an underpainting instead. Yeah. All right, so this is going to just sit happily ever after until we get back to it. It's got to dry a little bit. Let it dry. And otherwise, we're just sort of spinning our wheels. And let's um, take our um, sink white and a clean brush. Too much water. Let's see. Let's try a new, new. Uh, here, clean. Sink white. And that's your transparent white. I want you to see what that does.
It's just some stuff you just need to do. You can really play with your clouds. It just If you take some time with your clouds, you'd be amazed what you can get with those. So I mean, I still like that, so I'm putting that aside now. Doing this one, that's going to dry before I do the other stuff. Now, let's do B. And flowers. Okay, so this is about the right size for that. So we need a little bit of blue and burgundy. And uh, we want to come up here like this and add our... Um, flowers. Notice it's not sticking out at the sides like a, like little uh, tree limbs. These come off the stem. Some are in front, some are behind. They're at an angle. And I'm out of paint. I'm putting in my darkest colors first. When I was a kid, we had an art teacher in um, the fourth grade, and his name was Mr. Lamson. And I still remember, I couldn't tell you the name of any of it, my other teachers, but boy, I sure remembered this character. Mr. Lamson? Mr. Lamson. He wore pink wool pink, pants to school. They were sort of woven. I mean, they weren't shocking pink, but there was definitely a hint of pink in the pants, which nobody did in the 50s. And, um, I mean, nobody did that, okay? And, um, he, um, he had us out on the playground looking for flying saucers. What, what grade were you in? Fourth. Ah. And I'm telling you what, I just, um, uh, that was so scary. You can't know. Let me grab some of this pink and white. Okay, that's that um, luminous rose from the Holbein. If the canvas has gesso on it, do you sand them first? Absolutely. The gesso is like a sandpaper. It's very gritty. You just run your fingers over, you can feel it. You're not doing a hard, you know, you're not doing a hard sanding. You have to understand how gesso is put on, first off, at the factory. By a little old lady. There's a gal sitting on a stool with a ladle, like a soup ladle, throwing it all over the canvas. <laughs> I mean, it's not being brushed on carefully like you would do it if you were just sewing it, right? It's not being sanded in between coats. That's what you just throw it on there and hope for the best. Yes and yes. So, um, these lavender flowers are looking absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thank you. bit on this one myself. I hate to see this one go.
Is Ginger only using an angle brush tonight? Yeah, only angle brushes. That's pretty much all Ginger ever uses. That's all I ever use. <laughs> so I can do, I'm, they're so versatile. Okay. If she can get away with it, that's it. Um, that's the brush a little of bit of yellow oxide somewhere. So we'll Try some gold. white with that. A little orange. So we can paint these, right? Yes, you can paint these. Yeah, absolutely. Have fun doing it. Love to see them. Join our Facebook group so we can see what you do. Yeah. Okay, so we got a, um, you got a good foundation as it were? We've got, we got to to do the B, but, um, uh, we've got to wait till, That dries, okay? We're close, yes. We're close, not quite there, but we're close, yeah. Any closer we'd be there. Okay, so we'll, we'll put that aside for now. And I bet we're ready to do the sunset. Or a cacti, as it were. Yeah, because we've got now we've got our stuff. So that's what I got the black for. That's what I kept the, my black for. And this is really a, we are going to use the black with maybe. Let's see, where's my? You're just going for it, not tracing or nothing. No. Not wow, tracing. you're so brave. <laughs> gonna do a little. Yeah, if it's if it's wrong, we're we're done here. But that's all right. We're gonna start it right about here. Put our cactus. Coming down with this brush, it gets a little fatter down here at the bottom. Okay, yes and yes. If it weren't for my personal art coaching, I, I would think I was awful. From Carolina. Carolina. Oh, Carolina. I know who that is. Yes. <laughs> You're a very good artist. Better than you think. Yeah, sometimes you just need you know another pair of eyes to look at it. We, I used to have, before I went to... Um, I was starting to tell you guys about Mr. Lampson. He was also oh, yeah, my art teacher. Pink pants. He was my, with the pink pants. He was my art teacher, and my mother hired him to give us art lessons in our in her our basement. And um, um, this one's shorter. This is important. This guy is not as tall as that one. I think we could put some yellow in this because they're really kind of black green. And um, anyway, um, he gave you know he he did art lessons and you know on Saturdays for us, my friends and me and my mom organized that, and uh, but he was a crazy person. <laughs> Mother didn't have any idea how crazy this guy was. He's the one that named me Ginger. We named all the kids in the class uh, different names, and um, most of them didn't keep them. I kept it, Ginger. I loved it, right? I thought it was a great name. But uh, anyway, all the kids in the class got nicknames. So he thought that was great fun, I guess. And um, so I see how we get some distance with this cactus this way and uh, 
It's funny how um, bring that one up a bit higher. Here we go. Swar cactus. And uh, he's got another tall one right here, like that. We're just one way back in the distance. And then over here, there's a, some branches and stuff, but I don't think they add anything to the picture, but I may may put them in. But how I would do that would be, because we've got all this black, I would do it with a, uh, when we're saying we've got some grasses growing up out of this, It's really effective. Use the black. This is a good place to use the black Posca pen to indicate that um, this cactus is closer. Bring a little bit of life to this. Have a few little birds. Okay, and oh yeah, we need the other we need the other arm on this one. that greenish tinge to it. Huh? I like the coloring you've added to that one. Yeah, a little bit of greenish tinge to it. Absolutely, yeah. right? The auction bidding will be open until Wednesday, I believe the 26th. Each of them has a date on them. They're all ending on Wednesday evening, Central Time. Put a little orange next to it. You could do that. And um, the brush was in water, so that's a little wet. So that just has to sit there and um, percolate. Elizabeth would like to thank you for doing the cactus scene. I asked you to paint one and love it. Really? Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. 
because I, you know, we try, you know, try to listen to what everybody thought they'd like to have. There we go. So I'd say we've got a really nice uh, sunset here. And um, I mean, every time you do it, you might do it a little differently, but I feel like we, um, if you look at that, I think we accomplished what we wanted to do here. I think so. I like it. And um, just probably need to curve this one around. There's a little dip here. This needs to curve up like that. There you go. All right, so there's our cactus scene. Now I'm going to move that up top so it can dry level flat. Now let's come back over to our bumblebee. And um, we'll draw him on like so. So what do we know for sure about this bumblebee? Well, we know he's got a an oval shape like this going at this direction and then he's got another shape like that it comes around here like this he's got a wing that comes up like that, come, that rounds at the top and comes back in this way he's got another wing that's just a little thinner that's coming that way and this body here is a little bigger than I had it. So let me find our bumblebee real quick and blow him up. Here. I have an iPad so I can enlarge him. All right, so I've got, I want to make sure I have this shape of this wing goes up like a paddle. And this goes out this far. Okay, so now that I have him drawn in, let's paint him in orange and yellow. Yeah, let's make sure we have a clean brush. Little orange, little bit of yellow. Okay. Let's put a little white here. So we sort of is bending like that. And then he's got these, it's a perfect color for these wings up here like this. And he's got a little more orange up here at the top and on the top of his head. Okay, now, can't do anything about Bumblebee. There, that's all you get. He's got to <laughs> sit there and dry. Dry, boy, dry. He's got to dry. So now we'll come back to our flowers. Yes, yeah, so, uh, how are we doing on this? It's like 9 11. Let's take a quick break, John. All right, my queen. Um, well, let me do the white petals and then we'll do it. Let's okay. do the white petals on these. And um, so that I can do that, I want to take a, a quick break. I guess we need to make some more, make up some more promo pieces, longer ones for these. Yeah. I don't remember where our next one is. So we'll all just take a quick break and. Um, why don't well, you do one more, more drawing for somebody? Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that right now. Let's do a drawing. Let's see. Where's my drawing? Where's my drawing? Here we go. Hundred and fifty-eight. All right, what are we going for this time, my queen of mine? 
Well, I think we're going for the quintessential color mixing journal. Whoa! A hundred and some odd deal. Yeah, right? that's a biggie. Quintessential color mixing journal videos. All right. You got you get to make the journal, but it's a it's really will help you a lot. Quintessential color mixing journal. It's just uh, it is the guide. The, the ultimate guide to learning how to mix colors. And always remember. It's your recipe book. Yeah, it's my recipe book. I guess it basically for mixing colors, how you do it. And you only need, did you know you only need 12 colors and two bonus colors, including white, to be able to mix pretty much 99% of all the colors there are. I mean, you just can't believe all the colors you can mix. With that, without having to buy anything else. And we even tell you how to mix all the colors or what you would have to have to have all the colors and just if you wanted to make all your colors from the Salvador paint kit, how you'd make those. We teach you that. And uh, maybe you just um, love a particular color in Salvador and need a whole bunch of it. You want to mix it from scratch, you know. So we're going to. So somebody is going to win now if you already have the quintessential color mixing journal. Um, let us know. Let us know. We've got, uh, for instance, you may not uh, have the um, the one with the cat and the tea, the, the, the tea, the teapot. That's just a, 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 or, but we'll give you the credit for the store. Jane Chomes, C-H-O-M-E-S. Jane Jones hailing from Massachusetts, I believe it was. Yep. You are the winner of the Quintessentials Color Mixing Journal Tutorials. If you're still out there, congratulations. If you're not out there, still congratulations. We'll email you. I'll let you know. Yep. That was quite the, uh, quite the prize on that one, my queenness. Right, yeah, wasn't that nice? I think that's the only time we've given one away, but, yep. you know, we've got a lot of people hanging out here with us. That is a huge deal, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, so let's just uh, let that dry. We'll take a break and come back and see you guys in 10 minutes. Or so. Or so. So we're going to do a repeat of the last video, but enjoy it. And we'll be back. Hi, you guys. So while Ginger is drying the painting, that would be me, but future me, not now me. <laughs> the now me is going to thank everybody who's been uh, supporting us and our channel for the last uh well, forever. If you've been doing that, we thank you. If it's last year, the year before, the year before, we've been on YouTube for a while. We appreciate you very much. And whether you've been donating a little bit every month to on the YouTube side or you've gone to our website, JuniorCookLive.Gallery, and uh, scroll down to the Karen Little Scholarship Fund and contributed there, um, we thank you very much. And uh a lot of your contributions have gone towards scholarshipping people in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And particularly during this pandemic, we have found that um, cabin fever doesn't begin to describe how a lot of people are feeling, and painting is what keeps them going. And this personal art coaching that I do in the Academy, sometimes where you're reaching out to another person and I comment on their artwork and that kind of thing, and back and forth with through video, private videos I make for people, it's kind of a lifesaver. And sadly, even though $35 a month will, you know, is, is, doesn't sound like that much, but for many people who are finding themselves, uh, their income changed dramatically. It's just not in the budget. So for those of you who've been helping out, we thank you very much. We wanted to do something in, uh, kind of to reward that. So for the next, kind of quarterly, and for the next few months, it's, uh, Anyone who donates at least $100 will be put into a special drawing to win one of my original paintings, an 8x10. We'll give you a choice of three after um, uh, 
the, the drying session is over with Ginger, we'll show you what those three current paintings are that will be in the upcoming um, uh, cycle of uh, for the scholarship fund. Uh, and so we want to thank you for that. And then John, why don't you know that if you have someone in mind that you think would benefit from a scholarship, whether it's in the Beginner Curl Academy, whether it's a senior membership, maybe you know someone that's been dying to have a Wave and Water membership and they just couldn't afford it. It's just it, um, somebody that needs to keep going. You have someone in mind, tell us. We have people in mind also that have said they would love to stay, but they can't because of finances. And maybe that you could help somebody like that. But whatever, whatever Whatever it is, if you do a hundred dollars, we're gonna we'll match it with a hundred dollars, and that might scholarship two or three people for a few more months, or might case just so many different ways that that can help um, our academy members or future or would be want to be academy members that want to come and really take advantage of the classes that we offer. So before I leave, I wanted to explain a little bit about Karen. Karen was John's first wife. Um, they were married over 40 years. She died very unexpectedly. Within two weeks of being sick, she was in the hospital and gone. And some of you know what that's like right now because of the pandemic. We've lost a lot of people over the past year that were very unexpectedly. And Karen was the kind of gal that her whole life, she was just generous and kind to others. She she was very creative. She used to like to knit and crochet, and and uh, they would she would make a scarf for mittens or some booties or something, and she would give them away to total strangers who would, and she did this everywhere. She was just a very very gregarious and kind and loving person. And when we thought we would have a scholarship fund, we named it after Karen, wanted to honor her memory, and anyway, we want to again thank you guys. For helping support our channel. If you want to help support a little further someone that you think would benefit from our academy, uh, you can, if you do it, go to our website, you can uh, just leave the information as a place where you can write what you'd like the funds to go for, whether it's to have a bottle of wine on us, Ginger, I'd like to scholarship somebody. It doesn't really matter what it is, but we thank you very much. And John and I hope you're enjoying the rest of this tutorial. We try to make it fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in a sec. Hi, you guys. Did you know that probably the first four hours of my day, four to five hours of my day are spent at the computer doing personal art coaching to our Academy members. People send me their artwork that they've been working on, either a lesson on YouTube or it might be an Academy lesson or maybe it's a photograph that they have that they're painting a picture for a friend and they'll send me that and then we, I will do a video and do personal customized art coaching for that individual, send it back, and we have this dialogue that's fantastic. And it's just like me sitting in your studio talking over your shoulder and saying, this is great, change this. And it really is true when I say a video is worth a thousand words. I think it's a picture's worth a thousand words. So a video must be worth a million. I think that was it. So one of the many reasons why joining the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting is of super benefit to you, and I think you should give us a try. Hi, you guys. So while Ginger is drawing the painting, that would be me, but future me, not now me. <laughs> the now me is going to thank everybody who's been uh, supporting us and our channel for the last, uh, well, forever. If you've been doing that, we thank you. If it's last year, the year before, the year before, we've been on YouTube for a while. We appreciate you very much. And whether you've been donating a little bit every month to on the YouTube side or you've gone to our website, juniorcooklive.gallery, and uh, scroll down to the Karen Little Scholarship Fund and contributed there, um, we thank you very much. And uh a lot of your contributions have gone towards scholarshiping people in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And particularly during this pandemic, we have found that um, 
cabin fever doesn't begin to describe how a lot of people are feeling, and painting is what keeps them going. And this personal art coaching that I do in the academy, sometimes where you're reaching out to another person and I comment on their artwork and that kind of thing, and back and forth with through video, private videos I make for people, it's kind of a lifesaver. And sadly, even though thirty-five dollars a month, will you know, is is doesn't sound like that much, but for many people who are finding themselves, uh, their income changed dramatically, it's just not in the budget. So for those of you who've been helping out, we thank you very much. We wanted to do something in uh, kind of to reward that. So for the next, kind of quarterly, and for the next few months, it's, uh, anyone who donates at least $100 will be put into a special drawing to win one of my original paintings, an 8x10. We'll give you a choice of three after um, uh, the drawing session is over. Ginger will show you what those three current paintings are that will be in the upcoming um, uh, cycle of uh, for the scholarship fund. Uh, and. So we want to thank you for that. And then John, why don't you know that if you have someone in mind that you think would benefit from a scholarship, whether it's in the Beginner Curl Academy, whether it's a senior membership, maybe you know someone that's been dying to have a Wave and Water membership and they just couldn't afford it. It's just it, um, somebody that needs to keep going. You have someone in mind, tell us. We have people in mind also that have said they would love to stay, but they can't because of finances. And maybe that you could help somebody like that. But whatever, whatever Whatever it is, if you do hundred dollars, we're gonna we'll match it with a hundred dollars, and that might scholarship two or three people for a few more months, or might case just so many different ways that that can help um, our academy members or future or would be want to be academy members that want to come and really take advantage of the classes that we offer. So before I leave, I wanted to explain a little bit about Karen. Karen was John's first wife. Um, they were married over 40 years. She died very unexpectedly. Within two weeks of being sick, she was in the hospital and gone. And some of you know what that's like right now because of the pandemic. We've lost a lot of people over the past year that were very unexpectedly. And Karen was the kind of gal that her whole life, she was just generous and kind to others. She she was very creative. She used to like to knit and crochet, and and uh, they would she would make a scarf or mittens or some booties or something, and she would give them away to total strangers who would. And she did this everywhere. She was just a very very gregarious and kind and loving person. And when we thought we would have a scholarship fund, we named it after Karen. Wanted to honor her memory, and anyway, we want to again thank you guys for helping support our channel. If you want to help support a little further someone that you think would benefit from our academy, uh, you can, if you do it, go to our website, you can uh, just leave the information as a place where you can write what you'd like the funds to go for, whether it's to have a bottle of wine on us, Ginger, I'd like to scholarship somebody. doesn't really matter what it is, but we thank you very much. And John and I hope you're enjoying the rest of this tutorial. We try to make it fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in a sec. I'll be over there in one second. I commandeered the spotlight while she's gone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I got to kind of keep track where this is. I'm going to show you how I get, what I do with these uh, canvas boards. All right, so they come um, pre-gessoed, and they've got a plastic wrap over them. Take a palette knife and cut into it. Now, <clears throat> they come in different colors. You have, um, this is sea foam. They come in gray. Uh, what's the other color? They have gray sea foam, a tan, a sand color. I think there's four colors. I don't remember the other one. I'm going to put this up and I'll listen to it. That's just my fingers rubbing gently over it. 
I find my official sandpaper, 320. And very lightly. All you're doing is you're knocking off the high point. What you're doing is saving your brush, because this, is, this acts like a sandpaper to your brush if you don't knock off some of the high points. You can, only, you can barely hear it now. I don't know if you hear it or not, but there you go. Okay. Now, like I said, I usually do two coats. And the first coat is typically, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This is a bunch of leftover paint. If I don't have time to paint, like tonight if we're done, I, don't, I probably won't have time to paint it. I will pop that all into this. There's a little bit of water in here. It's in a little cup. And it keeps it wet. And then what I'll do is I take a brush. And the first color, I, I don't really care what color it is, because I'm going to go over it again. Get back there. And they're usually pretty dark because all the colors are just mixed. First thing I do is just kind of put it, everything over the whole canvas. A little more. Oh, I, I, I'm taking over the show, babe. What are you doing? I'm showing what I do with uh, with the board to get it smooth. You didn't come up, and I took over. Okay. Sammy said I could do it. <laughs> I got permission from the stuffy staff. They go, absolutely. So this is the first coat I put on. You've sanded it. You put your first coat on, and you're pressing down to try to get into the little the weave. Don't let that fully dry. Usually a hair dryer, but I'm not going to do that now because it cleans back. And then I'll put on a, a final coat for her to actually paint on. So there's, there's what you get. It's that simple, guys. This paint months old and it still works. Okay, clean this. Right. I'm not going to touch this. My fingers got dirty. Okay. So that's my painting. We'll go up on the auction site. I call it Purple Night. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get some rags off the floor. I'll take a tub of towels. Let's get a new. Let's turn that over. Uh, your hands really nice and clean. You want to clean? I'm good. Okay. I'm going to offer it again. I'm good. Chunk it. Okay. All right. So, I bet our B is dried. Well, you were going to do the, you were working on that guy. Was the, yeah, well, I the, think, think the B is probably dry now. Okay, let me just make sure we'll line back up again, too. So, we'll put them right here. And, uh, I'm going to take my Posca pen and uh, Oh, the brand of the canvas board was called So... Shoot, I took it away from her. Go back through the messages. I don't remember the name of them all here. We'll look at it in a second. Well, they're called Protones. Protones. Protones from Jerry's Artorama. You have to search for them by that name because they're not under canvas boards or whatever for whatever reason. That's a good looking bee. How many of you have been watching from the beginning? I have. I 
I haven't missed a single one. Now, the Posca tin and all the soon is dry, right? It, but it doesn't really dry right away, right? So I'm going to take, while it's still wet, I'm going to take a little brown and add to that black on the back end here. See, as long as I don't have a wet brush, those brushes have been sitting in water. So now that's no good. Once they sit in water, they once you get a water drop, then you're you're okay. in trouble. There, block that out. So right, there's the the dark. Okay, and then I want the some white. Right up here. And a little bit of this orange color. A little darker on the edges there. Right. A little bit more blue on that one. Now I want a few blue tips. Some of these. They all don't have blue tips, but some do. And This is really looking cool. Uh oh. What? What's uh oh? My feet on my computer went weird. I think we're okay though. I hate it when you do uh ohs. I hate it when I do uh oh too. I don't like uh ohs. I see what I have to do here. So I've got in order to get that to get. It's got to come around here like this. I'm going to get rid of that one stripe. And when this dries, I can do so. There's our little B. It's just kind of subtly in there, see? Mm. 
Well, I didn't want to lose all these stripes. How did I lose that one? Okay. Okay, where's our... Well, you can see how fast the paint dries up on the plate, right? Doesn't do that on the palette, though. No. Nope. We want to do something to, to, for something to show up. So remember, we talk about that. There has to be a light or a dark, right? So we want this. Got to have a contrast. You have to have the contrast. So if I want this wing to show up, I have to have a little more contrast. And look at how the bee shows up now. It didn't change much. Um, Didn't change much at all. And want a little more white up here. I think this could be a little bit taller. So I feel like we've got, that's a good, so if I put a little light around the bee like that, and just put the tiniest bit of purple with it, where would that be? Maybe over here, here and, you now it's got to have some white with that. So just the tiniest bit of this purple color with that. Around him, and then we want titanium. There we go. Now let's just do a little bit of that down here. Didn't want it to look too outlined, so it's one a little darker foot here. Okay, I think we've got a good start on our bee, and I may do one more thing when he dries, because if I, this is still kind of wet. I want to have that curve there with a little bit of the orange. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
It just needed that. That's the deal. Yeah, right? Yep. Okay, so there's, I like that now. That's our, our B. And, um, sign that right here. Okay, there you go, darling. That's your B. Loving it. The Posca pen, did you know, is slightly wider than the paint? Whiter? Whiter? Mm hmm. Must be a different point. It's not titanium, it's under then something else. So, anyway, um,. Here we go, you guys. There's our B. And um, got we've got uh, our, let's see what it looks like in a frame. We're getting through the pile. Yep. Sort of. All right, you got backing this out here. What do you guys think? I like that. Yeah, I think that says a lot, doesn't it? So there you have it. Put them up there, let them dry out. Let them dry out. And remember, every one of our auction paintings comes with a certificate of authenticity with the with an embossed seal signed by me with the title and the size and the date and everything. And that's, uh, that's what they call a provenance. And that's what you want with your artwork and you can prove who painted it. And you know, this is, put that in the vault. Don't lose those. You know, um, that would be something to consider. So now we've got the flowers here, we're going to be doing this next, finishing these up, right? So let's, um, our water, water lilies. What's the big picture of that? Is the Stay Wet palette paper different from palette paper? Yes. Oh gosh, yes. Yes, it's hundred percent yeah. different. It's a special paper. It's a special paper. You can't you can't just make it and soak it and do any of that. It's, no, it's a it's, special paper. It's patented. What they do, you got a patent on that. Yeah, and it does work. Whatever they've done, it does work. We're into our uh, what eighth hour, ninth hour, and it's still wet. Isn't that something? Yeah. Very handy for things like this. So we're just Ginger, are you still liking the canvas boards? Are still they... like the canvas boards. Yeah, they're on sale right now. We just bought a bunch more. Still liking them. I mean, the others are fine too, but I mean, these are, um, you know, these are, uh, uh, these are going to give you a little more of an opportunity to be, um, you know, do more wet on wet. Do more do, wet on wet to do, do the big palette knife stuff. I mean, you can do a lot with them. And we got some of the bigger sizes coming too. Well, 
Where's my big paper with this? There it is. I don't know why I'm looking at the little stuff. Let's look at the big stuff, right? Uh, So you get a big glob like that, you just got to wipe it off. I love just putting all the tones of colors on this. All the light blues and the blue greens and the there's so many it's colors. A good study in, in greens. Oh, this is a wonderful <laughs> study in greens, right? Because it's layered, and this thing is layered in greens. And lights and darks and lily pads that are lighter. Let's see, I need a new paper plate. This one's got to go. Okay. Something very dark in here. Okay, so we've got a nice pattern of greens now that now that the that's sort of sticking out of it. Again, you just sometimes you get too much paint on the brush and you gotta wipe it off. Just kind of see what you got on your brush first before you go dump it on your palette. Right? determines that one leaf is well another one those little lily pads all right so I'm going to start painting on the flowers now on this one and um, 
Well, I see some other stuff I gotta do here. It's like right in here, there's a... Gotta tone this down a little bit. Okay, so now flower time. Uh, magenta. I think I'll just get out some regular magenta. It's a color we've been using a lot of lately. And, um, Just do that. And we need more white. So to do the white, let's get the, let's take this white off. Sullivan says she washes her sheets if they haven't dried too much and uses them over again. Did she tell you that? John, I meant to tell you that she washes them and uses them again. Uh, no, she didn't tell me that. Yeah, she does. I just now, just now remembered. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think we need to be too crazy tonight, but she does, she does that. You never know what I'm going to do. This is, why glaze, this is why glazing is so marvelous. You take a little yellow and glaze over something and... Look at what you get, see, I mean, just. All right, so I was doing flowers before I got, oh yeah, I was putting out white paint. It's coming back to me now. Let's just put that zinc white over there. I haven't really used much zinc white tonight. We still have a couple of piles of that. We've gone through a bit of the titanium. What we've got coming up that could be zinc. -y. So, all right. So, some magenta and some yellow. Nope, don't want that. So, magenta, some we red. We use the, the, what's the magenta name that we use? Quadricolor magenta? Yeah. Donna says that she cleans her cleans her palette paper and reuses it. Does she? That's what she said. Okay. Donna wouldn't lie to us. Well, I, I, I don't suppose she would, right? No. Good to know, right? Yeah. I'm willing to give it a shot. Now those have got to sit there for a little bit and um, dry. Off Moving on, go. what's our next one? Uh, coming up with the windy road to the beach. Mm. So that would be what color this one? This is number what? Nine? Are we on nine? You know, it would be number 10. Nine, nine was, if you have nine, that was supposed to be the lilies. I've got nine, 12, and um, <laughs> you don't have these in any kind of order at all. i got nine, 12. They were. No, they weren't. This yeah. was 13. They were in an order. Maybe not the right order, but they were in an order. Yeah, give me, give me a break here. And then this pink one, what was this? 12. 
12. 12, 13, what were you? 14, and you were... Uh, that would work for the winding road. That, will that work for us by winding road here? That will work lovely for the winding road. I just have a black and white for that, right? Winding road? Yeah. That's all you gave me. The black and white? Well, yeah, I'll do right, I think. Downstairs. Okay. Yeah, Am we I? can make this work. Huh? Am I right? We can make that work. Yeah. I think it'd be great. All right, you guys. So, do I have a little one for that? You should have it now. Yes. Where did all my little ones go? I see something on the floor. I see the bird down there. I don't oh. see the winding road down there, though. Can you grab the, all that stuff that's on the floor? I can't get it. And see what's down there, because I don't see the I don't see my winding road. Certainly, my queenness. I don't see that at all. The winding road wound around. There's some little ones down here on the floor. That's all junk. All, okay. that, all, all right. that's over there is junk. You wanted me to find them. I'm going to find them my way. Oh, okay, so it's going to be a sock folder on me. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure they fell down to my right somewhere because that's where they were. Pretty sure they fell down there. Okay, your light is under you now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Crazy gal. There it is. All right, that's what we need right here. We'll put these away. He's done, right? If you take them. Yeah, he can take up. him. Yeah, take him. I'll get him shot. You can film him. Yeah. All right, shot. Okay, so next we're going to do the winding road um, to, to the beach. Yes and yes. So that's good. Yes. The lilies are done too, right? No. Oh, no. Lilies are not done. Okay. I don't know why I thought they were. I give up. Why did you think they were? I... Crazy me. I have no idea. All right. So let's start with the, yet, with the blue sky over the peach background. Let's put a little bit of this color blue in it. The top. Remember the rule about skies. You guys, remember that rule. Skies get lighter as they go down to the horizon. Yeah, I was going to ask so, you to re refresh my memory. That's the sky rule. It's a good rule. Okay. Did I miss any questions? Any questions? Let's just get. I don't think so. You know, it's funny. My mother never figured out that Mr. Lampson had us out on the playground looking for us flying saucers, and then how terrified I was of airplanes after that for the longest time. You know, because yeah. you know that was when you went to the movies and saw all those. Oh yeah, the bombshell. Get on your desk. Yeah, and, and you know, you yeah. went already. You went to the. You know, in the movies, there were all these, you know, aliens that were trying to take over the world. And, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff, right? The Cold War and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Yes and yes. Looking good. All right, so then we want some dark green. Uh, over here.
Put some dark green down here. Some blue in it. And then I want some kind of gray green. Back over here. And then we've got some of this orange color with a dirty brush coming up this way. Yeah, I'm painting the darkest colors obviously first. Dark to light. Just so I'm just getting that in there, so I've got something to to play with a little bit now. That's that's and this is what you know you're you're underpainting. You can't do much more than that with this. Um, we could put a layer of clouds. Let's get a little peach going here. Along here, like that, on our sky. Something very light blue along the bottom of there. Too much cut paint. Go to this marine layer of clouds here, like that. There you go. More of the peach. Okay, so then we've got good looking sky. We've got the lighter water in here. Okay, we've got that much done. Now what can we do? Um, And we've got some something going this way. So 
some kind of a break in the bushes. That's sort of a dark green color. And so I'm just trying to see what I can put in without um, having to dry too much. And uh, mostly in my olive greens. Okay, then let's get a little bit lighter color here. Just using the tip of my brush there. Okay, now what have we got? Put paint on the brush, wipe it off. Okay. This may may have to dry this. Yeah, it's not gonna cut that's not gonna do it. Alright, so we can maybe come up here because this is still dry. We'll start putting in some of our other colors. Yeah, let's see, let's get some. No, no wedding as of yet, Nicole. Any wedding yet, babe? Not yet. Not yet. We haven't given up on the idea. We just, we want to get to the point where... Somebody can join us. Somebody can join us and we'd all feel good about being somewhere with a lot of people.
Even that little tiny bit of light green there is still wet. I don't see how that's possible. Even that little bit down there is still wet. Well, I don't know either, John. I just think it's amazing. I'm kind of liking it. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because there's a lot. It's a really is another study in greens, isn't it? Once again. If you go look at the original, the long and winding road does not go down to a beach or the ocean. We felt that it should, though. And Ginger, being the artist she is, she goes, I can do that. Okay, so there's Anytime you can have water, river, lake, or ocean, it makes us happy. That's yeah, true. That's our thought, too. We like the water. I think people didn't, when they were seeing that we, I was going to paint this, I don't think they understood how it was going to work. Got a lot of depth in those hills. You just feel the, the rollingness of them.
Well, I mean, it's um, it's interesting, isn't it? It's an interesting study in greens and yellows, right? It is. There's a lot of colors in it. Ken, Ken says, how quickly she puts those clouds inside the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Kim's back, from the, Kim's back from the birthday party. Tell you. Just one of those things. Nice to have all these little greens out here ready to play. Okay. Just take all that off the brush, start again, reshape it. What we're doing now is just starting to layer the greens in here. Down this bank. Let's see, I need something dark right up in here. Okay, so far so good.
Let's just keep. People would think the landscape would be quicker, but sometimes they take longer. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's lots of light. Well, it depends on how, you know, really how much you want to do with it, but. Yeah. Indeed. There's lots of layers in them. I'll put a little, some grasses in here, in the road. A little bit of road on the bar pit. This is a Break this up right in here a little bit. Too dark. Okay, so we want something lighter back here. Something lighter right here. And Bunch of brighter yellows and greens in front. Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, let that dry. This is been great. And um, I guess we'll finish the flowers. I'll put something small here. I can't believe this palette stayed wet for me this whole time. Yeah, when it's properly prepared, my queenness. I'm telling you what. Yeah, but the fact that it actually works, you know what I mean? Yeah. Remember, if you want to bid on any of these paintings, you go to gingercookauction.com. If you just Tuning in to watch us. 
Don't know if we have any of you've been hanging in there, you already know. Again, like white or anything else, sometimes you just need a couple coats to to get it to really pop. Is that for ourselves another drawing there, Queenness? Okay, so let's do another drawing. Um, all right, let's draw for. Let's see, what should we draw for? Um, how about one of our downloadable lessons? All righty. Downloadable lesson. Let's draw for that. Certain value? I think uh, let's do thirty five. Five or less. Got you covered. We got a winner. Thank you. Michelle Keen. Congratulations, Michelle. If you're still out there. If you're not, we'll certainly write you. Why don't we do a new drawing they have to enter? A what? Why don't we do a new drawing? Can you make up a new thing that they have to enter? A whole new sheet? Mm hmm. Uh, See who's here? Can someone get here with us? Well, yeah, I could just mark where we are now. All right, so this will only be, we got a whole new, sh you know, enter again. If you want to win something, and uh, so we'll hang in for those of you who are hanging in here with us, right? 
So you people are still hanging in there with us. If you want to possibly win something, we're going to do a new drawing with new people, or the people that are out here now. I got it marked. Which we need to mark. So if you've entered once, enter it again. Yeah, if you enter it again. And uh, you have a chance. I don't know how many people are out here staying with us. we got a few anyway still hanging out there with us. we got 278. They're still hanging with us, right? Yep. So here's your chance to um, to enter again to win something. Let me see how it doesn't work. Do you know your, do you know your username? Oh, sound, sound, sound. I'll do it one more time. So even if you entered it before, you enter it again because we're going from a new count. So we get the people that are still out there hanging in there with us. You die hard, Jew. Well, listen, we want to thank everybody that's been donating tonight, too. We thank you very much for that. Yes, indeed. Well, we should change the secret word. That's how I could have found them. Oh, well, yeah. Did we do that? Not now. We've already entered. I have it marked. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. That is an excellent batch of peanut butter. Cool. I like how that's coming together, my queenness. I kind of do too. I kind of liken it too. I think it's um. I like all the colors in it, in the water lilies, and in the. I think I'm gonna take out this this plant here. I'm gonna do a little editing. Well, you can do that. One is acrylics. Yeah, so I can do a little bit of editing and give it a little bit more breathing room around some of my plants. A my little flowers. rest for the eyeballs, as it were. Yeah. And have a little bit of a. Uh, now we're going to start to get into our little artistic mode here. You sure are enjoying them little panels, aren't you? I am. I am. Now I'm just deciding where I want some blue. Little hints over here and there. Yeah. And um, there's not a water lily anywhere without a koi fish. 
<laughs> That's true. They kind of sneak in the water here. You don't really see them. They're lickety split little guys under there, swimming around so fast. Yep. Sometimes there's just a little koi fish color on the leaves where they've changed course here. And uh, I want this one to be darker. So I'd say we were about 90% um, done on this one. Right, that's fun. All right, I am finished with our water lilies. I'm finished with that one. We can. Uh, no, I'm liking that one. Did, did you get? Can you sign that one yet or not? Uh, not quite yet, but I will pretty quick. And let me just show you what it would look like. Well, here, let me back it out a little bit. My cleanness. Well, I'd be able to sign it right there. I haven't written anything there. Yeah. I like that. It looks good in gold, too. Let's see. I want the white one. I like the white Posca pen here. Okay. There it is. Signed. Perfect. And so we got a water lily. Woohoo! Go ahead and pop right. that guy up on the top here. We'll dry a little bit and I'll snack her up. Okay, so where are we? We're back here with our 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 um road. Our winding here. road to the beach. Winding road to the beach. And um Get a little distance back in this one. Push those hills in the back like that. Would that be with our zinc white? That's our zinc white. Okay, just just pushes them right back. Yeah, let's go and talk about those. And um We've got, of course, we've got a tree somewhere. Let's see, let's get it about. We've got a tree and some, you know, this is actually an old vineyard. Um, but I think we're going to put um, maybe um, this right in here isn't all that interesting. This little area in, in here, even in the picture, it's not all that interesting. So let's do, um, let's make it more interesting. Let's do... Let's give it a
Let's do something like that. How do you keep your paint from drying out? We're using a wet palette tonight from Masterson. And it has been staying wet for seven hours now. And still going strong. Still going strong, Queen? Still going strong. Try a few irises on here, like that, a few little wildflowers, yes and yes. I knew you would do that. We have a visitor from India join us this morning, it's this morning for them, it's 9 o'clock. Oh, morning. And they like to say, beautiful painting, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, I'm liking the... Um, The little flowers. A couple right there. And let's take um let's take a little stiff brush and do a few little yellow flowers along here. Plant something here. And uh, A little bit of color in our Okay, so there's our road. And um can't believe even that burnt sienna, which we've hardly used at all, is still Still like you it's squeezed still, it it's out. It's still like we just put it out. Well, that's a horse of another color, isn't it? All right, so now we've got... I'm liking this so far. We still have a, a tree that goes here, but I want to put up our grapevine stakes, too, which I think are kind of nice. Yeah. And... Uh, That'll help convey the, the depth yeah. into the painting. We've got a tree that's doing, kind of coming up here like this. Let me get a different brush. Why do we even have that brush? I just ought to go in the trash right now. <clears throat> Where are we getting into the blues? I see we just we just don't have the the burnt sienna color anymore is what's happened. We've used it up. All right, so here we go. Dagger brush. Tiny bit of water on the tip of the brush. I've got a little in these little jars here.
All right, so then we want to say that there's um, some sort of green, pale green leaves coming out this way. They're almost they're almost uh, translucent because of the the sky. So got that little tree doing that. This little dagger brush. Which is good for the tree stakes, which we want kind of dark. This is where I'm going to do the um, the golden open uh, medium because it will add just it will allow my paint to glide quicker should allow that to happen. I need it to be like a pen and be very thin. The fences are going in. And they're all kind of a little crookedy. They're just little grape stapes, so they don't have to be um, um, There we go. Now, then the um, so how did we do? We got some good distance in there now, don't we? You really do. Going down the hill, I mean, you can feel yourself going down the hill. Let's see, let me just change brushes for a minute. That one got a little fat. You know how to you how to make one smaller, don't you? You can just take a little water and erase it. 
so I don't want those that show up that much, but I've got these could be a little taller here. These ones here. There we go. Now I feel like we've uh, about finished this picture. I just want it to be a little lighter at the edge of our road here, maybe. Okay, there's a water droplet, which I don't want. Well, that actually is kind of a surprise, isn't it, this painting? When you start putting in these little violet, you know, these little uh, irises. Yes and yes. Yeah. And we start putting in... Let's see, where did my picture go? Here. Look that a little darker there so the road looks like it's going downhill. A little more than it did. Okay. I think for a, a study and um, a landscape, that this could be very cool larger. Do you think so, John? Absolutely. So there you go, you guys. I, I'd say that that's finished. And I'm not sure that the Golden Open did anything to make the... Um, um, The, those little thin lines be any easier, but let me show you what this looks like on a frame. In case you were wondering what these are looking like. That's another beauty. Let's see, I, I, I can kind of look it up on the, uh, I look it up on the, um, um, on the TV, right? And uh, I have a TV above me where I can see what I painted. Acrylics have a, this nasty habit of drying darker. I wanted those to show up just a little bit more than they did. There we go. All right. All right, so that one's done. I will sign it when it dries. Yes and yes. Beautiful. I feel like it did. We're not putting any birds or anything, but I feel like we've got a nice... You've got um, a nice scene. Nice, nice scene. And um, maybe just one thing. You always, there's always one thing, right? <laughs> there's always one thing. There's always one thing. I just want to bring this tree over a little bit more here. Okay. 
Just a little bit more there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That works for me. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. Okay, you guys. So you've got uh, Road to the Beach. We will move, put this over here to dry. And what are we, what's next? We're getting there, right? It's only, it's only 11 o'clock here, my yeah. time. The nap distance, 3.30. Uh, this lunch, is, lunch in the Greek Isles. Lunch in the Greek Isles, which is this one. We have that and Tommy Toucan. Got All right, you Tommy guys, Toucan. we're getting there. Yes and yes. Um, You're going to have to be my slider left and right, so I ask you to slide left or right. You have to do that. My sure, work. sure. It's, um... This is 13, and which one was this? 11. But um, I want it for this one. So, too bad. 13. Oh, that's fine. I need that one for the. I need the dark for this. Yeah. And we need the light Sorrel transfer paper. And... Uh, Let's do that. Let's put that on there. Let's make sure it transfers. Oh, it does. Look at that. Now, this has to be on there fairly good because that table and chairs are... they got to be good. So, uh, well, they're good or they're not. And then if they're not good, we won't, we'll take it down, right? <laughs> but I hope that. they're good, John. They'll be great. It'll be super de duper. All right, where's this? Where's this lined up here? All right, so that's lined up. Not really. It's just got a line up squared on here. All right, so. Use your triangle or ruler. Keep those edges straight. Probably shouldn't have used a bed pen on this. I can't see where I've been. Are you doing beverage rise and everything in my cleanness? I think we're okay. Alrighty. Well, do we have any tomato juice? I'd take some Absolutely of that. Absolutely, we do. I'll take some of that, I Would think. Would you like it on the rocks? Sure, that'd be good. Try something a little different on this one tonight. But I'm going to try something a little different on this painting tonight. Yeah, we'll see what we get here. But um, I'm going to try something just a little bit different. I 
first thing I'm going to do is um, paint in the table so I don't lose it. It's an interesting diamond shape, isn't it? Okay. And I'm taking a little bit of purple and white. We're going to do in the To know. Yeah, I know what it is with you. Just um, stick it mm -hmm. this there. Stick, stick it there. I'm not really using that. Yeah, I'm trying to back that up a little bit. Okay, so so far so good. Yes and yes. Guess why I thought I should have shot some pictures. There All we go. I didn't. You didn't take the pictures? We'll go back and take them. <laughs> I'll stay right here. Just keep the camera where it is. I won't move the picture. You promise? Yeah. I don't know how much noise my machine makes through the system. I never listened to that. Okay. So, um, I want to get out some phthalo green. Oh, green has the big guns. I get these two, right? Yep. Oh, well, it's kind of impressionistic brush strokes. Now, if you like this kind of painting, we've got in our tutorial, in our Wave and Water Master Class, we've got a really good one. Um, that's, uh, the, the, that's it, it's beach chairs and in a restaurant and all that. Or the Mediterranean luncheon or something. Yeah, lunch in the Mediterranean or something. It's really a nice, uh, I think Andrew painted that one.
Oh, my machine. This is a. This is what I'm sitting in is really a gaming chair. Is what it's designed for. But I use it for all the video editing in my control center. Yeah, John's in there every day. So I just wondering when I go up and down, you know, when I move it around, does it make a lot of noise for you guys? Because the microphone's right next to it. Sounds like a hospital bed. Yeah, that's what it would be, because it's just mechanical sounds. How often do you do these paint-a-thons? Uh, two to three times a year. I do don't remember what the schedule is. I have to go look at the newsletter to see what it tells me. <laughs> I don't remember. We started last year during COVID, uh, during the quarantine. And they were a big hit. Everybody liked them, so we said, well, we'll do another one. And they liked that. So, so this is said, we'll a, it's one. not just a paintathon. There's an auction going on. You can go to gingercookauction.com to see that these paintings are up there up for bid. The reason I'm doing the thalo green is one of the water in the Mediterranean is when you get closer, if you're in tropical water, um, tends to get a little bit lighter and bluer um, as you come come into it. And um, Looks like our next one is scheduled for August 13th. It's the amazing sound of command and control. Mm. Oh, Cassia, you are so right. There you go. <laughs> I made John all happy, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So see already just changing the color of the of this has already made a difference. And we'll just um That out of the way so I can see something. Where'd my greens go? I'm all out of greens. Let's put our greens back, you guys, just for a couple of pi pictures left, but we'll put them back. John can see if the stay wet palette keeps the greens wet, right? Keeps them wet. We'll tell you if we put some more out, what happens? Well, people say they keep them for weeks. Okay.
So we'll put the ocean in. More white, they look green. So who we got with us left in the moderators? Say hi to our moderators who have been hanging with us. Uh, that would be Lynn, Luann, Steffi, and Judy. Oh my God, you guys are so sweet to hang in there with us. Unbelievable, because this is a long time. I, I don't know about you, but my back's getting tired. No way. Oh yeah. Yep, but it's all right, I'll finish. I just think so, anyway. You can do it, my queen. You can do it. All You're right. my hero. There we go. We you got are the this. Wind um, beneath my wings. Huh, sounds good there on paper, doesn't it? <laughs> Could almost break in the song. Okay, there's our box for our planter. Hello, Joyce from India. Our Indian gang is showing up now. Really? That's Thank cool. Thank you for joining us. Cool. You, you'll be happy to know that India, India is our number three in our countries of viewers. U.S., Canada, and then India. Really? Well, we appreciate you guys very much and appreciate that you're um, hanging in there with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's certain things I can do and certain things I can't do with uh, while the, the blue is still wet. I can put on some of the red here at the table. Um, but 
but I'll probably have to put out some cad red medium to really do it, to, to really get these chairs the color that I want them and everything but I wanted to at least um, to get some idea. of this blocked in uh, while I could so you can kind of see it the, the way I've done the water it feels windy doesn't it it does a little wavy well it's just it's got the, the white caps New Zealand isn't even in the top. I've only got two viewers in New Zealand. Australia beats New Zealand. Just forever or just um, this particular? Just in the viewership. Just today or just no, right just, now? No, uh, overall. I look at the history. Think we're ready for another drawing, my queenness? Let's do another drawing. We got Thank our you friends for our from current people. We've got some new people here. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some. Let's do a do, do drawing. So, if, if you haven't entered into our drawing, now is your chance. Do it quick as a bunny. Um. We want to enter in because we're going to be giving away a um, another uh, downloadable lesson, another thirty-five dollar downloadable lesson. Already, I'll have a credit on Ginger Cook. Um, um, Do it again. Acrylic painting with gingercook.com. I had a girl. There you go. That's what you want. Okay, so there's a... Well, going to Germany. 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 I couldn't begin to tell you. Guten, Gutenberg and something. They don't like to use capital. Is cad red light here? Okay. Now, I can't do a lot more to this because it's all too wet. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. That water is probably still very wet. So what we have to do is to do our last painting, which is the toucan, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Well, well I guess Tommy. we could do the rose, maybe, but I'm doing the toucan here. Oh, we have this, uh, oh, the volcano. Those were just maybe we could get to those. Are we supposed to get to those? Well, it would be nice if we could. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do our toucan, you guys. Who knew a dirty brush could be a magic, be so magic? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, I remember years ago going in La Jolla, California, there was this world-famous artist, and I took a workshop from him. And he was an oil painter, but I didn't care. I was doing acrylic, so I figured I'd learn something, which, of course, I did. And um, he watched at me, and he says, don't you ever clean your brush. I mean, I've been doing that since Cinnamon was six, you know? <laughs> no. I mean, I do and I don't. I wipe it off. But, you know, it seemed to greatly distress him. Here's a happy toucan as opposed to a miserable toucan. Yes and yes? Oh, well, yeah. That's Tommy. He's got to be happy. And the winner is Doris. Doris, Doris, Doris. Arend Opez. Oh, wait a minute. O P Opez? 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 I think. Spell it. Well, it's a hyphenated last name. So it's A R E N D hyphenated O P I T Z. In other words, it's Doris. 
Dory from Germany. Congratulations, Miss Doris. Oh, yeah, that's great. Another one of those ones where you can't see it. What? Oh, because what well, you're doing light on light. Yeah. I gotta do it again. I'm getting tired, kid. Oh. Oh. Now I gotta find my other stuff. Let's see. Well, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. Still need that. Yeah, just put it on the floor. I have. I got stuffy stuff. They can clean got, it up. <laughs> just that was good for nothing. Let's try this again. I hate to use blue though, but I got to do it. I can't see it at all, so it doesn't really matter. But we're doing blue. Which one is blue? Well, because it messes with the colors. Hmm. We've got a dark. Well, I'll do a quick block, and you'll be fine. I've got a dark thing here, and so it messes with my colors when we do that. John, will we be doing puzzles again? Absolutely. I'm thinking the winter. Puzzles are always good in the winter time. Those are winter time projects. Well, last year we did it during COVID when everybody was sort of stuck in the house. Which is like winter. You're stuck in the house. Yeah, they're going to come back. They got to get the website done. Website done first. I'm shooting for September 22nd. Anybody who wants to know, that's the end of summer. That looks perfect. Now, what's so hard about that? Okay, I can make I can make that work. For sure, I can make that work. This we can make work. So, um, did you? Well, what? Nothing. What do you need? What do you need? Just I think clean water would be good. I'm doing all these yellows. Not a problem. See, look at this. Take that big brush away. Yeah, you might go. I'm gonna let you have that. Okay, this will be fun. We'll do our nice toucan here, and um, I think I always like birds. I think birds, though. I mean, I really like birds, and I really like them in the zoo and places like that. You know. <laughs> not at home. I don't want to. Yeah, not at home. All right. So what do we got here? Why are we painting this white? Right, everybody. We're painting this white because. It's um, yellow. If you want something yellow, it needs to be on a white background. You want the yellow to be bright. And one thing about, you know, colorful birds like parrots and macaws and toucans and stuff is that they, they, um, they really are, their feathers are so beautiful and bright. Um, something that you may not know a little history about feathers is that, um, the um, the Native Americans of South America, when the Spaniards came, uh, they said that in Mexico City, uh, it was the houses were like kind of like a white adobe, and it was like on an island. It was like on an island in this lake, and then the people had made feathers and flags out of feathers, little tiny. Uh, just little pieces of a feather, not like a giant big feather, but they've taken a feather all apart, 
like little tiny threads, and they had made these gorgeous flags that that flew in front of uh, people's houses, and all the all the feathers came from these birds of South America, and um, they were, of course, they were very light, and they kind of waved in the breeze, and. Uh, and of course, then the then the king's robes and everything, and the uh, you know was made out of you know feathers too, gold and feathers and stuff. But to me, what was so interesting was that um, that they had these that these beautiful flags. That then this uh, none of those survived. Of the, uh, the flags, they didn't survive. They they were thought to be pagan, and they were burned. Which was a shame. No, thought they thought they were pagan and they burned them. But I, I that just that would have been something to see, wouldn't it? All oh, those beautiful flags. I will say one thing, the marigold paints very nicely over the, that pink color. Oh, that's the Holbein paint, right? Mm -hmm. You can see how beautiful these colors are going on around him. You got me something to drink and I forgot it. Here it is. Did you want me to drink it for you too? I'd be happy to. Mm -mm. That's nice. I'm having a little V8 juice. Which is always lovely. Well, I think we lost our little slider up there. We're going to have to replace it. What's that? We're going to have to replace it. Yeah, gonna have to do something. I have to put my thinking cap on again. Well, you know, you think you'd like to. You think these could last more than a couple of years? Well, they're, they're probably not designed to be used every day. Is one thing, because that's not you know we're kind of using them outside of what they're designed for. Well, too bad. Are all of the Junior Academy and YouTube tutorials on the new website? Yes. So if you were a member of the BeginnerAcrylicArtist.com website, you need to come over to the new website, Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook, and we'll get you set up, move your billing over, and all that other good stuff. Well, the other website still works too. We're just putting, not putting new stuff on yeah. it. Yeah, the old site's still there. It won't take it down until we're completely 100% done with everything. But it's just not being updated. A little CAD red here mixing in. Just keep layering the colors in. Okie dokie, that's kind of fun, All right? And we've got some of this light blue. 
round the size. Just want it on this part of the brush. Mm -hmm. We're missing ultramarine blue. We're out of ultramarine blue. Okay. Using Salvador paints for the most of this. Couple specialties here and there. And some specialty colors elsewhere. A little dark ultramarine blue color with a tiny bit of black in it. Or paints gray if you hone that. Brush strokes are all going down. Kind of simulating his fur. Yep. PJ says, I don't think you can learn the dirty brush trick that ginger turns to gold. I don't know. I've been able to do some of it. Not as many colors as she gets on her brush sides. I think that comes with time. You have to know what you can get away with. You certainly can't put a red and a green together right next to each, right, right on top of each other. Even though I see her do it, but she has a light touch to know how to do it. Good looking toucan.
Okay. Lily would like to know, why did you choose pink for the background? I needed something light for his face. It was easier to paint the background um, um, dark than it was to, to, you know, paint the whole bird white and everything. Yep. We wanted him to be bright. Gotta have a bright toucan. Let's see, we need something a little darker up here. If you darken the corners, it brings the eye in toward the center a little bit. So we're going to darken some of this. Maybe darken something coming up this way. For new people that are out there, uh, please consider subscribing. We'd like to hit 100,000 before the year's end, if at all possible. Our normal shows are on Monday, 5.30 p.m. Central Time. We should have one painting that we usually give away. Now we've got some little brush work now. We use that big brush. It's, he's fun to paint. He is. I 
by painting is, you know, this wider part up on the eye, it kind of recess, recesses it in. It's got some dark going under here. Go a little bit more detail in his eye. Now there's I have to do a little bit with this yellow, but I think the black is still wet. We have to come back to him. He's almost done, but I have to come back uh, to him. We may be able to do a little bit more in the light yellow department now. Let's turn him upside down here. Remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you've got a dark green and a dark bird, he's not going to show up. Yes and yes. As fun as it would be to Can you slide back to the right? Yeah, it's back this way, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that way. You did good. I'm going to put a little blue in this, too, because it just makes for a more interesting painting. Were you using the uh, 3 8 inch dagger brush when you were using the dagger brush? Yeah. 
This must be a 3 8 inch dagger back when she was using that. Now let me turn it upside down so I can get real close to this pink line here. Pull it back toward me. Okay. Just sort of cut in places, right? So, um, that's fun. Good looking Tommy. Got to give him all his happy colors. As opposed to unhappy colors. We don't want unhappy colors. No, right? we don't want unhappy colors. That's, that's no good. God, I can't believe how, how this... It really did, did keep all this paint. Wet. Terry says, I really want to paint Impressionism, but I'm detail-oriented and end up with a more realism. Please advise. It's hard to copy the masters and just do what they did. Don't try to do it by yourself. Learn the tricks by, you know, one of the reasons we teach the old masters is do it just like they did. Just, you know, and we, we teach that because it's very hard otherwise to figure out where you need to, to, to make your adjustments. You know, I mean, it's just almost impossible. That's some of that luminous rose color right there. That makes a difference, doesn't it? Yep. You just stand out. PJ would like to know, does painting faster help with Impressionism rather than getting caught up in slowing it down without overthinking it, I guess? Uh, no, I don't think so. Paint, I paint faster so it doesn't dry on me. Uh, I don't think that would make that much difference, PJ. Just don't think so. But I'm liking this now. You guys liking this? Yeah. Hope he goes to a good home. Yeah, me too. Hope he goes to a good home because he's fun, right? He is. I have to get a good scan of these puppies before they leave a, before they leave the roost. There was a little it's just the smallest details, but there was a little light line on the top of that beak right there. And uh Oh, 
I think him's fun. Uh, let's see, we need a little light line. Down here too. And where is my uh, cadmium orange? Yeah, find a spot on that palette. <laughs> Not hard, but I you need, can do it. I need that color. Just a touch. Okay, you guys, I think I've pretty much got it. There's a little bit of darker red right there. And I feel like we have our, I feel like we've got our toucan here. Um, cadmium yellow. Yeah, find a spot on the palette, right? Never mind, can't get it out. I'm not gonna worry about it now. So what do I want? I want a little bit white here. I think we've got enough bright colors now. All right, I'm signing this one. Woohoo, right? A butte. A butte indeed. Yeah, let's see what he looks like in a frame. You want to back it out, or can you? Yeah, I can back out. You just might have to move it around. Okay, you guys. There's our toucan. How fun is that? He looks good in that frame, too. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, he works. And remember, all the... Paintings, all the original, if you purchase one of these at our auction, they all come with a certificate of authenticity and, um, you know, signed by me, dated, and all that stuff, the gold uh, seal, and um, this uh, is something you probably want to make sure you put in a, you know, keep in, a in your place. vault or, you know, really keep it safe. It's important. All right, so, now, proof. Now, let's see, back to these guys. And let's see what we can come up with. Well, in the picture, they've got this, you know, kind of land back here, and I don't know that it adds anything to it, but I do want to add some clouds. I want on a water line with some clouds. So I'm going to... I think I'd rather have some marine clouds like this. Using zinc white. Just... I'll try a little titanium now. A couple places. Now let's take our T-square and make sure our horizon line is straight. Not quite. 
quite close though. There we go, marine layer. And uh, and a few little white caps in the front. Give it just, want it to be breezy at the ocean and that's how you say it is. And remember, they don't. You don't have big white things back there. If you put them back too far, they'll look weird. You got to keep them kind of up close. And you don't want too many of them because then they'll be distracting. Just put in a few. There we go. Now we want. Uh, let's see, I think I have some cad red medium. Put the second next coat of red on this table. And I'm going to go ahead and do a red chair. See, I think I just need some new red out. What's this? Okay. I'm gonna mix cad red with that red and see what I get. Has Ginger ever drawn caricatures? Uh, no, I never have. I've never done caricatures. I've just never been, I wasn't much of a cartoonist. I never did that either. Uh, just, does Cinnamon uh, do that? I don't think so. I think my granddaughter, probably Honey, does a little of that. She's probably more likely to do that. Oops, I have to paint that out. I 
when that dries. Which color membership is best for tutorials with the old dead guys? That would be your red membership. Yep, the VLL, right? The red membership will get you the majority of the lessons and also gives you the personal art coaching, which in our opinion is priceless. Bobby would like to know what the spider do. Um, what? Who wants to know? Bobby would like to know what spider does. Well, a spider is extremely mechanical. He he paints well too, but he loves he loves building things. And um, when he was little, he was constantly taking stuff apart. His mom would say, "What happened to my lamp?" You know, and he he, he we wanted to see how it worked. He was just a, he was one of those kids that just was extremely interested in um, really everything. How things work. And he was definitely interested in how things work. So that's kind of what, you know, that was Spider's thing, right? Now, if you were going to do this from scratch, what I would tell you to do is paint in all the um, all the chairs white first, and then paint them in um, a color, because red shows up best when it's done that. I'm going to just take a minute and dry that, John. You can just, just give me a second. Okay. I'm going to take a breather here while she does that. Thank you everybody for hanging in there. These will be the, probably the last one we do this evening. I think the queen is running out of gas. Let me bring you back, my queenness. Sometimes you just have to have a hair dryer. Yes. Otherwise, you're just sitting here with all this paint spinning your wheels. And red's one of those little colors that just needs more than one coat. The all times on the auction site are based on central time zone. Good question. Right. So a little purple here for shadow. Where's that one? That really brightened it up. That's that's um that cat um, red light. Mm.
really added the highlights to the shadows. That's nice. It just, it just had to have something here. So it just wasn't showing up at all. You know, probably would have been just as simple to paint them white. And then... Well, um, no, I like the effect you got with this, though. Because the shadows from the dark just gives it a little more 3D look. Okay. Let me just... Um, change the direction of that chair by changing the direction of the water here. So this did this. Let me just take that out and do it again. Okay, so while that's drying, so I can put in the uh, other t tables and chairs and st you know, I've got to put in um, some other stuff here. Uh, look, I want to put in the flowers and stuff, but I can't do that right this second. So what's the next one? Are you going to keep going? So what's this one? You have the mountain, mountainous volcano and the yellow rose the cactus. All right, uh, I don't see the. Um, did you take one of these uh, to do the? I only got one of these left. How's that? No. Okay, that can't be. Well, you know what? I don't know today, kid, but it's what it is. It's one left. So when you were doing your happy demonstration, did you take one? No, I took a brand new one. Doesn't matter. I'll work it out. We'll just do this for now, right? Usually you don't want a volcano to go straight up in the air, but you know what this one does? It, it, I don't know if it's Mount Fuji or which one it is. So we saw some when we were in South America that were still going. Guatemala. Poor kind of Guatemala. That was really cool. Yeah. Well, at the time it wasn't, but now that I think back, it probably was. But at the time, it seemed kind of alarming. What more? They were taking us across a bridge, a temporary bridge. And uh, here it is at twelve twelve. My goodness, we're getting there though. I feel like I'm a little slow tonight. I think you've done fantastic. I'd applaud you. Okay. That is really weird, though. They were one short. That's disturbing. You know how I like things nice and neat and orderly. All right. Let's put in the sky here. like kind of when I'm doing a sky like this, I kind of like everything at kind of an angle. It's kind of nice rather than straight across. Found another one? Well, I have four more that I know we weren't going to use, but I don't know what happened to that one that we were supposed to still have. We'll probably find it when we clean up. It's kind of weird. It disappears. Okay, so then we've got this one. Now we need a sort of a purple mountain color. It's a little blue in it. Maybe a little brown. No, more blue. More blue. Zinc white. It 
It's a little more challenging to paint on this white one. So what am I missing? I am missing ultramarine blue. So basically what I'm doing now is just blocking in this mountain. I need you to slide to the right. Oh, slide the other yeah. way, right? There it is. I'm just blocking this in. Sort of a blue-purple mountain here. And you got to get the base color first. That's just how you have to do it. So that's your underpainting. Doesn't look like much, does it? And I think if you understand that this was what has to be here first. Then the rest of it will make more sense. So that's the, the basically the shape of this mountain here. Now what happens? Slide a bit to, little slide to the right. Thank you. So then, so then what we want is um, a little bit of clouds. I think that's dried enough where I can do these sort of softer clouds. A little bit of color in them. Now, if the, this is too wet, then you can't get the effect you want. So then there's just no point doing it. So let me see. That's still pretty. That's dried up a little bit. No, that's way too much paint. So this is what people always say. Well, what, what, what you guys were, were more willing to just leave a big glob of paint on there rather than wipe it off and say that I wasted it. I don't get it. I just, just, we can't help it. You know, I don't want to hear about it if you wasted it. Get over it, people. Is it time for another drawing, John? Ooh, of course, my cleanness. Let me see how many we got, and we'll get a number. You got a prize in mind? Yeah, how about uh, the downloadable for the uh, the the, tea, the 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 cat with the... Um, Tea and um, tea and snack. Ah, it's a great lesson. It's tea and snack. Tea and snack with a putty cat. That's not only available in our downloadables. It's not available in our academy. So I thought that was a good one. Let me get my numbers here. We're up to three oh seven. I think it's a good idea. I think we should go for it. Let's Thanks. see who the lucky winner, winner chicken dinner is. Okay, so that's the. You know, shall we show it? Do you? Is it around? It's just right back over there. Okay. I'll show you guys what you what somebody's winning. I guess we could show you that first. You want to show it first, or you want me to pick first? I mean, I got the person. I know. Who oh, you did. got the person. We'll go ahead and pick, and then we'll. Okay. Gotcha. We can do that. We can show the people that are hung in there. You're going to see a prelude to the Father's Day things we got coming well, up. In fact, here. let's do a drawing for that too. The Father's Day um, downloadable. It's not even available yet. Not even available yet, but it will we'll do be. do that after the kitty cat. So we got snack. Let's see, tea. Tea with a snack. Mm hmm. Snack and a cat. So we got our. And this person hails from 
Nevada, Las Vegas, no less. No kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Las Vegas. I wonder how it is in Las Vegas right now. I do not know. Besides being hot. So, all right, so this has to sit there and just be good. All right, next. Uh, Kathleen Merritt. Kathleen, uh, do you know what we're talking about? No, the, we will know what else is. The cat, this is a wonderful tutorial. In fact, I, my cat, I have a frame for it now, and it's going up in our kitchen. But we did a really good tutorial, and it's just downloadable only. And I'm very excited about it. And happy to share that with you. And uh, Let me give you this one. Which one? This one. Okay. Okay, how do we want to? Okay. So, you want to hand it to me? Well, I can. Okay, we have this big, that big, and that little. Let's okay. do little first. Okay. Or you want to do that first? So we'll do that first. Okay. All right, so this is what you've won. Uh, the not, the down, not the painting itself, but you won the downloadable lesson on how to do this. And um, this is called uh, Tea and Snacks. And again, mine's going in my kitchen. It's on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And um, so this is what you've won. Okay. I'll Ready? And there. hang a little bit over the palette. There we go. That's what you've won. The tutorial on how to paint this. People always say you always paint little. No, we paint our academy. We paint all kinds of big things. So congratulations to our Las Vegas winner who won that. See the little Kathleen Merritt. Kathleen. All right. So congratulations for to that. We want to congratulate you now. Where'd you do the other Father's Day up here, right? Can you get that one all right? We've got a Father's Day surprise that um, is also going to be a downloadable lesson. Um, and someone is going to win this. We'll draw for that one next. We'll draw for that one next. All right. And that will be the cigar and the, um, whiskey, and and the cigar. whiskey. Whiskey and cigar, okay? Do you want to show the last one? And then the last one that someone will be have, have a chance to win. Not the frame, not the painting, right? But we understand that not everybody wants whiskey and cigars. for, th um, And this will be an academy lesson coming up, but it's also be a downloadable. Someone will get a chance to win that. And here it is. This is called Kayaking with Dad. There we go. No one's seen that yet. You guys are the first ones to see it. Yeah, you guys have hung in there. Nobody's okay. seen this. So someone will have a chance to win this as a downloadable. And that will be released in a couple of weeks yeah. in the academy. Okay, so that being said, everybody's hanging in there. So far, so good. Um, so we'll wait a little bit longer in case anybody else wants to do inner for a chance to get the whiskey and cigar tutorial. Not that one. This one. Hmm. Problem with leaving stuff in the water is that then it has too much water to pick up on. This comes down here like this. On this chair, that's why it's a little confusing. There's the burgundy shadow. Okay, now what we're going to do, 
Next is uh, put some flowers on this. And I want to just make sure I've got my little chairs here. Okay, so now take a little bit of that um, medium here, and we're going to give you some, this is going to have some texture for the flowers. Kind of a three-dimensional so thing. Are using the uh, golden again? We're using the golden. And um, we'll start off with the dark green. A little blue with that. All right, so let's start off in here with the dark green. And then the light green. Need some yellow in it. You don't have to do the giveaway again. This was just provided you were here when the um let me say that enter it again. I can check PJ. PJ, you're already in the list. We are you. Is it a heavy body or extra heavy? It's just it's a heavy just body. A heavy body. It? Just heavy body on this one. Would have liked extra heavy, actually. We should have said I could have gotten it for you. Gonna come up and just kind of. So there's our planner, and um, When the uh, the cat's available on the acrylic painting with ginger cook, you have to probably do a search for it. Look for snack. It'll come up in the use the brown search bar. Put in snack. Snack or cat will bring it up. Now, um, in order for me to put the pink flowers in here, I'm gonna have to let that sit a little bit and dry. Um, yes and yes. So, um, Kind of fix that chair a little bit. Okay. So now we've got this here, and it's almost done, but we got to put the red pink flowers in. And I want another coat of white on the table over here.
There we go. So, and there was a rope here, but I don't think I'm going to put the rope in. I think that doesn't add anything, so we're not going to have the rope. In the picture, there was a rope, but it just, we're not going to do one. Okay. So now this gets some pink flowers, and it gets, to, see how we kind of lost some of our clouds back here? They got dark on us. They were looking so good, too, weren't they? Yep. Yeah. Get our marine layer back. That's what happens with acrylics. You think you have it perfect, and then bam. That's what doesn't hurt to, you know, just every once in a while, just stop and get put your picture up to a mirror, dry it, and see what's doing now. There we go. That's nice. That's our marine layer there. And um, something here along here. Let's see. We've got another. We've got some more leg stuff here coming down here like that. We're not really talking about all this. We're just saying there's something here. Okay, so now that's still wet, so we're going to go back to um, our mountain and see about painting that in. All right, you guys ready? Let's, let's get our mountain in. Okay, first off, I want to take some um, zinc white and come over here like this. I think I'm missing some colors. At this point, we've used almost everybody up. How would you know? <laughs> I mean, if you look for a moment, you know, we, we have an aerial view of it. It's just a gorgeous abstract of colors. Just kind of a little... You get the 3D effect. A little purpler that I wanted. Let's use zinc white. Let's just... Soften it out here. Okay. Slide a little bit to the left, please. Thank you. And, uh, Ginger, do you think perspective is all practice and learning, or did it come to you easy? You had to, you had to learn. You have to learn it. It's like spelling. Yeah. You got to think of you got to think of painting as like a language, and uh, you're learning it. This painting is nothing more than a language that you're learning. It's a night of record. Yes, Al, it is. Is this the most we've done? has outdone herself. You're seeing history being made in the making. History and history in the making. Is that what it is? This is a pretty long marathon, isn't it? My queen, you, you've astonished me. I think you just you've bullied me. You've gone beyond my wildest dream. I think you just bullied me into doing it. 
<laughs> so the way I'm looking at it, probably the rest of you too, right? <laughs> Just <laughs> why would you say that? Oh, oh gosh, I don't know. Why do you think I'd say that? I give up. Why would I say that? <laughs> I know you all saw this earlier when she had just blocked in you because there's no way that's going to become anything. Ah! It's all right, you have little faith. It's all right. Once again, the queen pulls it out. Pulls out all the stops. Works that magic wand. Now I have to have the zinc one. I'll just use the Salvador white. This is their white now? This is their white now, but okay, it's very light. This is their light. brand new white. Let's see how it does. It's very light. It's light, but it's not as zinky as a zinky, though, is it? No, it's not as zinky, but it's not quite titanium either. No. Kind of a cross between. Better than it was first. Let's take a little bit of white now. Let's see, where's my purple? I'm all out of that too. Oh, how annoying. <laughs> I didn't take it, really. I'm going to make something. I'm going to make some sort of purple, blue color. Yes and yes.
Ooh, that's a fun volcano, isn't it? It is. There's nice colors in it, too. Oh, where's the stupid zinc light? Here. Okay, so we saw the volcanoes when we were there, and they were there, there were um. Doing their little exploding things. <laughs> right? That's just uh, they were steaming? Yeah, still steaming up. <clears throat> and they thought it was safe to go on a tour. It's just nobody asked. The thing that made me mad was that nobody asked me. They, need, they, they, they didn't give us a choice. I probably still would have gone, but I, nobody said anything about volcanoes <laughs> still being active. And I just feel like if you're going to take a bunch of tourists, like but just a few months ago, there had been some volcano activity. It might have been a nice thing to do, just saying, to... Um, common courtesy. Common courtesy, yeah, just common courtesy. You know, by the way, we had this little issue. Do you still want to come, right? All right, so... This, I'm going to put the trees next, but let's get this one done. Now we've got some small brushes. Ooh, what do we got that's little? Okay, let's do some pink. Can't use that anymore. I just got paint in it. I have to use the other one. Okay. Uh, so I want a little bit of the gel medium and a little bit of the holbein pink which the is flowers, right? going to go for the flowers here and line up on my flowers what's the volcano i don't remember what's what the name of the volcano was where this came from We'd have to look it up, which I can probably do if I remember. PJ, you can always shoot me an email to remind me to look it up. I'll put it with the uh, with the actual lesson. These look like geraniums. Are they geraniums? Well, no, there's some other little flower. Hmm. Oh, geraniums. There were some different colors of them, which was pretty. Oh, the one we were visiting? I don't remember the one that we were visiting, the name of that one was. Well, there were three of them. They looked like something out of a cartoon. They just went straight up and it just went Yeah, they were exactly like you would, like we tell you not to not to paint them. And they there they were in nature. Yeah. They looked silly. 
It looks like a cartoon. Somebody just drew them in there. But they're three in a row. I don't know if I can even find where we did that one. That was a long time ago we did that trip. Uh, that was, uh, that's where we, when we got engaged. That was a long time ago. We well, should be old married done. people by now. And we don't even act like it. Yeah, the flowers really add to it, don't they? Well, they, they make it, don't they? They just pull the, pull the whole thing together. Okay, so we've got that, the table, the um, the flowers, there were some. Oh, the little centers of the flowers, look at you. Yeah, a couple little centers in them. And then there's some real cute greenery up here. Yeah, I think that makes that makes a difference to have that there. Absolutely. And uh, I think that looks nice. And uh, got a couple tables and um, chairs. And um, this side of the chair should be slightly higher than that side. Okay. So we've got um, and quite frankly, I think. I tell you what, I think this chair could go, and it would be look better. Which chair? This one. The one you just. This one right here. I don't think it needs to be there. There's two of them there, but got them kind of placed funny. I think that I'm going to erase one. Yeah, so much better. Just less visual noise. There wasn't a chair there. It's gone. Exactly so. Just the thing about that chair is it didn't add a thing. So it's gone. It's really supposed to be a table for four, not five. Yeah, that's just, you know, there's always someone's going, I borrow your chair. Do All you the mind? time. Well, what we nip that in the bud. You can borrow my chair. 
I'm claimed. This, I feel like coming on a cruise and saying this chair is claimed. <laughs> Take it at your peril. Well, you guys, I think that one's finished. I know i got to put a couple birds in it. But, you know, for the most part, it's finished. Yes and yes. Can I say one thing? What? And, and not get yelled at? Sure. The chair opposite where you are there. Not what? that one. Other side of the table. No, other side of the table. That one. And the over to the left. That would be the other. Yeah. Now go straight down from that point right there. You yeah, see that little, there's supposed there's to be a, a little space. right down there. There should be a, yeah, there should be a. Otherwise, that's just kind of floating. It, it should connect, yep. Yeah. Not that I'm being picky. No, it connects. I just didn't connect it. Connects right there. You're right. And then we got a, a spot right there that I didn't see. I didn't do the spot part. Got a little spot right there. Yeah, you're right. That had to come down there. There, there was a little space for that. The yeah. leg. We make sure that all, we have legs on all the chairs, right? Well, preferably. This has got to come all the way off too, like that. We don't want a floating chair. No. Look at that. See, so you put a little paint on the brush, and then you get this big glob because it's getting old. Even though it's still <laughs> not. Come on, I just need a little paint here. How hard is this? You gotta flatten out your brush. That's so important. It's just if you put some paint on the brush, you gotta flatten it out. Now see it's not even giving me a thin line now. Look at that, see? Who did that? It's not doing it for me anymore. There you go. See it's just is the not paint working. drying out over on the palette? Well, I don't know, it's just globbing now. Hmm. See it's only been there. How many hours have we been at this? Only nine. Nine hours? Nine hours, yeah. Nine and a half? You think it'd last forever? Well, gosh, wouldn't you think so? <laughs> That's what we were told to last forever. Never run out of paint again. Brighten these flowers up right there. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, we were going to put in some birds. You put birds, you put a tractor. That's the deal. Yeah, no, there's no deal here. I don't make deals. <laughs> I don't make deals with people who like tractors. There's a bird. I see it. That's his buddy further back. He's even further back. He's coming in. And he's way back there. Well, look, if somebody's having lunch, there's birds, trust me. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe not that one. But see, that's what I love about Posca. I'll take, I'll take one out. <laughs> Shoot that bird out of there. Uh, but, I mean, but I mean, really, if somebody's having lunch, there's a bird. Mm -hmm. Or two at the beach. There you go. The and, bird's gone. Uh, gone bird. Come on, bird. We're just... I mean, we're getting, I'm almost getting my second win now at this point, right? All right. I'm liking that, and that's, um... Controller's gone now. Your whole controller's gone now? Seems to be. Oh, it's going nuts, though. Why? What's it doing? It's just going up and down by itself. All okay, right, you guys. That that's, um, I'm going to say this one's done. Finito. Okay, 
is with the little. We've got our our seagulls and our birdies, and um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And let's see, back to this one. Before I do, can you back out, or does it back out at all anymore? I can back out. Yeah. What are we doing? We're gonna just show this one in frame. Ah, uh, frame it. Just thought it might be fun to show it. Absolutely, we like fun. You know, you gotta kind of want to see what these look like. There you go. You've got uh, lunch at the beach. I like that. Nice. That's nice. So now, when I sometimes when I see it in the frame, it's like for me seeing it on a whole new thing, right? I'm gonna okay, have, I'm that throwing with, uh, this brush have that away. would be in the silver frame. Don't want that even around. You got the silver frame handy for that one? Yeah, let's see what the silver one looks like. We could do that. The auction will running th will be running through May twenty sixth next Wednesday. I know oh, better that's now. better, isn't it? Yep. That's the first one that needed to be in that color. That's yeah. a pewter. That's their pewter. It's a pewter, but it's pretty, isn't yeah. it? Kind of the pewter look to it. And I see something I want to do. Of course you do. Something like that, just a little bit of that. Give it that. And uh, okay, there's a little more detail on those two seals. All right, I'm happy with this. I think this looks. Uh, all right so let me just move that out of the way so now we've got to do the volcano we've got to put the palm trees or whatever these are some sort of bushes right Bushes of some type. So let's do that next. Any questions? Questions? No. Hmm. Everybody's as blurry eyed as me. Like, when is this woman ever going to stop this pain a thon? I can't believe we're still going on. All right, so last paper plate. We need something dark. Which way am I going on this? Couldn't tell you. I don't know how they got laid in there. Oh, here. All right, so we need a really, really dark green. Put a little red in it. Now, what we need to do is that we know and so we've got something really dark. Just the corner of the brush. All 
Well, that gives it, when you start putting in the dark, doesn't that give it some real per interesting perspective then, right? Well, it's, it's, it's given us depth. Mm-hmm. So now it's almost like we're looking out the, the window and we can want to lose some poles where birds can fly through your trees. They're busy at the beach. I saw them. The, the, the birds are? Yeah. Okay, so these um, uh, trees sort of act as a little bit of a frame. Yeah, which is kind of cool in itself, right? So now, Those look like palm fronds. Yep, those are just coming out of the top of this one tree. Okay, so let's get some of these colors going here. Just tapping them on, overlapping, little taps. Still want some of the dark to show through. side color with that.
You've got some interesting patterns in the picture, and I'd say follow it in your reference. Okay, so then we've got these, and we've got a really... This looks like it came right out of Jurassic Park. Just need a dino running by. Pull it all together. I'm telling you. So you've got that, and then you've got this neat little tree here, which I'm going to draw in. It's coming this way. I got any other colored pencils? I guess I can use a red one. Okay, so we're going to come up here a little bit and um, bring our mountain up a little higher than it went. Let's see, what do I got to do with that? Purple in it. All right, so now we want those trees with the dark green. Let's put some red in it. And an olive green. And um, Hmm. I'm doing it green first, and I'm going to put the light over it. Actually, I'm this volcano is a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? How it's coming out? Uh, just you know, it's an inter it's it's a more interesting painting than I thought it would be. Now you weren't too keen on this one off the bat. So all you had to do is put a little ginger touch to it, and you come up with a work of art. So now.
We would like to thank Pamela for the donation that came in through PayPal. Oh, Pamela, thank you so much. We appreciate you hanging in there with us, too. That's nice. Um, it's time to do it. Why don't you do another drawing for the Father's Day one? Let me do that. This is the... Um, and my numbers. This is the whiskey cigar one. Yeah, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey and the cigar. Already. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I got a winner, winner chicken dinner here. You do. I do. Winner of the whiskey. And cigar, downloadable lesson, when available. When available, it'll be available soon, right? Yep. Next week is Vicky Muse from California. Oh, congratulations, Vicky, and thanks for hanging in there with us. If you're still hanging. So you're getting a lesson that's not even out yet. It's not even out of the press yet. That's how impressive that is. This really um, feels very jungly. It really does. It? These marigold colors are marvelous. Can't really get that any other way.
So I would say we're like 99% done with this one. I would say so too. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? <laughs> I don't think that's quite what you wanted to do there. Not what I wanted to do, not even close. So easy to fix though, it doesn't really matter. Well, my friends, I would say that that's um, we've got a good take on this. And that one is finished. In the bag. In the bag. So. You have set a record, my queen. One more. Well, we can save it. We'll save it. Why don't we save it? We're going to do that as a bonus lesson for our Academy members. We'll record it for that. And it'll be up in the auction. So the, by probably Sunday night. There you go, you guys. There's our... And that was great in gold. Our volcano in uh, Guatemala. Or wherever it may be. I like it. Looks good. All right, everybody. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us on this lovely afternoon, evening, morning. Oh, yeah. Thanks, you guys, for hanging in there with us. It's 1.18. We've been at this since 3.30 this afternoon. This is definitely a painting marathon, so... A painathon. Uh, painathon, absolutely. We um, do you want to show a little bit of what we did? Kind of a summary of what we painted. Bring them all over to you. Sure, why not? Um, because your hands are all yucky. Uh, like yeah, look, he's saying. What is he saying here? <laughs> you clean your hands, and I'll negotiate. <laughs> I'll, I'll clean my hands. I think people. After all this, I think people want to see what we painted. Wait, what did we paint? Since so three thirty this afternoon. Yeah, what have you guys guess? been doing? You just sitting around been doing? doing nothing. Yeah, what have we been doing? So I'm going to take to clean my hands with a tub so of towels. What here. we want to do is be all the horizontals first. Yeah, all the horizontals first, and then we'll do a couple of verticals. All right, so you guys. I want you to see how many paintings have we done? Thirteen. Thirteen. And you would have done fourteen, but I put a stop to it. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Yeah. All right, here's the horizontal, and here's the vertical. I tell you, that B one it reminds me of a Winnie the Pooh, like an illustration of Winnie the Pooh. Does it? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh's my buddy. I know. Hand check, please. Well, this is second. Whoa, 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 that thumb. What thumb? That left thumb. This one? Yeah. It's all dried on there. It's all right. Okay. It's just uh, everything's dried. Let all me right. just uh, get a paper towel and kind of kind of make sure that we've got a clean, clean, wash, dirty wipe. Did your mother ever say that to you? Clean, wash, dirty wipe? Yeah. Implying that you hadn't really washed your hands. Yeah. Remember that? Sometime. I thought you were going to wash your hands. Why is the towel so dark? Dirty. <laughs> All right, so we did the volcano. That's all for One of the very first ones we did was our... Our uh, ocean. Look at that. And again, we took you to the tropics somewhere. We've taken you on vacation, haven't we? We've taken you around the world. We've taken you around the world. And then we've got 
the butterfly and the um, and the yellow flowers. I like that one too. We've got that one. And for those who love hummingbirds, we've got a, a hummingbird and some pink flowers. I like that that one needs too. to be in the silver frame though, I think. Well, we can change frames out now. I mean, you know, we're sparing no. Look at that. I think that needs to be in that frame. Well, yeah, I think we just said that earlier. Yeah, yeah that was silver good frame, right? right? Yeah. But what else did you do? And then we did the ocean one. Um, we did this ocean one, which we thought would be uh, at the beach, which would look nifty in this frame, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, we've got... Uh, this uh, road to the beach, which like is really one. pretty in the silver frame too. It's a very nice look in that road to the beach. And we've got. I like this one. This is our, our desert uh, cactus. Yeah, it needs to be in gold though. We need to put that back I in the gold. Back I think these gold. others all need to be gold. Here you go. Here's the desert cactus. Oh, that looks great in there. Look at that. What did you get on this one? I didn't do this. You got one on the side you did. Huh? Where's all that coming from? Oh, from the other frame. That was on there. That needs to be fixed up. Oh, we'll fix that. That will, before we send it, we'll fix that. All right, so there's the desert cap cactus. And then we've got um, the uh, uh, bird in the woods, blue bird in the woods. I like that. That could have been in a silver frame, too. That would have been looked good. And then here's our water lily. Water lilies. And it's all, also it's 3.30 this afternoon, you guys. All right. And then we've got our toucan. Yes, and yes. Tommy. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, there's our toucan. So then, that's not all, though. There's more. And there's Wait, more. there's more. There's more, because if we turn it everything this way now, Toucan's going we'll crazy. show you our, our, vertical. our verticals, which um, this one has the actual texture on it with the gels and the flowers. Look at that. A little, uh, that, that probably should have been in a um, silver frame. And we're going to find out there, aren't we? Yeah, it probably should have been because I mean you know, you know you always want to know that you want to pick up. People say, "What's the framing tip?" Pick up a little of that color. Look, oh, at, look, that at, that. And, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That silver frame is that nice? Kind of that pewter frame. Pewter looking frame. So that we have that the the blue door. Um, we've got. Let me think. The others are gold here. We've got the lighthouse in Maine. Sunset. Oh, look at that. Stunning. And then we have uh, our bumblebee. Love the bumblebee. In the purple flowers. That's a that's a Pooh Bear painting. So, you guys, we did some stuff here today. No question about it. We did a we've painting got some, We've got a, we did it. We gave away probably over almost $300 worth of giveaways today in, uh, in uh, downloadable lessons at Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. We want to thank everybody who donated to us tonight, and, uh, you know, that'll help replace the little brokey thing that's, um, yeah. <laughs> that really no, broke no. up here. You know, it's a start no, we'll anyway. We'll that. quite cover it, but it'll... It's a start. So we thank everybody for that. And I think we've got we had a very successful uh, paint-a-thon. And again, thank our moderators who are still out there with us. Is Judy still with us? And who's here so, so, still there? Uh, we have got Lynn, which I'm surprised. Hi, Lynn. And we've got Steffi. Steffi. Hi, Lou Steffi. Ann. And Steffi was a few of that well today. Luann, Luann, you guys, been, wow, you guys are such troopers. Thank you so much. I saw Judy earlier, but she may have fallen asleep. She Fine. might have. She, nope, but she was, well, she was here a while ago. She was here a while. So you guys all hung in there with us. We thank you so much. And the ones that could stay for a little while, like Becky and Liz and stuff, and everybody that came, you know, you guys uh, appreciate that. And, again, big shout-out to the grandkids who pop, pop by to watch. And I uh, uh, hope everybody had a... Wonderful, wonderful 
paint a thon with us. And don't forget to go to gingercookauction.com if you want to own one of these masterpieces, and they will be uh, the auction will close a late a Wednesday. Wednesday evening. Evening. Central time. And we'll be back Monday for our regular time, uh, 5.30 Central, for our regular um, hour, hour and a half show. So we'll, we'll paint something fun. Bye, everyone. Bye. 50 people. Let me go. Did I say everything? Yep. Think you did. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Wait here. One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay, then you already done Then I said I could have Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Yeah, just. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? Oh yes. Is the robot the option of let me try? <laughs> Sister. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. But let's go for the automatic um, To bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. I don't know how so I can't. Close. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. <sighs> God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie. Yeah, they were like, oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford this. All right. Yeah, there you go. The budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but. <laughs> <laughs> By a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we have the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had our hugs. <laughs> Okay. Ah! Just a little one. I'm not talking about the ten one.